down to the opening ceremony. All ready for it. Over to you. Madam Fernando, the director of St. Benedict's College, Reverend Brother Dr. Prabhu Rajapaksha, Mr. Lalit Adpulli, and Mr. K. Dayapuram, the joint presidents from St. Benedict's College and Wester College, the chief guest from St. Benedict's College, Mr. Trevor Perumal, who is attending on behalf of Mr. Princess Pereira, Pereira. the guest of honor, Mr. Felix Dias, Reverend Brother Bertrand Pereira, the provincial visitor. Reverend Brother Janak Fonseca, the past director of St. Benedict's College. To commence today's proceedings, I kindly call upon Reverend Rajiv Palihar Vedana, the chaplain of Wester College, to lead us in prayer. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Gracious our God, loving Heavenly Father. Father God, we come to your presence thanking and praising you for your mercy, for your grace, and for your love and care that you have extended to us in many forms of life. Especially as we are placed in this turmoil and distress around us in the country. And thank you Lord for this new day. And thank you, Lord, that you have made this day uh, even extra special for both Wesley and St. Benedict as they take your blessings upon their annual cricket encounter. We just ask you to be with both the teams in a very special way. And Lord, we very specially pray for the teams, the captains, and we pray for the umpires, we pray for the old boys, the well-wishers, the sponsors, and we uh, just commit every entity involved in this uh, special uh, journey that we have, uh, that we will be embarking from now on. So Lord, we just ask you uh, to be with us and grant your mercies so that this day will be a memorable day in both uh, Wesley and St. Benedict history, so that it will be a time of blessing to both the schools the time to make new friends, time to have a friendly encounters, time to have a better exposure and a better fellowship with uh, both our schools, old boys and Christian boys. And also, Lord, we pray for a healthy, uh, favorable weather condition for the match, so that the match can be played uninterrupted. And also, Lord, we uh, pray for all the sponsors and for their generosity, we thank thee for uh, their heart that they have come up, uh, come forward to help this venture. And thank you, Lord, for their generosity which made this day a reality and uh, to achieve this success that we see around us. And we also pray, Lord, uh, for the judges so that they will uh, be fair in all their judgment so that uh, we will be able to uh, see a genuine game playing between these two schools so that we can set up a model before Sri Lankan uh, cricketing career so that uh, this we can show them is how we will be playing a friendly match between two schools. So Lord, we just seek your blessings upon us as we commit this time, as we commit this two days uh, uh, cricket encounter before the seeking your precious guidance, your blessings upon us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. It is certainly of significance that we acknowledge the fragments of our culture and our bringing at our erudite institutions of Wesley College and St. Benedict's College and moreover of our country, Sri Lanka. In order to hoist the national flag, I kindly call upon the two chief guests, Mr. Milra Mudhuelu as well as Mr. Selva Perumal to do the honours.
With the flag of our nation flying up high, I now kindly request you all to please remain alert for the singing of the national anthem, which will be followed by the college anthems of St. Benedict's College and Wesley College.
Thank you very much. As we move forward with the encounter, we must never forget our past. In order to acknowledge the departed souls of the previous year and the preceding years, I kindly request you all to stand in one minute silence for all the departed souls of students, staff and alumni of both St. Benedict's College and West College. Thank you. Thank you very much. We now move on to the conclusion of the opening ceremony of the St. Benedict's versus Wesley College cricket encounter. And in order to introduce the teams, I kindly invite the chief guests, guests of honor, two principals, both presidents of St. Benedict's and Wesley College, the head coaches, and both squads, along with their captains and vice captains, to stand alongside with their assistant coaches, masters in charge, and umpires as they introduce their teams. Thank you. Good morning. So we just witnessed the colorful opening ceremony at, at the Cartman Cup cricket encounter between Wesley College and St. Benedict's. Chief guest on the occasion was Milroy Mutuvelu, captain Wesley College in 1963, and also Selva Perumal played in 1963 for St. Benedict's. And we just uh, witnessed the introduction of the two teams. And all ready for the pitch report to uh, Furves Maruf in the middle. So we hand you over to Furves to give us the pitch report for the day. Uh, good morning to you out of from Campbell Park. This is a fantastic venue. 
historically says a lot of runs have been made at Campbell Park. Today, slightly gloomy and the pitch, looking at it very closely, it's a bit of moisture in the pitch, but it's not too bad. Lots of grass and uh, to hold the wicket intact, I just feel the grounds when I've left a lot of grass and moisture wise, yes, there is and team winning the toss may be tempted to bowl first considering the fact that more the teams may play with three seamers and up front the first tower going to be very crucial later by the day goes by i just feel the wicket will be very good for batting and the batsmen who are getting in will be itching to make those big scores so i think overall campbell park historically as i said plenty of runs been made and i won't be surprised if the same uh, same uh, meta will be continued I now Yes, so that was the pitch report given by uh, Fervis Maruf in the middle, played for Wesley College, played for Sri Lanka and now an international commentator. So welcome to the commentary box, uh, Paulinus, good morning. Good morning Amita, we just heard uh, and uh, good morning to all our viewers. We just heard Fervis Maruf giving the pitch report and he said uh, the first hour will be very crucial with a bit of moisture in it. So the captains of both teams will be wanting to win the toss mm -hmm. and put the opposition into bat. And uh, we'll be waiting for the toss uh, with our man down there, Eric Gowda, and the two captains, the match referee and the two umpires, will be doing the toss. The match, referee, the match referee for the game will be Nalaya Devarajan. Two teams, captains and Benedicts. Uh, Sahil Dais and uh, Wesley College, Hasan Suhas. All ready for the all important uh, toss. Well, Amita, this is the second uh, encounter for the Reverend James Cartman uh, Challenge Trophy. Last year we had uh, the game played in uh, at uh, Cotena. Uh, Wesley College uh, batted first and got 228 for 9 declared. Shahil Dash getting 50. Kashin Chamik 45. Tanaka Pereira 42. Malinda Pereira was the pick of the bowlers for St. Benedict's. He got 6 for 66. And, uh, and St. Benedict's in their first innings were all out for 139. Ashen Bissa is a 23. Dilan Tabdu 22. Avindu Karnaratna 20. Tenuka Pereira 3 for 17. And Ravindu Sigera 3 for 39. Wesley in. There you see uh, the, uh, the, the two umpires, uh, Nala Devaraj and. Uh, Match referee and the two captains going in for the toss. And uh, a man there at the toss will be Eric Gowda. Over to Eric Gowda. Right here we are for the all-important toss in the second uh, Reverend James Scottman uh, Memorial Trophy encounter between uh, Wesley and St. Benedict's. Important toss taking place in the middle and uh, we have the two captains as well. There is Wesley captain Sahil uh, Dias along with St. Benedict's captain Pasan uh, Suhas. Our match referee today, well, the evergreen and ever famous uh, Nalaya Devarajan and our standby umpire D.R. Jayasurya making up the party. Right, who's got the coin? Right, Sahil Dias has got the coin. Nothing coin. Who won the toss? Right, so here we are. 
News from the center, Semiradix have won the toss and decide to bowl first. Pasan, any reason you want the toss and want to bowl first? Yeah, we have a good bowling attack. Uh, therefore, I will try to get some early wickets from there uh, and uh, put them under pressure. What do you think of this pitch? Yeah, it's uh, good for bowling, I think. Uh, I think uh, in the evening, we got to be set up. Right, thank you so much uh, to you, uh, Pasan. Now, we'll come to uh, Sail as well. Sail, you're putting the bat. Your thoughts on batting first? Yes, of course. Uh, we have a good batting team. Uh, I will hope a good, uh, good, uh, good score on the board. Your thoughts on the wicket? Uh, this is a grass pitch. Uh, I think uh, for first hour also a little bit swing uh, and the set we get the after. Right, there we are. Thank you so much to Sahil Das as well. So the two captains, St. Benedict's and Wesley, the toss took place. St. Benedict's won the toss and decided to bowl first. Okay, so there we heard from Eric Gowder that St. Benedict's College won the toss and decided to field first. I, mean, I think uh, this is what uh, Faris Maru was telling us. The first tower will be crucial and St. Benedict's captain won the toss and decided to field first. Yeah, that's right, Paul, as I think. And also now overcast conditions here at uh, Campbell Park. So definitely that first one now or 45 minutes, it's going to have some movements. The fast bowlers will have to capitalize. So. St. Benedict's uh, probably the first decision taken it right. We'll have to wait and see how the Wesley batsmen play through that first tower. It's going to be very crucial to be very watchful of the movement, especially in the air and the two fast bowlers from Benedict's. The opening paces will try to make use of that. So we're in for a good game of cricket, uh, Polly. Yes. It's definitely the umpires today. On-field umpires will be Damit Asanka and Tilak Fernando, while the match referee is Nalaya Devarajan and the reserve umpire is Jai Surya. So we're about to start the game, St. Benedict's College after winning the toss and deciding to field first, putting Wesley into bat. And Namita, we were talking about the last year's game. Wesley in the second innings got 90 for 5 declared. Shamil Alina gave him 54 and Avind Karunaratna 4 for 20. And they set a target for St. Benedict's, of course, there was no, not much time enough. And St. Benedict's were 51, 56 for 1 at close. So match ended in a draw, but the, the, the most important thing in that game, Amita, that game went on for four days. Four days, can you remember? Yeah, that's right. I think it rained the first day, got washed off, so then it started on Saturday. And Sunday being a holiday, match was not played and then continued on Monday, very unusual. But both teams agreed and I think uh, cricket was the winner at the end. Yes, definitely. It was a good game of cricket at Kotena, so we expect the same kind kind of game today here at Campbell Park. Uh, Wesley is hosting this, uh, this year's encounter. It's quite overcast conditions uh, here at Campbell Park. But even though this is Amit, even though this is the second encounter for the Reverend James Cartman Trophy, but this game had been first played in 19, uh, sorry, in uh, this is 126 year legacy, this game. In 1896, the first game was uh, played. And the, the, the scores of the first game, it's very interesting to read that. Wesley College uh, batting first got 84. And St. Benedict's in reply with 92 all out. Wesley in the second innings were all out for 85. And St. Benedict's were all out for 13. So Wesley winning by 64 runs. The game played in 1896, the first game. So it's a very low scoring game, uh, Paulinus, I think. And uh, I've seen a result, that is what was mainly important. Because nowadays, these two day encounters, uh, we don't uh, see a result. But of course, this game is played, the first innings is played for 65 overs. The new ball can be taken after 50 overs. So that's, that's challenging, that opens the game out. Like I think uh, Paulinus like the Joe Pete. Yes, uh, Joseph and Pete Wright is also played under similar conditions. But it will be really interesting here at Campbell Park today. We see the schoolboys of Wesley College taking their positions to watch the game. The second uh, uh, inter school game for the Cartman, uh, Reverend James Cartman Challenge Cup. You see the cup is on display with the two skippers. 
standing by it. Sahil Dias <coughs> and uh, Pasan Suhas, the two captains. Very important day for the two teams and especially the captains captaining your own school side at this uh, cricket encounter. Great achievement as we see the school boys of uh, Wesley College walking into the tents. It's nice to see a crowd because last time the match uh, we were not able to see any spectators but this time the encounter we've been able to see spectators coming in and the match the Wesley College school boys Amita is taking their position Great. yes we'll go in for a break and then come back and continue Cartman Cup 
Over to Eric Gowda for the interviews. That they've had in their playing days and also in the present uh, situation as well. And with us uh, we have uh, Lal Vikramatungam, an old Ben who played from 1966 to 1970, captain the team in 1970. And from Wesley College, captain Navin De Silva, who went on to captain the Sri Lanka schools team as well, played from 77 to 81 for Wesley, and uh, captain uh, the Wesley College team in 80-81. Right, two illustrious old boys, whom we going to talk to first. Let's have a little toss. Right, Lal, you won the toss. Welcome, Lal. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, uh, Eric. Good morning, uh, Navin. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. The ground looks so picturesque. It has a carnival atmosphere. And what better day to start a cricket game between two of the oldest Christian schools in the country. I'm happy to be here. The boys are eager, and I'm sure the Wesley Coy boys are eager too. We are hoping to have a great game of cricket which will build friendships, solidarity, and the proper values amongst the children of both schools. Well said, Lal, well said. We'll come to Navin De Silva, Captain Navin De Silva, in fact, the flying captain. And uh, Navin, I'm pretty sure that you've got fond memories of these grounds playing for five years at Wesley College. Well, my memories start way before that. As a little child, I used to walk across these grounds and see my uh, seniors play, and that which inspired me to be, uh, uh, take up to this game. Well, what a wonderful uh, uh, transformation from our time. You know, I played uh, exactly 41 years ago and uh, the grounds has transformed into a very uh, different level. It, you know, uh, the, the, there, were, there were patches of, more patches of without grass than grass when we played, uh, Eric. And uh, I'm so happy to see the, the, the transformation of these grounds to this level. And, 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 and I'm so great for the authorities for bringing these grounds to this standard. And, and uh, coming back on what Lal said, yes, we are two uh, great, uh, one of the two oldest Christian institutions to start this match. I must thank all the people who were involved in bringing this uh, encounter to life. And, uh, and yes, we are looking forward for a, 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 a game of a lot of sportsmanship. And uh, let's set the standards and others will follow. Right. Well said, uh, Captain Navin as well. Lal, coming back to your playing days, I know that you were a little strategist. You used to have little strategies, you used to do things that were perhaps not heard of in those days. You'd like to talk us through some of those things. Well, you learn early to lead. And then once you learn to lead, you use everything in the book. You, you study the batsman, you study the game, you study the way it evolves, you must know your players, also assess the opposition, and you enjoy doing this. And uh, that's what we learned in school. That's what we had great teams at that time. There was not much uh, uh, materialism then. And we played for the love of the sport. And we had uh, uh, wonderful results. We met friends who have lasted from other schools as well. And that is what some of the foundations uh, of humanity that we try to impart to the current day children when they play cricket seriously. I must also make a note that uh, cricket today has come far ahead than during our times. There are various reasons for it. Uh, the, the equipment has changed. Uh, there are support services like the wickets are covered, the grounds look better, uh, the technology and the study and the coaching methods have become better. Nutrition, coaching, all that has become part of the game, whereas we, during our time, I'm sure Navin will agree, that we had to learn it on the run. And uh, we did, and we enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, also, we had results, and we tried to push for a result then, and we did enjoy doing that. Well said, Lal. That's good on you as well. Navin, coming back to you, you captained the Sri Lanka schools cricket team to England, and uh, you were hot potato at that time uh, in the cricket scene but then faded away because of your career. Let like to talk us through some of those moments that you uh, captained the under-19 Sri Lanka team. Yes, uh, that is a memorable uh, year, which is 19, uh, 
uh, 80 uh, at a later stage of uh, the 80 and uh, yeah we just celebrated our 40th uh, anniversary uh, last year and uh, the best part was uh, Bandula Varnapuru was uh, taking his uh, unofficial, uh, at that time we haven't got the test status, Bandula was taking uh, his team uh, in England playing county matches and there, there we go, the little kids from uh, Sri Lanka following them, you know, everywhere uh, when we went to play to see the Sri Lankan side has gone there before us and uh, there were some articles which said, well, if this is the talent that Sri Lanka has, and they said, no doubt that we are going to get the status. We had the uh, players of caliber Arjuna, Aravind, uh, um, uh, Arjuna, Aravind, Labroy, uh, Charit Senanayaka. And I, th I think apart from myself and few others, all the others played for Sri Lanka. Of course, I, took, I, I, I come from a professional background and my parents are more keen uh, to see that uh, I take a professional life. And I took something uh, that uh, would have been any childhood's uh, dream of uh, flying. So, Any regrets taking to flying or playing cricket? Uh, well, I will, I will say this. Uh, once Arjuna came on, on a flight of mine and uh, he said, uh, this is uh, my first captain and he will be my captain always. <laughs> So I think that 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 tells the story. Right. Now coming back to you, we know that you had some really illustrious players in your side as well. You led from the front. You were such a great inspiration to any team. I can remember when you played for NCC for a couple of seasons, you put 110%, not 100%. You were always there on the field, bowling, batting, fielding. Let you talk us through some of those moments, great moments with some of those uh, boys you played with at that time. Well, we had uh, great young cricketers then, and of course, uh, during my time, uh, we naturally gravitated to NCC because Ranjit Fernando, who came from our school, who was my coach when I captained, uh, made certain that we, we were not just towards NCC, uh, not by force, but it was a definite nudge. So, But we played under Michael Tissera, David Dine, Ranjit Fernando. Uh, half the team were uh, Sri Lankan players, and we learned a lot. And you quickly, if you are smart and you are listening, you catch on quickly. And then you build upon that as the game goes along. And we enjoyed that. Right. The players on the field play about to get underway. We thank uh, Lal as well as Captain Navin for joining us. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We hope that you'll stay with us for the next uh, two days when the cricket unfolds. And uh, if you join us late, the news is that St. Benedict's won the toss, elected to field first. So they're out of the field. The Wesley Open is in the middle. And let's go up and join our commentators. Welcome, a very good morning and a warm welcome to Campbell Park uh, here in uh, Colombo. We are all ready for the traditional uh, cricket match. Uh, St. Benedict's College taking on uh, Wesley College and uh, they are continuing uh, their tradition of uh, cricket. Uh, a long history, 126 years uh, of uh, legacy. First uh, played between these uh, schools uh, way back in 1896. Uh, this match uh, played uh, for the uh, Cartman Cup. Uh, uh, the uh, great Reverend James Cartman and uh, the former principal of uh, Wesley College uh, in recognition of him this match is played and the two teams uh, are all ready and uh, set to go out there in the centre. The news uh, from the centre of course is uh, earlier on we had the toss, St. Benedict's College won the toss and elected uh, to field so a uh, right decision uh, given the conditions the wicket looks good for bowling in this first one hour there will be some uh, same movement uh, for the pace bowlers. A bit of a cloud cover as well. The sun is not shining. We had the Faris Maru who did the pitch report and he said that the, the captain who wins the toss will decide to uh, bowl first. The two umpires are out there in the uh, center. We have uh, Mr. Tilak Fernando and Mr. Damit uh, Sanjeeva who are officiating uh, this game. The reserve umpire DR Jayasuriya and our match referee is uh, Nalaya Devaraj uh, for this uh, game. Uh, so everything is uh, set and ready to go. There is uh, a lot of uh, activity around uh, schoolboys uh, in here to watch this game. Limited crowd, limited admission. But uh, schoolboys from both, sc both schools have been given the permission to come and watch this game. A lot of old boys as well. And uh, the organizers uh, very careful. The flags are flying high. Uh, a bit of noise. We had uh, the opening ceremony. We had uh, the uh, guest uh, who came in today. And of course, uh, the college songs and the national anthem. We are ready for the first ball uh, for today. Good sound of the bat straight away towards uh, mid-off. 
good steady start by the bowler, making the batsman play. As we say, a very good morning to Michael Adams. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to all the viewers. Yeah, bit of overcast condition here. Like uh, our good friend uh, Maru at the pitch, saying that uh, most probably the captain winning the toss will be tempted to bowl first, and that's exactly what happened. The Bendik Times winning the toss and electing to bowl first. Here comes the second delivery. It's a bit of movement there, and well left uh, by the batsman. Yes, uh, Chamath Gomez, uh, Sahil Dias. Sahil Dias, of course, uh, is a very, very good player. The uh, captain of this uh, Wesley College team, a fourth year colorsman. He's scored a lot of runs uh, in school cricket over the years. A player to watch out for the uh, future. And uh, we have uh, Sachin Sena Nayaka, who is operating uh, the first over for St. Benedict's. In Good leave. Quite a tall lad. Uh, I saw him walk out to bat uh, uh, with his fellow opening. In contrast, uh, it looked like uh, David and Goliath out there. Uh, Michael uh, with uh, Chamath Gomez on strike. Very tall. I'm sure he has a good reach. Will be looking to come onto that uh, front foot, try to negate uh, whatever movement there is uh, from the bowlers. That's the aerial view here of uh, Campbell Park. Of course, uh, a well known uh, cricketing venue, well known uh, cricketing ground, a lot of history, a lot of tradition over the here over the years here and uh, as always uh, produced uh, good cricket a uh, lot of runs uh, for the batsman smaller boundaries square of the wicket and uh, a lot of value for good shot making a bit of uh, bootlaces uh, been done by the uh, Wesley fielder on behalf of uh, Chamath Gornamas so, so far Ricky uh, the batsman has not been troubled apart from the first ball that he had to face that one getting some rise in it. That's a hesitancy, hesitancy, Michael. Nervousness, uh, early morning conditions here. Yeah, good uh, steep bounce that time uh, from uh, Chamath Gomez. We said that, that uh, be bigger pardon from uh, Sachin, uh, the bowler. Chamath Gomez, a tall lad, but still he had to go on his toes uh, to control that and play it. And he'll be relieved uh, to uh, get off the mark. I think it was, uh, it suddenly just took off the pitch, uh, Ricky. But well played, all credit to the batsman, Chamath Gomez. And the nerves must be a bit more eased with that first single. So Sahil dies the man in form. But whatever it is, uh, when it comes to your big match, you're always under pressure to get those first runs. Even if you have scored a thousand during the season, doesn't matter. First runs in any match. And this is the big match. Always under pressure, Ricky, when it comes to your big match, facing your first delivery? Definitely, uh, Michael. Uh, uh, that's called a wide from the square leg umpire, way over the uh, batsman's head. I, I don't think it's not only a big match. I think any cricket in account, I think when you go out there first, the first few overs, you're always nervous. doesn't matter how much runs you have scored, whatever you have done in the past is history. It's a new game, it's a new day. And uh, they'll uh, take a few overs uh, to settle down, and both the batsman and the bowlers. Uh, as well, but the, these two schools in the recent past in the, the uh, schools uh, cricket tournament they have had a lot of success. They have beaten some of the uh, top schools as well. Some of their batsmen have got runs. The bowlers have done well with the ball. So a lot of confidence uh, coming in uh, to this game. Short and wide. Hesitancy. The non striker looking for the single. It was not there. Right call by uh, Sahil Dyer saying no. He had to rush back. Chamath Gomez looks a bit uh, nervous out to me. Even the first single he, he took, there was hesitancy. There was uh, uh, a squarey first run. And uh, now once again uh, trying to uh, get to the non uh, to the strikers in this time. Oh, that's the keenness, trying to get runs on the board. Well, Ricky, like uh, the Joe Pete, uh, they're playing 65 overs the first inning. So that also playing on the mind. Good ball, good ball right in the block hole. Saw it early, blocked it out, uh, Sahil dies. So that's the end of uh, the first over. Wesley put into bat a one without loss.
So I beg your pardon, it's a two without loss at the moment after the first over. There was a wide as well. And uh, the second over about uh, to be uh, bold. Can we call it from the Borel lane? Yeah, I think uh, that's what you'll uh, call it. One will be the college end, the, the Wesley College end. Or so we have uh, Tilan who's going to operate. He's going to bowl the uh, second over. Is it the Dilan? We'll uh, clarify the name to you, but he's on top of his mark. Oh, that was a good first delivery. <laughs> Bowling in that good area, making the batsman play. A bit of a seam movement away from the right hander as well. Good carry to the wicket keeper. So that end goes as the Borella end, which he has started, and the other end will go as the college end, uh, Ricky. St Tilan starting off well with a superb delivery there. Yeah, had to make the best one play. Ball moving away from the right-hander. But bringing in a false stroke. Samad Gomez will need to leave those. That's much better. Bit wide is outside the off-stump. That's one not troubled. Well, been in the toss. And bowling first, St. Bendix will have to keep those lines tight. Well, this is just, the first innings is restricted to 65 overs. So they will, they will need to uh, be very tight. And there is a uh, ruling on the wides as well, with some, uh, with a line there for the umpires. And that's in there. Falling away from the fielder. Chamath Gomez living dangerously. Go for a hoik. Seems be a bit under pressure. I think the nerves are telling on. Uh, Polly. See, uh, Samad Gomez is a bit nervous, I would say, trying to, you know, earlier he want, wanted a single where there was no single. Samad Gomez uh, is on strike. It's Michael, uh, early nerves in this big encounter. Well, no, actually, that side dies now on strike. They got a single. Score has moved to three. Child Dice is a very experienced player. Did well in the last year's encounter. He's an experienced champion. I think this is his fifth year. And the skipper of the side has scored a lot of runs this season. That's off the back foot. Put away nicely past to the fine leg area. Gets a single. That's Child Dyers who got a half century in the previous encounter. The last year's encounter. Played in Kotena. So he's off the mark now. So nerves will settle now. He needs to keep his partner calm. Does he need to do anything rash. 65 overs is a long way, uh, Polly. Sometimes schoolboys can get carried away. But it's a long way. Yeah, exactly, Michael. They might be thinking it's a limited over game. That's what's wrong with them. 65 overs. You've got to bat that 65 overs and get about 300 runs on the board. Then uh, definitely going to put the pressure on the uh, fielding side. Yeah, definitely. 65 overs can easily score 300. If you get a good start, well, they'll have to bat cautiously with the... Uh, the weather a bit overcast and also very fast outfield we say will assist them the batsman got to first thought of sticking there in the get a good start especially the two openers so that is the end of the second over three without loss Wesley
Over about to start. Again, nicely worked on with the spell like fielder, but an easy single. Kyle dies on to two. He has got the correct idea, just rotating the strike. Sachin is bowling the second over from the college end. Had a good over in the first over, Michael. You see the feel of two slips. Actually, it's a three slips like. Two slips gully, I would say. That's a good delivery. I think that's what he needs to do, make the batsman play. His first over, probably he was bowling a little bit wide outside the Ostam. So it was easy for the batsman to get a sighter. It's the captain, uh, Sachil Dias. Sachil Dias giving a bit of advice for Chamath Gomez. Sachil Dias, a fifth year player, Colorsman, leading St. Benedict's this time. Leading, sorry, leading Wesley. That's nicely put away between Gali and the third man area that goes down to the boundary for four. So Chamath Gomez uh, gets the first boundary for the day. Goes off the back foot, watch the ball very well and put it nicely wide of Gali. You can see that shot again. Beautifully played. Well in control of that. Just guiding it to that vacant uh, third man boundary. Keeps the nerves might have settled a bit now. Needed that boundary. Played that shot very well, Michael. Watched it very carefully. Between that cover point and uh, gully gap. It's again off the back foot, pushing it on the offside. Still a bit, uh, though the sun is out, uh, probably a bit of clouds around as well, so be a bit of movement in there. Well, I think, Michael, ideal day for cricket. The weather is, looks very good. Hopefully we can continue the whole day's play like this. But I would say it's a little bit of a different kind of day. Normally you see the blue sky in the morning, but a little bit of overcast. Also sun peeping out. Yeah, but no signs of rain at the moment. Just a bit of overcast. Just before they started, there was just a thin drizzle and then that cloud moved away. But Once again pushed on the offside. So that is the end of that over. Wesley College, nine for no loss. Bit of misfield there that allows the batsman to cross over for a single. 
takes the Wesley Cole score on to double figures. They're on 10. St. Benedict's College won the toss this morning, Michael, and put uh, Wesley into bat. The two Wesley batsmen, Chaman Gomez and uh, Shahil Dias, taking the score out to 10 in three overs. I like the look of Shahil Dias, uh, Polly. Very confident, uh, you know, very calm, trying to, you know, work his way around. So I'm sure he has ideas on a long innings. I think uh, Wesley will need that as well. Dilan uh, bowling from the uh, Burala end. One outside the off and uh, nice left away. We have a great personal ind individual here in the box here. That's the managing director of uh, Thayan Lanka, Mr. K. Padmanam. Hello, Welcome to you. Hello, hello, hi. He's our main sponsor in this event uh, the, for the second uh, James Cartman Challenge Shield, the encounter between Wesley and St. Benedict's. Well, Mr. Batmanab, then uh, can you tell us uh, something about uh, why you got involved in this game and how you decided to sponsor this game? Okay. Uh, yeah, first of all, first of all, I will introduce my company. Uh, we are the leading uh, GI pipes and GI box bar manufacturer in Sri Lanka. This company is a joint venture company uh, with Chinese collaboration. And uh, last 10 years, we are into uh, so many CSR projects. And last year, LPL also we sponsored. And uh, I like to sponsor uh, to many schools, uh, encourage uh, young students. Yes, Mr. Pad Padmanandan, great to hear that you have been sponsoring the LPL and uh, getting involved in the sports. That is what we need, people like you. What is interest shown, you know, why, why you selected cricket itself? Uh, in school period, uh, I always play cricket, so I am very much interested in cricket. So what's the school you attended to? I went to... Uh, 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 and that's the first wicket to go. That's uh, the Wesley College captain is out. Uh, he was bowled by Tilan. Dilan Tabro, the bowler. So Wesley lose their first wicket for 11. Yes, uh, Mr. Padmanathan, sorry about it. Uh, we had to give the information there it's too. Okay. okay. Uh, I studied in Bandaravela, St. Mary's. And uh, the beautiful place in Sri Lanka is Bandaravela, uh, up country. So uh, I played in uh, school uh, matches. Oh, what did you have? Uh, I mean, whether you were a batsman, bowler, or. I'm an all rounder. Oh, what type of bowling do you bowl? Uh, medium. Uh, good. Do you remember any of the great matches you have played? No, uh, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Uh. So, okay, tell us something about your company and the history. How long have they been in operation? Yeah, I, uh, I started my uh, steel business in uh, 1995. I joined with uh, one company in uh, Colombo. Then I left there in 2002. I went to China for steel import. Then I found my partner in China. So from uh, 2010, uh, after war and uh, the Chinese people, they interest to uh, start a factory in Sri Lanka. So that's how we started uh, this factory. And now almost uh, 500 uh, staffs are working in my factory. So doing steel exports also? We do export also. So which countries? We are mainly export to Maldives, Dubai, and Vietnam, and Europe country also. So a lot of business these days or dull uh, business? Uh, as per country situation, uh, we are still uh, facing uh, a lot of problems for opening IC, dollar shortage. Uh, getting down uh, raw metal uh, these days is very tough. Yes, that's uh, Mr. Padmanathan for you with his uh, background of the company. What do you expect to do in the time to come uh, to promote sports in Sri Lanka? 
uh, I think uh, uh, in our company we always encourage the students and work with uh, many schools and many other uh, uh, sports uh, teams and all. So I think uh, we continually we can support to uh, this uh, sector. Okay, Mr. Padmanathan, anything special you want to give to our viewers, tell our viewers about your company, or about your products, and how they can contact you and things like that? Uh, we, we are mainly, nowadays we are mainly uh, ask a uh, lot of people to convert it to steel, uh, because uh, the wood, uh, uh, people are using for wood for a uh, roof. It's nicely played this time to a stroke towards the boundary for four. As Gomez uh, gets four more to the Wesley total. Texas go on to 15. We are in the fifth over. Wesley 15 for one. Yes, Mr. Padmanabha. Yeah, uh, we are now we are doing a uh, steel for the roof. Uh, you can you can uh, cut down the wood and you can save trees and use steel our product now we are uh, planning a, a door frame and uh, purlin also we are introduced to the market to uh, the construction people okay thank you very much mr padmanathan for being with us and also wishing your company very good future indeed and we would like you to see you sponsoring more events of this uh, kind of nature in the time to come thank you thank you very much There we are, we heard of Mr. Padmanathan, who has been the main sponsor, Tian Lanka, managing director of Tian Lanka. And uh, in the meantime, Wesley College total has moved on to 15. So 15 for one. We're in the fifth over. St. Benedict's uh, won the toss and put Wesley College into bat in the second uh, encounter for the Reverend James Cartman Challenge Trophy. But of course, this encounter started in 1896, a long time ago. As I say good morning to my friend Eric Gowder. Good to see you, Eric, back in the box after a long time. Good morning, uh, Pauli. Yes, it's been a long time, in fact, uh, doing uh, a commentary. Well, Eric Gauda has been a player to Wesley College uh, in his uh, young days. Played for Wesley, rugby, cricket, and any other sports, Eric? Hockey. <laughs> Hockey. And he's been in the advisory committee, correct? Am I right? Yes, for a couple of years. So, Wesley put into bat 15 for one. What do you think, Eric, at this stage? Well, I think when uh, Sim Benedict won the toss, there had no hesitation in uh, fielding first. Looking at the wicket itself, a bit of juice on the wicket, a bit of grass as well. But having said that, the bowlers must bowl well. That's a wild swing, a loud appeal. But the umpire decided against it. Yes, a rank full toss. Should have been put away. Easy pickings. And this is what happens when you get a full toss sometimes that uh, the batsman's eyes light up, but he takes his eyes off the ball. And uh, that's one of the reasons you can't make contact with the ball. And having said that, when you win the toss and you feel first, you're looking to pick up three, four early wickets in the first star. Half the first stars play, the wicket will certainly settle down. It will be a very good batting track thereafter for the next two days. But I think St. Bendix have done well getting their most experienced Wesley batsman, Shahil Dias, out quite early. Yes, there we are. That's another big appeal. That ball certainly was sliding down the leg side. Another full toss, more or less, onto the pad. And he got him on the boot, in fact. And uh, two uh, successive shouts for LBW, both turned down. Yes, uh, Sile Dias, he's a centurion for Wesley against uh, St. Thomas's College. Much was uh, on his shoulders in the batting department. And uh, at the toss, when he lost the toss, he did say that we have a good batting side. So this is where the good batsmen have to come uh, good today. And uh, St. Benedict's, they said that they've got a good uh, bowling attack. Let's see how the bowling attack will fare because you've got to bowl well on a track like this. 
Well, at the same time, we must tell our viewers that uh, the first innings is restricted for 65 overs. So that is also going to play an important effect on the game, uh, Eric. It's 65 overs, some players get carried away thinking it's a 50 over encounter or a limited over game. But 65 overs is a long period of time, isn't it? Yes, even though the inning is restricted to 65 overs, a new ball can be taken after 50 overs. That gives the opportunity to the bowlers also, so to be especially the pace bowlers to be, be a, gives the opportunity to the bowlers also, so to be especially the pace bowlers to be, be a, back in the game. After 50 overs, they get a new ball. Well, Wesley. Uh, done quite well but they have lost the most important wicket that's of their skipper just five overs gone we are in the sixth over also my advice to batsmen is uh, on a track like this with the ball seems a bit a bit of extra bounce is uh, always try and push the single push the single rotate the strike that is so important uh, in any form of cricket and you can't just be hitting the ball straight to fielders all the time. You've got to look at opportunities to pick up those little gaps, pick up a single. The non-striker must be alert to call his uh, partner for a single as well. Well, that will also uh, make the scoreboard moving instead of uh, being, uh, rotating the strike and will give the batsman confidence also. And the scoreboard will gradually, the runs will come. You will not know singles coming through. Yes, when you pick up singles, the opposing side or the fielding side doesn't really realize the runs are getting piled on unless you suddenly look at the scoreboard and say, oh my goodness, a lot of runs have been scored in the last four or five overs. So that's one of the uh, most important things in any form of cricket is to pick up the singles, rotate the strike and particularly earlier on, you've got to look at these opportunities. Mr. Dylan Tabru pulling from the Barella end. It's pushed away on the outside. That's Ashan Isira, the new batsman who came in at the fall of the first wicket. Still to open his account. Of course, these young boys must be having a lot of nerves. This is an encounter. Although it's not a big match, it's considered like a big encounter, isn't it, Derek? Yes, it's played for a very special trophy. The Reverend Father James Scottman Memorial Trophy. Lovely trophy, in fact, uh, on offer. can remember the first game which was played in Kotena. Mm. The match went on for four days. First day was totally washed out. Second day we had play. And third day being a holiday, the players took a rest and came back on Monday. That's great sportsmanship. And also it's definitely good for the game, isn't it, Derek? Yes, it's good for the game because uh, uh, certainly I think uh, it was played in, in good spirits as well. Don't forget these two schools, uh, Benedicts and Wesley, very old uh, Christian establishments in uh, Sri Lanka as well and there's so much of camaraderie between uh, the old boys of the schools even though Wesley didn't play some medics for quite some time I didn't can't remember them playing for quite some time this time Shara Ashan Isra drives it straight to that's the first maiden for the day ball by Dylan Tabro so Wesley College, 15 for one after six overs. So Wesley College 15 for one after six overs. They've been put into bat. All the batsmen having some kind of uh, treatment taken. I thought a uh, couple of uh, overs before he got a deal of ball right on his uh, ankle.
So Chamath Gomez, the opener, is on 11. One of the other reasons is that uh, the Wesley batsmen certainly would have been looking at the track and I know that if uh, Wesley had won the toss, they would have fielded first. So perhaps a few uh, dragons flying in the head more or less uh, as to what this pitch will be like, what will the pitch do. And for a schoolboy, you know, just 17, 18 years old, uh, what runs through your mind is something that's so important. A lot of this game of cricket, it works on your mind. Your mental faculties have to be in good working condition. You've got to think positively all the time. So these are the little issues that they may be having. It's also uh, Eric uh, Wesley College playing in their home grounds. Uh, that's a bit of an advantage for them. So they should know the wicket properly. They should be able to read the wicket. I think that what has happened really is that uh, on this particular track, a bit of extra grass has been put on. And uh, it's a bit moist as well. Maybe not to, used to playing on these type of tracks because normally the tracks are shaved. They are dry off any grass at all. But today it's a bit different. So it's such insane and I can to continue from the that's beautifully driven straight past the bowler that's going towards the boundary. Four more. Four more to the Wesley College total. Takes him on to 19 and Chamat uh, Gomes goes on to 15. That is a lovely shot, Eric. Yes, well played, past the bowler, because that's a very safe shot as well. In the yard for a while, but uh, it was pretty safe, because the bowler had no chance of getting a hand to that. And once you pierce that uh, that field of the mid-off and the mid-on, it's certainly going to run on this very fast outfield to the boundary four. The boundary is not extra big. That's another advantage for batsmen as well. Perhaps about 60 meters, that's my assessment. And also we have a good fast outfield. This time again, pushed up the back foot towards the cover region. Jake cross over for a single. Good bit of understanding between the two batsmen. Very quick on their feet. Well called. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That you need to have an understanding. You need to uh, back your partner as well. Push those singles. Put the fielders under pressure. But the moment you put the fielder under pressure, he's going to miss field. He's going to try and take a wild swing or a wild throw. And that's when you're going to start getting runs. So. The batsmen must always realize whatever the pitch is, you try and dominate the bowlers. That is the most important part of it. So you've got to think cricket. Your thinking patterns have to be a really well focused on what you want to do, what the team wants from you to do. So these are important factors when it comes to any game of cricket. Yes, and the batsmen also should realize to build on partnerships. That's also very important. A good partnership will put the bowlers under pressure. Yes, we had about uh, maybe 30, uh, 34 minutes of play so far. Just the one wicket has fallen. So, Mirenix will be disappointed. Perhaps they want to pick up about uh, two or three early wickets. Because when you win the toss and uh, you elect to field first, you want to pick up early wickets. That's when your bowlers must deliver. This says Farwich Maru for selling to our side. The first tower is going to be crucial. The first tower, St. Bandix might have been wanting to get at least half the western side out. Four to five wickets they would have been looking at. Yes, when you when you have that type of mindset that you want to uh, do well, you want to pick up early wickets. Your bowlers must back the captain as well. The captain needs to talk to them. Say, look, I need you to get me this another wicket. What you got to bowl? Whether you're bowling the outswing or the in swing, you're trying to bowl a little bouncer. Uh, these are the conditions are pretty good. It's still overcast, slightly overcast here at Campbell Park. That is the end of another over. Seven overs gone. Wesley 20 for one. Fairly good crowd watching uh, 
the opening moments of this uh, two-day encounter between St. Benedict's and Wesley. Schoolboys on both teams as well. They got their own little dugouts. Lots of old boys. And the camaraderie between the old boys has been excellent. We've seen that over the last few days as well. Preparations being made. Is there a, it's great to see young present boys watching the game because that's a huge event. And that's a, yes, that's a six. The first six for the day. Coming off the bat of uh, Chamath Gomez. He's been attacking. He's been doing the scoring. Got the correct idea. Yes, I think that Gomez read that pretty well. He realized that the ball was there to be hit. He hit it hard, cleared that boundary quite comfortably. Now, this is positive batting. This is the thinking that you need from the batting side when you're putting to bat. To try and score as many runs as possible in the first star. Don't lose too many wickets. They lost one wicket, the captain, high-scoring captain as well, uh, Sail Dias. But this partnership is going to be important. Chamat Gomez looks uh, quite steady now. That's again beautifully played this time, officially, but wide of extra cover, straight into the boundary. Four more. Four more to Gomez. Takes the Wesley score on to 30. And Gomez himself has got uh, 26. A lot of scoring done by him, uh, Eric. Mm. So the six and a four, ten runs of two balls. And that will change the complexion of this game. The run rate will start to improve as well. And Chamath Gomez uh, realizing that uh, you need to try and score runs as quickly as possible. You cannot uh, play dot balls. You need to look for those singles as well. Ashan Isira has still to score his face ten balls. Now the equation there is push the single. Gomez is on fire. Give him the strike. Yes, that's exactly what uh, Ashan Isura has to do. And this time again, uh, put away this time. Boundary four ball. Gomez is going at everything. But he got to be careful at this stage. He's playing the ball beautifully. He moves on to 30. And the Wesley score moves on to 34. So these three balls have changed the complexion of the innings uh, totally. 14 runs of uh, three balls. And the run rate will start to creep up as well. So Tilan one for 18, he picked up that one wicket and that of Sahil Dias and since then uh, Chamath Gomez has taken control of things, 30 of 27. But having said that, uh, he needs to uh, protect his wicket, not play loose shots all the time. The ball is there to be hit? Yes, of course it is. Well, uh, St. Benedict's taking the extra cover field and putting it to sweeper cover down in the boundary on the offside. Chamath Gomez very strong with his cover point. This time officially the fielder get trying to get underneath it. Yes, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. That's the end of Chamath Gomez. Caught and uh, deep it off. He deep it on. So he's out for 30. And Wesley lose his second wicket at 34. Well, he got 14 runs of three balls and then going uh, for a glory shot again and uh, sacrifice his wicket. He should have been there. He could have played another dot ball down, no problems at all because uh, you got that run rate up. But Gomez uh, paid the penalty for trying to go for too many shots in the same over and uh, lost his wicket. So uh, Tilan picks up his second wicket, 2 for 18 his figures and Wesley now 34 for 2 after 7.4 overs. So end of the day I think uh, the Benz realized that uh, they got two wickets in uh, perhaps about uh, 40 minutes of play and uh, two more in the first half. And uh, they'll say, look, win the toss and fielding first was a good choice. Well, this is exactly, Eric, what I was talking. This is uh, the youngsters get carried away, got some beautiful shots, but then getting 14 runs and that over, and three consecutive deliveries, got a six and two boundaries. He should have been uh, there hanging around because the runs were coming and uh, there was no hurry at all for every ball to be hit. So St. Bendix uh, might not be bothered about that 14 runs because they got the crucial wicket of Gomez who was really doing the scoring at this stage. Because 34 out of 34 runs, he's got 30 runs. So Dylan Tapu gets his second wicket. New man is Arundit uh, Vikramasinghe, the vice captain of the Wesley side. Now tremendous responsibilities on his shoulders, what type of innings he's going to play. At the same time, by the Benedictine fielder, gets a single. 
I like the strategy. Push the single. The first ball is faced, and um, I think that uh, works well. That uh, he's got uh, head on his shoulders. That he wants to push the singles, keep that scoreboard moving. You don't need to go for very big hits earlier on, because the loose deliveries could be punished. So Wesley got to consolidate, got to put up a good partnership. They lost their second wicket at 34. Vikram Singh is the vice captain in this wicket at the moment. Got to take a lot of responsibility now. That's a bit of unwanted play. Gives so Wesley Ashan, off the mark with the overthrow. <laughs> After facing 11 deliveries. Might be quite happy with it, uh, Eric, to get off the mark. Struggling to get it off the bat. So Ashan Isira is off, uh, off strike at the moment. He's on one. A little scorecard says he's on strike, but he's not on strike. But he's got two left-handers out in the middle. So a bit of confusion perhaps with the score as well. And now it's uh, Anudit Vikram Singh, the vice-captain on strike. So it's 36 for two after eight overs, Wesley College. A lot of present boys uh, watching the game, Wesley College boys. On the other side, we see St. Benedict's College boys. It's really nice to see the young boys watching a game because very hardly you see young boys watching games of uh, cricket, school cricket matches. Uh. That's sad. It's really sad that uh, a lot of school matches being played. The present boys don't come to support uh, their players. I remember that either we played the grounds are packed with present boys, old boys, well-wishers. And every single game had a full house. Yes, definitely, Eric. Those days are gone. But you don't see much crowds. But today, we nice to see a lot of uh, young boys here in the grounds cheering their uh, school players. This should be encouraged in every school to get their boys on the field to support their team. So it's Sachin Senanayaka continuing from the college end. That's Vikram Singer pushing it on the offside and gets a very quick single. Good bit of running between the wickets, Eric. Very good running. Excellent running. That's what we want to see, the singles being pushed. Don't get tied down because it's so important to keep that scoreboard moving. And also, the fielding side will never realize that runs are being made by pushing singles. So Vikram Singer moves to two or three balls, brings Zashan... Isira on strike, he's on 1 of 10. Wesley 37 for 2 after 8.2 overs. The first inning will be 65 overs aside. With a new ball can be taken after 50 overs. It's nicely driven but straight down to the cow point. No run there. Well, 65 overs and 50 after 50 overs to take the new ball, that will give an opportunity for the fielding side to come back into the game if they're not in a good position. Yes and no, because it depends on how your bowlers uh, operate as well. And the fielders must back up their balls with excellent fielding. We've seen a few uh, stroppy bits of fielding so far this morning, but they've got to tighten up their game. That's short and beautifully played. That's over Squalek. That's gone into the boundary for four. That's a lovely shot by Ashan Sara. Yes, good shot. A very short delivery. He stood up to be hit. He got on top of that very well. Picked the gaps as well. So an easy uh, picking that time for a boundary. Takes him to five. And that's what Wesley have got to do. We look at what really happened there. Very short. And there is that pull shot coming up. Kept his eyes on the ball. That's the most important thing, not to take your eyes off the ball. So 
but that takes the score. Wesley score on to 41. We're in the ninth over. A good run red maintained. Nine overs, 41 runs. That's well above four per over. That's why you talk about uh, fielding. You can't have sloppy fielding. You need to uh, back up uh, your ball as well. So another over completed. Nine completed and Wesley 41 for two. निपटी He's equipped away towards fine leg for a single. Dilan Tabru to continue from the uh, Bora Lane. A decent start for Wesley. And saying that, I think St. Benedict's will be uh, pretty happy with the effort so far. 42 for two after winning the toss, bowling first. And, uh, the two quicks of St. Benedict's. I think I've done a decent job. I uh, say good morning to my fellow commentator, Shine Perra. Morning, Farviers. Morning, everyone. Yes, uh, Wesley seemed to be doing well after this first hour. I think the Benedictines missed a trick or two. Dilan Tabru has been the pick of the bowlers. A couple of wickets into his fifth over. Uh, there's some uh, early movement. They start the two Wesley openers, Kipper Sile Dias. And uh, Chamath uh, Gomez was uh, going great guns 30 to be exact five boundaries and a six and just thought he just carried away playing too many strokes and uh, just thought the wicket taking ball of gomez was slow delivery bowled by dabru and in the end uh, it was a decent catch at long on but it was set beautiful shot lovely asha nisira has been a very impressed for a youngster batting at number three and hallmark of a straight drive, his high elbow and a steady position of a head, exactly what he displaced that one. Once again over pitched, like I said, uh, Benedict Tynes missing a trick or two in the first hour, a uh, little bit of a, a tricky wicket, but with the sun coming out, uh, it seems to be baked well now and playing well, playing true. Yeah, usually Campbell Park pitches. The first star, there is some life for the fast bowlers, and then this goes by outside edge, passing a cover fielder, easy single, and crossing over second run as well. And by probably after the one now, it's one of the best pitches to bat on. Simply, there's so much grass left, and the spinners won't come into play at least probably late evening. And once the ball gets older, that'll be tough work. But the best time to bat, I would say, is with the new balls. Since the ball skids on with the hardness of the ball. Once again, over pitched. Played back to the bowler. You captained in St. Benedict's College in 99-2000, correct? Yes. Yeah, I remember the golden era. The Saurabhuti brothers, if they are listening to me, the rivalry that we had. Even the father used to coach me. Yeah. And Ranjit Fernandez, sir, another proud Benedictine, played for Sri Lanka. He is from the same club that I come from as well, Nondescripts. And... Uh, Got along pretty well with the Benedictine. It's good to see the two schools have come come by and play in this uh, important encounter. Yep. Top the next side again. Tabru just missing his mark. Probably uh, getting a bit tired. Pulling his uh, fifth over. At the end of the tenth over. Leslie 
49 for 2. shot of Campbell Park. It's had a gloomy day. Hopefully the weather stays away. As we see uh, first bowling change for Benedict St. Benedict's. Looks like spin from the college end. Russian De Soisa coming into the attack from the college end. Good start. Looks like a bowler who's left to give some air. Yeah, this young man, Shane, he's a long career ahead. Still a youngster. He's been batting really well this season. He started off pretty well. On a good length straight away. Nice loopy off spin, not too fast, bringing the pitch into play, trying to see what, what help it will give him. <laughs> Officially cut behind square to the boundary, slightly short outside the off stump. And the left hand has loved it over there. It's outside the off stump, pretty much. It's exactly what the left hand are looking for. Then it's an off spinner. And this time, Ashen De Soisa bowling his first over. Just giving it a little bit of width, which is good enough for Ashan Isira to free his arm. And as you said, it was quite uppish, but in the end, very, very safe. Once again, short cut to the boundary. Well in front of square this time. And in control. Placement was key, exactly what Ashan Isira found. Didn't try to hit too hard. And value for money for strokes at the Campbell Park. is brilliant with the very fast outfield. As Wesley brings up their 50 of 63 deliveries in 53 minutes with 1, 6 and 7 boundaries. Obviously maintaining a pretty good run rate. Rates do come into play in this first innings. Uh, once again on a good line. Good speed. A little bit of purchase. I don't think spinners will come into play uh, right away. Probably in the la latter part of the game. But at the moment, it'll be just like that. It's kidding on to the bat. The length's going to be key. The line got to be wicket to wicket. Skipper Parsons, Suarez is doing the right thing by having a short slimy dawn and the slip field in the catching position. As we see, end of the 11th over. Wesley 57 for 2. Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank. Our interest is in you. Come on, come on, come on. 
Looks like it's a double change for the ends for St. Benedict's. It's been to continue from the uh, Borel end. Still, uh, skip a pass on Suarez. Looks like left arm spin up. Chama Chaturanga from the uh, Borel end. Spin twins. Good toss to win for St. Benedict's. Picking up two wickets. Just reminding all our viewers, first things of both this innings is restricted for 65 overs, and then there's no restriction in the second innings. So, firstly, got to make sure the bat the 65 overs get the maximum runs. We're going with the arm, and Anudit playing for the turn. There's no purchase at all, as you mentioned, with the grass covering. It's going to speed on with the new ball. And just finishing up on the uh, rules and regulations for this uh, encounter. Is that no, again, once again. outside the off-stump. Once again, the ball, going on with the arm. Batsman playing for turn. The ball is still just 11 overs old. So I bet, I bet it's still a bit hard. A little bit of shine on it. Seen three deliveries all going on straight, no turn to talk off. All two missing the outside edge, one just marginally hitting the outside. Full toss driven to mid off. Hey, Chama Chaturanga has started pretty well and uh, beaten outside the Austin twice. Keeper Pasan getting the uh, second slip field as well. Look at Gully to the outside edge. Two full that time, probably the length got to be at least six inches shorter to get the two slip fielders uh, into into the play. But doing the right thing, St. Benedict's looking for wickets. A beautiful uh, area shot from the drone camera, who's uh, been busy the entire day. Nicely bowled once again, slowing it up a little bit more. That's been playing it safely into the covers. Fifty-seven for two after twelve. And the Hadan Nagan Navani gate to the Danavani Rally Novati Navalagan Navani Wani higher than in Avani. Hayan. Fifty-seven to two after twelve overs. St. Benedict's winning the toss, bowling first. Pretty, pretty happy with a couple of wickets picked up, but the run rate has been uh, pretty on the high side, close to five runs per over. Short this time, and Ashani Sira don't have to have a second invitation to pounce it towards mid wicket for a boundary. Bad ball, long hop, nicely dealt with. That's his foul fifth boundary, Shani Sura. 24 not out. It's not that short. He picked up the length pretty early and found that gap where there's no field at all. Yeah, this is good batting. Waiting for any loose deliveries after the initial onslaught by uh, Chamath Gomez. Got uh, sublime innings so far by this young man. Right back on a length, nicely played. The sun creeping through. Shot. Never a pleasant uh, feeling. Feeling at Silly Midor, especially when the ball of balls <laughs> short. And the batsman finds somewhere 
the lower body part of the Salim Adolf. But saying that, a tough boy was uh, spirit of the game, showing that there by Ashwin Isura, just checking out if the field is okay. It's good to see by the school, school boys. Shot again. Simply played away towards car point for a single. This is good batting by Asha Nisira, which is waiting for anything loose to pounce on. And uh, Asha and Disoisa has started pretty pretty decently. But when it's come to purchase, but well, I don't think spinners will come into play. It's important to build up those short deliveries. I'm a bit surprised that they have a, a person on the cover boundary. bold on a length once again like I said a bit surprised that there's a field on the cover boundary I would have expected them to uh, keep the field he's in it's, he's just in his second over so probably uh, needs to get into the groove of things cross the line this time deep scroll like fielder doing the uh, feeling a decent return in Wesley College going decently and with that two runs Finishing at 64 for two after 13 overs. Mobile, protect wholeheartedly. Chama Chaturanga to continue. A look of the uh, Campbell Park. That's the uh, on the right, right hand side corner of the pavilion next to it. The old West Side Sports Club. And uh, Chama Chaturanga, left down spinner to continue. And so far, West Innings has contained ten boundaries and a six. Just the two who made no was after winning the toss. Don't think St. Melody's will be that happy with the run rate. Yes, uh, a bit too many runs for the Benedictine liking. Having said that, uh, Wesley have managed to play out that first hour well. Chamat so seems to be settling in on a good line and length. Shot. What a beautiful shot. That was enough width. And the length was perfect for a drive. Chama Chaturanga giving so much air. And Ashan Isira equal to the task. To feel that short extra call for a moment thought he was in the game. I'll tell you what. That was smashed to our extra call for a boundary. Outside the off stump. Got the treatment it deserved. Inviting again. What's Ashan Isir has done well so far? He's playing the ball on its merits. He's not trying to hit too hard. Playing through the line. Whenever there is an opportunity to grab any runs, he's been pouncing out perfectly. And anything is not there to make runs. He's very, very effective in his defense as well. Pretty solid, always. Good head position. The youngster just coming through. I was told he can play three more years of college. I think. Uh, Early signs are so good. If you can continue the same form, I think he will have a definitely have a brilliant future. Nicely bowled inside edge down to square leg. Wesley 68 for two.
Mercy College going pretty well. Now losing the toss, put into bat. Just had the feeling Mercy College would have done the same thing if they had won the toss. And as we see uh, a change of bowling as well. Shinal Samarthunga into the attack. Looks like another off spinner coming from the Mercy College. And iconic. And this guy used to bowl a lot of my overs when I playing this. Benedictine skipper ringing in the changes in search of a breakthrough. Slip it off field, a slip field attacking position, short mid wicket, mid on, deep square leg, short extra cover, cow point, sweeper cover, and mid off. At the rest of the fielders for St. Benedict's. It's much quicker. Looks like a bowler would like to bowl quicker. The other two spinners would love to give much more air. Time to buy the wickers and where else. Shinal Samarutunga is someone who likes to contain the batsman by not giving away too much runs. The early sign says it. Short ball. Keeping a wee bit low. That's when not able to get hold of it. Yeah, like you said, early signs uh, say Chanel is someone who likes to keep the batsman uh, true. Nicely bowled. A little bit more pace on the ball than the other two spinners. And Ashan Nisira, as I said, played the ball on its merits. He's in his area. He's not shy away to. Losing those the arms, but whenever there is a decent delivery on offer, it's good enough to defend. That's a beautiful shot. And you find the field at mid-off. Into the 15th over. Run rate pretty decent. Nice finish to the over. Wesley 69 for two. Whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation, the best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes. And even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see our range at the Cyclotech showroom. Bikes with attitude from Cyclotech, a jam holdings entity. Well, we get to wicket, not giving any width in the previous over. There's only one delivery that was on his arc, Ashen Sura. And he made sure that went for a boundary. And this time it's Anudit. Become a singer. Number 10 for the rest of college. The strikers in. Over pitched on middle and leg. Batsman unable to find the gap. The value for strokes at Campbell Park always has been in the highest order, I would say, mainly because the outfields generally have been really quick. And good to see it's a lush green outfield. The groundsmen have done a fantastic work in the prevailing weather being so dry. They've worked tirelessly to get these conditions perfect for this uh, all important uh, second encounter for Reverend James Cartman Cup between Wester College and St. Benedict's College. And uh, behind the Behind scenes, lots of hard work has to has been done to get this going. We initiated last year, been in talks with, with the COVID situation, was good enough to uh, get it going. And now, just a matter of time, it will reach the levels where the other schools play the the important matches. Outside edge once again, batsman playing for a little bit of spin. 
Yes, uh, that's correct. Five is uh, just a matter of time till uh, this encounter reaches the levels of the other schools. The atmosphere seems to be nice. Uh, things seem to be uh, grooming well. In the end, it's all about school children coming in and watching the game. That's the end of the 16th versus 69 for two, and we shall get a water break. Tayan Lankayano, Sudan Kavi, G. I. Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kam Yavanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Mata, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patan Kate to Sidukaran Rabai, Kala Kunikaha, Desh Kunikata Pianta, Manalis Uru to the Akarita Nishpatane Kerena, Palanchi Saplate, Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kalapina Akarita, Merata the Nishpatane Keran Rabana, Usas Matapi, Nishpatan Kriavali Aksatu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Oka Samaki, Shakti Vishwa Sevenuin, Nipatavama Capacity. There's nothing like Crystalline Series Automotive Window Film from 3M to help keep you cool and comfortable in your car. And thanks to nanotechnology, it's almost invisible. But it doesn't just help keep the heat out. It also helps protect you from harmful UV rays. No matter what shade you choose, that's the magic of Crystalline. Visit our website for more information. At the water break, uh, 69 for two. So at the water break, uh, put into bet, Wesley College, 69 for two. Lost two early wickets, one at 11, and the second wicket fell at 34. Shahili dies for three, and uh, goes out for 30 runs. Morning, Michael. I Morning, Aitha. Uh, now the wicket is playing very easy, so these two batsmen building up a partnership. Yeah, I think uh, if you look at it, Wesley will be the more happier of the two after the first water break. He's losing only two wickets. Winning the toss and uh, electing to bowl first. I'm sure Sir Bendix would have needed at least three to four wickets by now. A little bit of moisture on it, overcast conditions at that time, but it was not to be. 
is Chamath Gomez who was out for 30. A confident innings, batted very well. Unfortunately, his kite ran into the air, was caught at mid-on. He is now the Wesley batsman finding it their own home turf. Finding it very easy, ball coming onto the bat well. No pressure at all. The sun also pretty hot, so any dew would have gone away. Yes, as you said, Michael, it's now hot and clear, but at the start of the game it was a bit uh, overcast conditions. So St. Benedict's uh, unable to really capitalize on that uh, early moisture conditions uh, which Furways Maruf said at the pitch report. So the first innings are restricted to 65 overs per side and a new ball to be taken after 50 overs can be decided and taken. I think that's an option if the captain needs to. That's right. That will be very tricky Yamida after 50 overs taking the new ball. Yeah. Maybe a little too hard. early yes. It be easy for the batsman. Well, if you have one set batsman, it can go the wrong way. It's basically looking at between uh, lunch and tea that you'll be taking that new ball. So the sun is also going to be out in full cry. So 17 overs completed. Wesley, 71 for 2. But if she doesn't legs, she'll have to go. <laughs> Okay, all right. Your pet can stay. <laughs> UHD quality video streaming on Sri Lanka's first, fastest and widest premium fiber network. Internet like a boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. So, so these two batsmen rotate in the strike well. It's picking up the single, not, no pressure. Shan has been there for some time, 43 balls for his 31. And Anudit taking his time, 23 balls, just 7. He would like to, uh, you know, be a bit more proactive, rotate the strike a bit. I don't think it's all about hitting 4s and 6s. Scamble Park ground, uh, well maintained the outfield, green, lush green outfield. And cut, uh, so outfield is fast. Nicely put away. Good catch taken at Medwicker. Well judged catch. Had to take a few steps going back. But very well judged. And a vital catch. Rush of blood stepped out. Hit it in the air. And a good catch taken. So St. Benedict's able to capture their third wicket. So Asha and Sigira departs. See that replay again, uh, Amita. Because they are to be hit. A good catch. Taking it over his head. Few steps back. Judging it well. This Asha and Sigira departs uh, for 31. He's just getting his eye in. But unable to concentrate and make a, a big score. A rush of blood stepped out. Tried to hit it over the mid wicket fielder but didn't get hold of it. But a well judged catch also. The fielder took a few steps back. The tall boy was able to grab onto that catch. Wesley College 72 for 3 in 17.3 overs. A new best run. Similarly, in again. Not what Wesley would have needed. The guy just was in. 31 runs, just throwing his wicket away. Just need to bat long. Chaturya getting his first. Holding his fourth over as one for six. Similar in the third year player. Playing as an all rounder. So you see this boy bowling at some point or the other. So, field of a slip, Silimidov, cover extra. 
स्वीपर कवर मिड ऑफ मिड ऑन शॉर्ट मिड विकेट एंड अ डीप मिड विकेट स्क्वायरिश राइट हैंडेड लिए नगे टेकिंग गार्ड टेकिंग स्ट्राइक फ्लाइट एंड डिलीवरी इन द न्यू बैट्समैन ऑन हिज फ्रंट फुट सो नाउ इट्स अगेन रीबिल्डिंग प्रोसेस अमित दैट्स आई दे वर जस्ट बिल्डिंग अ पार्टनरशिप सेकंड विकेट फेल एट 34 नाउ द थर्ड विकेट एट 72 पार्ट 38 रन पार्टनरशिप सो वाइटल पार्टनरशिप ब्रोकन बाय सेंट बेनेडिक्स सो दैट लाइन दैट लेंथ tempting the batsman to come out do something different that should be the strategy and tactics of the benedictines that straying down leg side nobody in that um, square leg region and that runs to a boundary as i said earlier fast outfield so four valuable runs lineage opens his account with a boundary 76 for 3 after 18 overs First delivery, driven to mid on, batsman crossover for a single. Another it moves up to eight. Bit disappointed with uh, Sir Bendix's bowling. Um, they just picked up a wicket, and then goes same over. Gives the new batsman easy shot, easy four basically for him to sweep. Need to be more consistent. Drive yeah. the runs up, and I'm sure the wickets will come. Yes, and also probably bringing in another close-in fielder, putting pressure on the new batsman. Earlier they had a silly mid off, yeah. a silly mid on, but bringing a silly mid off, putting pressure. It's important at this time for Benedict Times to get another wicket. Are you? Earlier partnership of 38 runs, those two batsmen settling in. You can't let Wesley bat the 65 overs because you you let them bat the 60 overs, you're looking at something way over. You know, 200, 250, or even 300, which is not going to be easy. So it's nice to see the school boys from both schools, Wesley College and St Benedict's this year. Last year it was rain affected, and due to COVID, there was no crowds at the match. The youngsters supporting their senior cricketers, encouraging to see crowds. at the cricket encounter as he flighted driven straight to the field few runs there for the taking similar still finding his feet They are again driven straight to the field. So uh, Bowler Shenal Samaratunga coming in from the Wesley College end. Right arm off spinner. Bowling to similar Lee Nagay who just walked into the middle. He's on four.
So that's the end of the 19th over. Wesley 77 for 3. We are here to better your lives and champion your every goal. With 12 billion rupees worth of customer benefits in 2020 and a life insurance fund worth over 100 billion rupees, our strength is your strength. You focus on your goals. We will take care of the risks. Selinko Life. Moving on quietly. No big hurry here. 77 for 3. Those in their main uh, main form. Side guys, the skipper early on. Chamat Chaturanga coming in from the far end. Yeah. The hospital end, I would say. Call it the Borel, and uh, that's what I'm told. Correction, yeah. Michael says Borel in. That's a good line, he's bowling, but probably a little more flight. Try to bring the batsman out. Let him go for a stroke. Let him try something different. Getting a bit of turn as well, uh, Amitha. So, and all yeah. credit to Anudita. Moving away from his stumps and defending that. See, he's getting his leg well outside the off stump. It'll be hard even if he's wrapped on the pad. It'll be hard for the umpire to, you know, turn it in favour of the bowler. Yes, Anudita has concentrated and batted well for his eight runs. Stayed in the middle. That's what he should be doing. A little more air, a little more flight. Put in a bit more effort as well. Hurry the batsman. And in that area would be a good area to keep bowling. So 20 overs completed. Wesley put into bed 77 for 3. Continuing loud appeal. At first delivery, try to cut it. It was a loud appeal, but best plan is allowed. Technically correct. Nice shot by Lienege. Just lent on to it. No pressure on. Similarly, in the game, moves up to five. I think that's what uh, both batsmen should be doing. Just playing it to the gaps and taking their singles. Scoreboard will be rotating. So the two teams, Wesley College, captain by Shahil Dias. Benedict's captain by Fasan Suhas. <laughs> Sahil got a 50 last year in the Cartman Cup cricket encounter, played at St. Benedict's grounds. Sahil has bowled uh, pretty tidily, keeping it there and thereabouts, 3.4 was uh, just 4 runs. I think that's what the plan should be, just keep it tight from one end. 
put the pressure on Wesley Batsman. So there was some turning. Anudit has been very watchful. His intent is to stay there. As he's got his eye in. Phase 33 deliveries should concentrate. Has to hit it. There is a bit of a misfield, but uh, as it's always says, it's dangerous to run on a misfield. So 21 overs completed. Wesley 78 for 3. Last year's encounter, Wesley got 228 for 9 with Sailas getting a 50, Kushan Chamalka 45, Tenuka Perra 42, and a fine bowling performance by Malin the Perra 6 for 66 for the Benz. St. Benedict's all out 139, with Ashin Desaiza 23, Dilan Tabu 22. And in the second innings, Wesley got declared 90 for 5 and St. Benedict's for 56 for 1 at close. It was rain affected but still continued to play. Dean Gay has a straight bet. Nice to watch him play. Especially to the drive to mid off, mid on. Gets to the pitch of it. Just leans on it. Technically very correct. Right thing that run like the Benedictines, I mean the seven fielders within basically the closing field, putting a lot of pressure, no easy singles given away. Yes, that's what the Benedictines uh, have not done, put the pressure on now, especially the new batsman, Lena Gay. As he came in, he got a boundary which was the ball straying down leg side. Swept away to the uh, square leg boundary for four. Whereas the field was placed on the off. So it's important that you don't tell up a new best to settle down. It decent lines there. Not letting them mid on mid off all stop in the circle basically for the spinners. So we will have to go over if they need runs. So that's the end of the 22nd over. Wesley put into bat 78 for 3. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program. A self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SEMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. the second delivery in the over. Bit of a mistake there and gives a single away. His fielding has to be sharp. That puts the pressure on the batsman. Misfield by the bowler on the return. Batsman crossed over for a single. To now this so now we can see the mid-off being brought in. That should be the strategy. Extra cover, cover fielder, slip, silly mid on, short mid wicket, a deep mid on. Uh, 
a wide shot delivery has been chosen to leave it alone could have had cut at it ayyo dane dane good piece of fielding on the return throws it back <coughs> no damage done score remains at 79 for 3 this morning st benedicts captain hasan so has won the toss and elected to field captured two early wickets one at 11 and the second at 34 when there was a partnership of 38 runs and it's 3 for 72 so now it's 3 for 79 It's a lovely shot. Opens the pace of the bat and nicely guides it to the third man region. Mm, nice shot by Lee Nage. Improvising. Twenty-three overs completed. Eighty-one for three. Dun 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 dun. Oi kaurut danna vane, abhi kaurut danna vane, abe marati hadna vane. Aya, tu me se ta ganna vane, palanchi ata dana vane, ante na bate ta ganna vane. Aya, ante hadna ganna vane, gate tu ata dana vane, rally nu ati na vala ganna vane. Aya, oi kaurut danna vane, abhi kaurut ganna vane, vane haiya dana vane. Vani higher than in a vani. Thayan. Vani saha galvanized vani butter. Thayan. Oi kaurud ganna vani. Ape rate hadana vani. Vani higher than in a vani. There was a single there. But a bit of ball watching by both the batsmen. Not being able to communicate. Well, now they coming to have a word to each other i think it was the striker's call that passed the on striker said yes arudit wanted a single similar responded but went back that's the basic savita you know, you trust your partner Is that the worst thing that Wesley would expect at this stage? 81 for three to have a run out. These two batsmen also quietly settling down. Oh. Extremely defensive, watchful. No attempt to pick up the singles. Forty deliveries for his nine runs. Should try to look for a few singles because he's now got his eye in. He's battled there, been there for a while in the middle. That's a better delivery. The south side of stump. Anurag did the nice to covering it, getting his foot outside the off, and defending it. The powerful hit. Yes, it clears the mid-wicket boundary for a four. He waited for that, and was powerful hit. Just tossed up wide outside the off stump, asking to be hit. You see that replay again. There you go. A lot of room to swing his arms. Important thing was he kept his eyes on the ball, pulled it from the off, and hit it over mid wicket for four. Moved up to double figures. He's on 13 now. Looking for that single, but the fielder is quick onto the ball. And after 24, Wesley 85 for three.
So put into bed this morning by St. Benedict's Wesley College. Lost two early wickets. Now have settled down to 85 for three. A car is not just a car. The last over. Got to the pitch of it and hit, hit a boundary over mid wicket over for four runs. Lee Nage is the new batsman. He's also got his eye in batted Kwanzaa Bell. Especially his drive on the off and on the on. Technically very correct. Nice for any youngster to watch. There's change in bowling. See Madhumal. Chanel Samarthunga continuing from the Wesley College end. That was beautifully hit by Lienage. Hit into the gap between uh, mid wicket and mid on. Slightly short, lent on it. Nicely put away. Lienage moves on to double figures. He's on 11. That was asking to be hit. So slowly but surely, these two batsmen concentrating and batting there in the middle. That's much Sunil better. A little bit more spin, little bit more air. Previous over, he opened the pace and hit it a little bit square to the third man area and picked up two runs. So Lienage has been improvising. It's good betting. Rotating the strike, getting the single. Already got a boundary in over. So doesn't have to do anything fancy. Already five runs have come. That's the bonus. Left handed Arnold with Vikram Singh taking strike. He's on 13. Ah! Yeah, he's allowed a pail. Umpire Diesel loves. 25 overs completed. Wesley, 90 for 3. is not just a bike. They're characters in the story of your life. Some like their privacy. Others like to be shown off. The older ones are wiser, having done more with their time. Some are strong road warriors out to do battle. Some like to take things slow, while others live to fly. A ride is not just a ride. Just like mobile is not just another oil. So new starts up. This is over number 26. Wesley 90 for 3 being put into bat today by St. Benedict. who won the toss this morning. Another is on 13 or 44 balls. Lienage is on 12. So we've got about 30 minutes to lunch on day one. Uh, good to see the uh, cricketers really putting in their effort earlier on in the game. Uh, we've seen a fairly good morning session developing from both sides. Benz clawing back three wickets and Wesley slowly digging in. Nice played. Very nicely played. Should look for two. Settling for a single. You got to take that first run uh, hard. Look for the second run. Just tickle around the corner on the leg side. Always a chance to get two runs. Put the field under pressure. 
What was good uh, to see in the last two overs, Wesley making use of the shorter boundaries from both ends uh, and uh, getting the maximums out of uh, the loose balls. Yeah, so far this session has been for the team one, Steven. Yep, uh, a slow uh, but steady uh, partnership building there. I think the last wicket fell at 74, if I'm not mistaken. So they've taken oh, it. Oh, that's it away. That's a good hit. Well struck indeed. That's over the rope. That's six. So the Wesleyites finding the boundary a little more often in the last three overs. What a shot. Picked up maximum. So this partnership is now 24 runs for the fourth wicket. Again, good clean pickup by the batsman. Again, goes weight, but this straight to the field at this time. You've got to find those gaps. That's what's so important. There's the extra cover in the mid-off. And also the bowlers I think they also need to bowl to their field. So end of the over, 26 completed and Wesley 97 for three. Kayano, Sudan Kavi, G. I. Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kam Yavanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Matter, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patan Katu to Sidukar Rabai, Kala Gulikaha, Desh Gulikata Puenta, Manalis Uru to the Akari to Nish Patane Kirina, Palanchi Sa plate, Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kalapina Akari to Merata the Nish Patane Kurubana, Usasmata Pi, Nish Patan Kriavaliaksatu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Uba Samaki, Shakti Vishwa Savinuin, Nipatavama Capacity. In fact, it was uh, Isiro went for 31. So Vikram Singh is he's batting there. We're just joining our live telecast. So we say a very good morning to you. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the coverage of the action of the game between St. Benedict's and Wesley from Campbell Park. And Eric, it's good to see the crowds, uh, the young guys really enjoying themselves. That's well played. Well played indeed. Beats the extra cover, beats the deep mid off field into the boundary for four. And it's right down to that area where the Wesley schoolboys are. Wow, the applause from that area. 100 comes up for Wesley. 101 for the loss of three wickets. So as you know, the each innings is split for 65 overs maximum with the option of taking the new ball at 50. So we are somewhere near the halfway point. Here's some positive stroke play by the Wesley batsman. They know the inning is going to last 65 overs when the 27 just past the halfway stage where the new ball can be taken. So Lenke has been aggressive. Driven past the ball this time. Long on in the action. It's only a single. That's good thinking for the batsman. A boundary followed by a single. Rotate the strike. That's so important in the game. Good cricket all round, I would say, Eric, because the bowler also uh, did his bit there to stem that second scoring shot. So the 100 coming up uh, of 158 balls, 111 minutes of batting, 14 boundaries, two sixers for the loss of three wickets. Lofted in the air, should be a court, out court, and the St. Benedict's pick up another wicket. So the, the typical uh, commentator's curse there. Yes, what we've seen so often in innings is that uh, when you get a couple of boundaries going, the batsman think that every single ball could be hit out of the park, and they play some loose shots, and that was... Uh, a very poor shot. It's in the air for a long time. Well covered up by the fielder. Who took a good catch. Kept his eyes on the ball. 
So Wesley is their fourth wicket. So all credit to the bowler for hitting the right spots even after getting some stick earlier on in the over. to drive home the last six wickets now. Uh, Dilhan did his bit, bending his back in getting it, the first two wickets, and then was involved in the court and uh, the, he caught that uh, third batsman out. So the men's school boys on their toes, on the boundary line, cheering their side. Why not? When you pick up a wicket and you do well. So Tilsha and Saranayaka, the man in, third year player. Also, the wicket keeper of the side. The problem, basically, said is that uh, they start to build partnerships, and when it's going good, they lose a wicket. So, pressure again on the new batsmen to try and rebuild that innings. So, if someone reads this pitch well, it has to be the wicket keeper batsman himself, because uh, I'm sure he knows every bit of uh, every inch in this pitch, like the back of his hands. Well played. Well fielded. That long on. Could have been two. Should have been two, in fact. Smart fielding on the boundary. It's so good to see a lot of intent in the Benedictine fielding. I'm sure they are with their tails up with the last wicket falling just a short while ago. Edged, didn't really carry the slip. Went down to a short third man. Plenty of time for uh, Serenak. Jock the mark, picks up a single. So ends the over as well. 27 completed and Wesley 104 for four. So Wesley College put it back today by St. Benedict's, 104 for 4. Another edge, but straight towards that short third man position. And around 21 minutes to lunch on uh, day one. A lot of the school boys of both uh, colleges at the grounds supporting their teams as well. Good day for cricket overall. A nice stiff breeze blowing across the field. Yes, the first half an hour or so we had the overcast condition on the ground. There were a few drops that came over the grounds, but that passed away. There was no need to bring the covers out of the grounds. At that time, uh, St. Benedict's won the toss, no hesitation to field first. We saw a bit of grass on the track, a bit of juice as well. But now it's settled down. It's going to turn out to be an excellent batting track. Always these tracks at Campbell Park have been so good for batsmen. It's good to see a lot of lift uh, being worked off by the spinners as well. So it's a true, true uh, pitch to play on. Couldn't find the gap straight to the fielder. Trishan Saranayaka, the new man in, the wicket keeper batsman for Wesley College in his third year. He's on one. Chaturi on that occasion pitching slightly short. Tossed up, well bowled, played defensively forward. Well 
wider from the crease coming into that batsman ends the over 28 completed and Wesley 104 for four it's a good tight over by Chaturia Over number 29 in progress. So did get on strike. There's 36 balls for his 19 runs. Realize that Wesley must get a move on. There should have been single there. Played with soft hands. Just put it on the onside. Defensive fielder in place for the right arm spinner. A slip in place, short third man, extra cover, the mid off. Trying to work it down the leg side, doesn't get back to ball, collected by the big keeper. On the onside, he's got that uh, deep mid wicket, deep backward square leg, a long on, with the mid on in place. Well played. Drives past the bowler, but uh, covered up at long on. Again, only a single. Taking that first run so quickly is so important. And now that uh, man comes across uh, towards forward short leg. So a bat pad man on the onside. Good thinking from uh, the captain and the bowler himself. Forces it off the back foot, but straight to the field, an extra cover. And again, the over completed. End of the over, Wesley, 105 for four. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. minutes away from lunch on day one so most spin in the action a slipping place a silly point a backward point for extra cover along with the long off on the offside nice played past the bowler long on comes into play batsman cross for one The fall of the last wicket, uh, making it a little bit quiet for the Wesleyites in the middle. Right. 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 Yes, the batsmen must know where their fielders are. 
try and pick those gaps, pick up the singles, keep rotating the strike, keep the scoreboard moving. When the boundaries drop, you start to pick singles. And once the singles come in, you get the bowler thinking, he might start doing different things. So it's all a mind game, uh, Eric. Oh yes, cricket is a mind game, no doubt. Hot and humid day at Campbell Park. Again, well played along the ground. Slight fumble on the field. you need the non-striker must duck his partner so important all the time so that ends the over as well and Wesley are 109 for four whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation the best way to experience it is on a rally coyote and hero bike we stock a range of bikes for juniors including BMX models and mountain bikes Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes. And even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see our range at the Cycletech showroom. So bikes with attitude boys, from Cycletech, a jam holdings Bags, entity. A lot of cheering going on for both the uh, present day boys from Wesley and uh, St. Benedict's. Good for cricket. Good to see them uh, enjoying the cricket as well. Cheering their sides. <laughs> important to have a lot of crowd support lots of the old boys of both schools that's Wesley and St. Benedict's also present the grounds camaraderie has been absolutely excellent and tomorrow we see a, a bigger crowd of the old boys uh, present on the grounds I'm sure as the day progresses we're going to see a few more of the old boys walking in uh, Eric uh, it's 126 years is a long time uh, for any encounter to go on in uninterrupted So in the good old days when we played here, it was uh, the choir matting that we played on. We always played uh, the Wesley Bin encounter at Campbell Park in the third term. It's good to see the turf and a good turf for it being built. All credit to the management. Because the Wesley St. Benedict's encounter has been a stop-start situation. Not played for a few years, quite a few years in fact. I remember been playing, uh, we didn't play against uh, some uh, Benedicts, even in third term fixture. Wonder why. But uh, my playing days uh, and uh, watching days started in the mid 70s, Eric. Mm. Always, we have always played the Wesley encounter. Well bowled, well bowled indeed. The short one into the chest. And there is Sadanayaka. Going for that, gets the edge, slip takes a good catch. That's a good wicket for St. Benedict's before lunch. Wesley lose their fifth. So Sachin being called into bowl, does his job straight on. Yeah, there we are, short lifting outside the line of off stump, pays the penalty, putting back to that. Could have very easily have let it go through to the wicket keeper. But then pays the penalty for. Uh, following that and getting back to it so St. Benedict strike uh, 10 minutes to lunch picking up five wickets so now win the toss and uh, fielding first St. Benedict has really paid off they picked up five of Wesley wickets in just over two hours of play two hours and five minutes of play so far and uh, if you look at it the Benz have uh, uh, dominated the first uh, session of play today five wickets uh, in 30 overs and uh, Keeping the 
opponents to less than 115. So Lina is super singer, the new man in, also a third year player. Playing as an all rounder, left hand batsman. Plenty of uh, experience when it comes to uh, batting, uh, Eric. Yes, I think both sides have equal number of experienced players on their side. And good to see these uh, cricketers showing a lot of maturity uh, in uh, playing out this uh, fixture today. So Sachin has picked up his first wicket, one for 21. Sachin working out good pace there. That's when Ducks under. Sachin Senanayaka bending his back. He knows he's got just about uh, six or seven minutes of play before lunch. So he can afford to bend his back. So good thinking from the Bendit team captain to bring in his pacey and ask him to bend his back there. And uh, Sachin doing very well, picking that wicket. On the short one lifting. Super Singer goes under that. Oh, white call. Well, that means over the shoulder. But the yes. good thing there is uh, that pitch is uh, giving something for the bowlers even late in the afternoon. Uh, first session of play, rather. So you've got a slip and a gully, the backward point, a point and the extra cover with the mid off and the offside. I like the fight that the Benedictine skipper is putting up there, uh, bringing his, in his closing fielders, building that pressure. And as Sachin bowls, driven on the front foot, no run. Yes, Sir Nanaka has picked up a vital wicket uh, for St. Benedict's. Now Wesley struggling at 110 for 5. The last ball, the 31st over coming up. That's well played. Short again, lifting. Ends the over as well, so 31 completed. And Wesley in their first innings, 110 for 5. It's a good aggressive over bowled by Sachin Senanayaka that time. Uh, Bejaye ape petu mai na bendi javin sahay sadhana. Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank. Our interest is in you. So Wesley 110 for 5. Lunch slowly creeping in. Yes, about 6 minutes away from uh, lunch on the first day. So Mehran perhaps. perhaps will bowl out in yes. the morning session. Could be a couple of overs before lunch. Nice driven. Tossed up, taken on the full, but cannot penetrate that inner circle. So score remains at... One one zero. So the batsman crossed for a single. It's up to the Nelson. One 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 for five. You know the story about the Nelson? I'm sure <laughs> lots of youngsters will want to listen to it, Eric. If you can the man that with one leg, one hand, and one eye. So that's the famous Nelson, is Famous it? Nelson. Well played. 
Well fielded. Excellent fielding. That ball was traveling at the rates of knots. Dive quickly to his uh, left, cut it off. A certain boundary being saved there. That was very good fielding indeed. Benz have shown uh, good commitment on the field uh, throughout the morning. Good to see the youngsters throwing themselves. Once again, single being taken, direct hit. I think he was home. But good effort on the field, good stop, good direct hit. Batsman equals the task. Good decision then from the umpire. Take a look at that. There we go. Batsman cross, return comes in. Just home. I think that early call for that run saved him. Good commitment for that run to get that first single in. Matang driven, this one driven handsomely on the offside. Another great stop, absolutely a fantastic stop. And a wide uh, long off. Excellent fielding, no doubt. That was travelling uh, so quickly towards the boundary. Another diving spot to stop there. So we can say that uh, perhaps uh, six runs have been saved so far in this over. Look at that commitment on the field. Absolutely great commitment. Any skipper would have been proud of that fielding. The Benz would have expected a little uh, a tighter bowling from Mevan on that occasion. So 32 was completed, Wesley 115 for 5. <laughs> So perhaps the last over of the morning session coming up. Clock reads about uh, two and a half minutes to 12. We've got the quick bowling operation, so it will be the last over before lunch. Good tactics from the Ben Skipper. Bring his quick bowler on. Well taken, well taken wicket keeper. Good diving stop, diving to his left. You see, so they beat the wicket keeper certainly down to the boundary for four buys. So the Ben fielders giving a lot of support for their bowling attack. May one strays away on the leg side on that time. So that's been too conscious. We got four balls left before lunch on day one. Wesley on 115 for five. Super Singh is on three, he's faced seven balls. Lina Gay on 24, he's faced 47 balls. And Sachin Jaya Singer, one for 22 into his seventh over. Nice build for a quick bowler is uh, Jaya Singer. Bowling from the Wesley College end. Short, nice to play it. On his toes towards square leg, single, could have been overthrows as well if the batsmen were looking for the second run. As a batting team, you've got to look for that extra run all the time. Take that first run quick enough, because there was nobody backing up at the stumps at the bowler's end. So always a chance of the extra run coming in. Perhaps the break that is looming may have kept the Wesleyites uh, from seeking that second run. Uh, Eric. Nice to play, it, but only a single. Ball running out towards uh, the mid on region. So halfway through, he's over Senanayaka. There's two balls left uh, in the 33rd over. So 
Lena Games have a strike. The right hander. Ah. Wrapped on the pad. Big shout. Given out. Ah, given out. Well, well, well. Let's take a look at that again. Umpire flicks the bales off. That means it's a lunch on day one with Wesley losing their sixth figure. So That's an interesting one. On the strike of lunch. Well bowled. I think he was beaten for pace, the batsman that time, Eric. Yes, no doubt about that. Clearly beaten for pace. Absolutely. Trying to flick it on the onside, playing across the line. St. Benedict certainly have the honours uh, at lunch on uh, day one of this two-day encounter. For right. the Reverend uh, James uh, Cartman uh, Memorial Trophy. So, honours definitely to the Benz as they go in for lunch. A good two overs or four overs that they bowled just before lunch. Building in a lot of pressure. So overall, I think the Benz camp, they're going to be very, very happy with their first session's uh, efforts. Right, the players walk back. Applause from uh, up here. The spectators as well. For our session, well played uh, by St. Benedict's College. Wesley struggling at 117 for 6 after 33 overs. And look at that uh, scorecard. Sile Dias, the captain of Wesley. Out for three, faced eight balls. Anudit made 19 of 48, but uh, Chamath Gomez, he was uh, initially a playmaker in that first session. He played a little cameo, made 30 of 28, but played uh, one too many shots and threw his wicket away. Ashan Asiri making 31 of 45. Semil Lienage, the last man out for 25 of 50. So, Tilshan uh, Sananayaka, he was out for three. And uh, Linlal Subasinghe, not out on four. After 32.5 overs, Wesley 117 for 6 in their first innings being put into bat today by St. Benedict's. We look at the bowling card as well for the Benz. Certainly a good bowling card. Satin Jayasinghe, 6.5 overs it should be. One wicket for 24. Tilan, 5 overs, 2 for 28. Ashen, 2 overs, 1 for 15. Chaturya, 1 for 21 from 9. Shanil, none for 7 from 5. Madhumal, Three overs, one for 13. And of course, Mevan bowled two overs, none for nine. So, inter so interesting uh, economy rates by uh, Chaturya bowling his nine overs for 2.3 and Sachin his 6.5 overs, as you said, for four, which is good, uh, keeping uh, all hopes for the Benz to wrap these innings. Let's take a look at the highlights of this uh, inning so far. There with that wicket of uh, Sahil Dias, the captain. The next one flicked away nicely on the onside. Beat the fielders to the boundary for four. And this one uh, played past the bowler, past the umpire down to long one for four. Great shot. Played it nicely on the offside. Reaches the boundary. And this one lofted on the onside. Good catch being taken. And again uh, played on the onside down towards uh, deep mid wicket. Cut away beautifully on the offside. Uh, beats the point field to the boundary for four. Pulled away on the onside. More runs for Wesley. As it reaches the boundary. And that one again. Uh, hit away on the onside. No fielder could get to that. And this one. Uh, nicely swept away. Beats that forward short leg. Field after it. Fast outfield. Again hit away on the onside. Over the head of that fielder at uh, deep mid-on. Pulled away down towards uh, that mid-on region. Again uh, in the air for a while but safe. Driven on the up. Straight to the boundary. As uh, another one uh, pulled away on the onside. Well caught. Good catch taken. And that one uh, was edged to the slip region. And the last ball before lunch given out LBW. And certainly the morning session belong to St. Benedict. So at lunch on day one, Wesley are 106, 17 for 6 after 32.5 overs. With two extras in the total. And today St. Benedict's won the toss and invited uh, Wesley to bat first. We'll take a break down here and be back in about 30 minutes for the action live from Campbell Park. In the Cartman Cup. 25th and 26th are the days so first session off so let's see you 
on the other side of lunch, uh, let's see all the schoolboys coming in as well. Cartman Cup 2022. Tayan Lankayano, Sudan Kavi, G. I. Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kamyavanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Mata, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patana Kate to Sidukaran Rabai, Kala Gunikaha, Desh Gunikata Twenta, Manalis Uru to the Akari to Nishpatane Kerena, Palanchi Saplate, Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kalapina Akari to Merata the Nishpatane Keran Rabana, Usas Matapi, Nishpatan Kriavaliaksatu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Uba Samaki, Shakti Vishwasi Venuin, Nipatavama Capacity. Ganavani, Palanchi at Danavani, and Tanabate at Ganavani. One higher than it.
Two overs of uh, for per inning in the first innings. Yeah, 32.5 overs ball so far. Dinesh doing the scoring for us and helping us uh, with the statistics. Thank you, Dinesh. 117 to 6 at lunch. Ben's team walking in. Heads held up high in that first session of performance. You can see the spring in their step as they walk into the middle. Halfway through the first innings, uh, Benedict Camp should be happy. That's right, Shane. And also, this, this momentum this has to be maintained for them to capture the rest of the wickets, keep the pressure on. I, th I think the Wesleyites also should have applied themselves a bit more. Uh, some of their batsmen getting, getting starts and just getting out in the 30s. Uh, they could have they could have easily capitalized on the, those starts. Yes, I think uh, the first 45 minutes lost two wickets, one at 11, the second one at 34. But then there was a 38 run partnership. But then, as Shine uh, mentioned, they didn't capitalize on it because after that there was no terror as such on the wicket. It was easing off and uh, probably loose shots and good bowling and good fielding by the Benz. Yes, a few good catches by the Benz. In the outfield, umpires for the game today: Damita Sankar Tilak Fernando in the middle, reserve umpire DJ Surya, match chefly Nallaya Devarajan. So tough job for the umpires here in the middle, hot, humid, to concentrate every delivery and make a judgment. So. Super Singh is on four. Yuvin Perera is on not. Last ball of the before lunch. That was a wicket. Super Singh is the new batsman. Yuvin Perera fresher. So Sachin Senanayaka coming in from the Wesley College end. A slip uh, uh, and a wideish uh, third slip. Cover extra, mid second extra, mid off, mid on, short mid wicket. A good piece of wicket keeping, diving to his left. Yes, wicket keeper Sarujan Shamuganajan. So that's the end of the over. 33 overs completed. 117 for 6. Just one delivery because the wicket fell and lunch was taken in. And the new over coming from the Borel in. Chamat. Chamat Chaturanga has captured one wicket so far. Wicket of uh, Ashen Isara. He's out for 31. It's coming in from the Borel in. Left arm over the wicket. A slip. Power. The pitch extra, extra cover, mid off, mid on, mid wicket as he runs in. Shine, let's just have a chat with your days at St. Benedict's. Uh, when did you start cricket and your final years of uh, cricket at St. Benedict's? Uh, well, I started uh, represented uh, college from under 13 and then uh, managed to get a spot in the first 11. Uh, in 1996, where I played under uh, Pradeep Hevagi first, and then uh, managed to represent college for the next six years. Finally, uh, uh, bowing out in 2001. That's a long stint for the first eleven. Yes, long, very enjoyable. Uh, many good experiences. 
uh, playing with senior guys, guys who had a lot of uh, experience. Oi kaurut danna vaane, api kaurut danna vaane, api marati hadna vaane. Brilliant picket keeper batsman. Uh, also uh, played under him at Tamil Union uh, when I represented uh, Tamil Union in the under 23 competition. Uh, I played under Joel Sauri Mutapule, one of the eldest of uh, elite brand of uh, Benedictines, uh, Joe Sauri Mutapule. Yes, that's the word elite brand of uh, Benedictines, Sauri Mutapule family. Shamat maintaining a good line just outside the off stump, a little bit more here. Yeah. Try to bring the batsman out, try to try something different. Straight away into a nice groove. Just went over the uh, mid wicket field for a boundary. Big shot to go for straight after lunch. I would thought the Wesleyites would want to be a bit more careful in their shot selections. But then again, uh, instinct taking over, I suppose. Yes, that's that last shot. Managed to get it over the uh, mid wicket field. Uh, pulled it from the off. Took a chance, and that was the end of the over. Senanayaka coming in from the Wesley College end, right arm over the wicket. Sachin has taken two wickets so far. He's kept the pressure on the batsman. Watching Sachin bowl, I think he is one of these boys who have bowls a heavy ball. Each time it hits the bat, you can you can almost feel the vibration on the bat. Sachin has bowled eight overs in his eighth over. And the hadan nagan navane, get to a dadan navane, rally no vati na vala gan navane, vani higher than a navane, higher. So it's a rebuilding time for Wesley College. Lost six wickets so far. He can bet up to 65 overs, a long way more there. But pressure is on them. I like that aggression uh, he showed in those last overs before lunch. Uh, I think that, that aggression was probably one of the turning points in getting those last two wickets and putting the bins on top before lunch. Yes, that is what is required at this moment uh, because the wicket not helping uh, in any way. So to put in that aggression, put in the pressure, bring in a fielder or two close. Such in ma main maintaining a fair pace, tall, lanky lad. It's important to make the batsman play. Hot, humid conditions, you want to make the three, four overs that you bowl in a spell really worthwhile. offside field so he should maintain their offside length yes and as you said he's not making the batsman play he's bowling outside the offster make the batsman play one short bouncer one up to the bat keeping the batsman guessing varying his deliveries because another wicket at this stage for Wesley, Benz will be really on top. Nicely bowled, uh, pu pushed in onto the back foot. 
So 35 overs completed 121 for 6. But if she doesn't lay eggs, she'll have to go. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, all right. Your pet can stay. <laughs> Network. Internet like a boss. boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. Two teams for this game. Uh, Shahil Dice, Captain in Wesley College. Anudit Vikram Singh, Chamath Gomas, Ashen Isira, Tilshan Senanayaka, Semila Gamage. That's nicely put away. And it has cleared the ropes for a six. So here's aggression being shown by uh, Lilan Subasinga. Nice clean hit over the ropes. He's taking the pressure on well. Linal Sar, Sumana Singha, Uvin Pereira, Ramindu Sigera, Sakesh Minon, Sanuta Amara Singha. So that comprises the Wesley side. He bends Benedictine College side. Benedictine side comprising of Pasan Suwaha, Sashain Disoisa, uh, Sharujan Shamuganadan, Kojit Himsara, Shinel Samratunga, Nimesh Soisa, Dilan Tabru, Sachin Sena Naika, Anish Madhumaka, Mevan Disa Naika, and Shama Chaturanga. So, Linal stepping out, watching the ball. Playing it well. So it's important that he bats on for Wesley College at this moment because they've lost uh, six wickets in the first session itself. No terrors whatsoever in the pitch. Playing true and well now. Flight at delivery. Bit of a miss hit. Probably to his uh, luck. Shamat Chaturanga coming in from the Boreller end, left arm. Round the wicket to the right hander. Woodwin Pereira. That's good, sensible cricket picking up the strike. Single rotating the strike. That's very important not to get ball. the strike. And Subha Singh uh, has faced 17 deliveries for his 15 runs. This is, this is Sumana Singh, not Subha Singh. That's first name, actually, first name. That's a good delivery. That's the end of the over. 36 overs completed, 129 for 6. It's You can't see properly. Instinct because we played cricket, we can judge from here. Otherwise, you can't. Tayan Lankayano, Sudan Kave, GI Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kam Yavanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Mata, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patan Kate to Sidukaran Rabai, Kala Gunikaha, Desh Gunikata Twenta, Manalis Uru to the Akari to Nishpatane Kirin, Palanchi Sa Plate, Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kalapina Akari to Merata the Nishpatane Kiran Rabana, Usas Matapi, Nishpatan Kriavaliak Satu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Uba. Samaki, Shakti, Vishwa, Seven Win, Nipal Kavama Capacity. Elected to fail first, Benedict's I think decision has paid off. First session itself, we're able to capture six wickets. That's a good delivery. That's the line he should bowl. Trouble the batsman, make him play. It's important to make, make the batsman play as much as possible. 
hot, humid conditions, limited number of overs that you bowl in a spell, it's important to make every use of it. Let it go past Win Pereira. Very watchfully lets it go. He too a tall, uh, lanky lad. His intentions is just to stay on there, rotate the strike, give it to Linal, who's on 15. Saw two glorious strokes in the previous over. Benedict time plays in the middle, all pumped up naturally after getting six wickets in that first session. A lot of chatter going on in the middle. it go past a little bit straighter make him play Sachin in his ninth over running in from the Wesley College end pretty good leave by the batsman uh. Once again, outside the off stump, failing to make the batsman play. Yeah, the important point is to make the batsman play. It's a little more closer at the sticks. A lot of schoolboys, from, uh, especially from Wesley College, enjoying the game today. That's a better delivery. That's the line he should be bowling. That will trouble the batsman. Batsman too have to has to concentrate. And that's the end of the 37th over 129 for six. of the Wesley College uh, encounter that you played that in your year that you like to share with our viewers? Uh, unfortunately, not too many good ones. I remember Farvi is running through our side uh, one year. I think he got seven in Kotehina. Uh, and the last year we played here, we did pretty well. Uh, managed to draw the game. Nicely on top of the ball, cut behind square down to the boundary just pulled back in so Linal Subasinga picks up three runs uh, with that uh, shot he has been aggressive he's looked for sing singles and wherever he loose put it to the boundary Anisha Madhavalka coming in from the uh, Burella end. <laughs> yes, that was very nicely placed between cover and extra. The outfield is very fast. Picks up a boundary towards the pavilion. Four important runs. The win moves up to five with that boundary. As usual, value for your shots at Campbell Park. Ball speeding off to the boundary. 
nicely on top of the ball. Just a punch on the back foot. Came down fast with his arm. Anisha. The short stint after lunch, I think the Wesleyites have uh, identified that the spinners are probably the best uh, to get their runs against. Probably Linal missed out on that full toss. Just drove it to mid off. Six of 16 deliveries. Linal is on 19 of 22 deliveries. So these two batsmen slowly but surely picking up the runs for Wesley College. It's a good delivery. Equally well played by the batsman. That's the end of the over. Wesley College 130. <laughs>
left-handed Linal Subasinghe. Quite stylish in his stroke play. He's on 19. Nicely tucked away onto the fine leg region. A good piece of fielding was able to cut to just one run. Thirty-nine for six. Sachin Chenanayake running in from the Wesley College end, right arm over. That was a very effective bouncer. Troubled the win, but he was managed. He just managed to take his head away. Good, good ball. delivery. Good delivery. Yeah. Aimed straight at the batsman. Batsman having to shy away. Senanaga generating a bit of pace. Quick call, well responded by Linal. Picks up a single. So that's important to rotate the strike. Good cricket. Score moves up to 140. So that's the end of the over. 140 for six. Whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation, the best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Well, 39 overs gone, Wesley College, uh, 140 for 6, as I've been joined by the consultant cricket of uh, St. Benedict's College, former captain, captain of St. Benedict's in 1970, played uh, top quality cricket in Sri Lanka, Mr. Lal Vikramatunga, good, uh, good afternoon to you Lal. Good afternoon. Well, I'll, uh, St. Benedict's won the toss, put Wesley into bat. Uh, what do you think of the performance of the Benedictine boys? Well, the wicket uh, was uh, going to be helpful at the beginning. So that was the decision to bowl first. And I think uh, I think the, the early couple of wickets did uh, prove that uh, that was the right decision. Uh, Wesley College have been clawing back in, uh, but this session uh, would be interesting. Well, certainly, Wesley now 142 for six. We are in the 40th over. Well, we must remember 65 overs. The first innings is restricted to 65 overs. Wesley might want to put up a score about 250. 250 would be a good score on this uh, track, uh, 65, uh, well Wesley was pushed behind by the fall of early wickets or regular wickets as it were, so no batsman really got on top to make a sizable score. Reasonable score from this point on. 
So end of over number 40, it's 141 for 6. So 141 for 6, Wesley College. Well, Lala, take us through your time, Lala. In 1970, you were the captain of St. Benedict's. What is your team comprised of? We had a fairly balanced team. Uh, we had uh, some impressive cricketers then. Ranjan Gunatilaka, Damien Fernando, Johnny Martin. Jude Savrimuthu. Edgar Thevara and Vivian Savrimuthupulle, uh, they, they all played their role uh, and in the team. They knew exactly what was expected of them and they came through. And we had a fairly successful uh, season. Well, Edgar Thevara and uh, after St. Benedict's, he left to St. Peter's and played for St. Peter's. That is correct. It was a time when uh, one had to move schools to complete your examinations in English and some did go to St. Joseph, some to St. Peter's. Well, uh, after school I think you played for BRC, then you played for police. After police I think you came to BRC, isn't it? That's right. Uh, whilst in school I played at uh, NCC when Michael Tisser was captain. Then uh, I played for police. Police had a team in the Sara Trophy, which was the Division 1 then. And then finally, when I left the police, I played for BRC. It's, uh, so, uh, now what is your role at St. Benedict's? You said a consultant cricket? Uh, developing, yes, uh, of we, course. We, we, we felt that there should be a resurgence of uh, sport in general. The skills of the game, but to get the lads to enjoy the game, feel that they are achieving something, and also to to uh, play in the spirit, right spirit of the game. It's not so much of winning, but enjoying it and making friends with the. Uh, opponents and uh, being a complete human being when you leave school and looks like you have a liking for the josephian coaches because you had trisha nonis last year and now ranish Pereira. well it's uh, it's it's, it's uh, something that uh, came uh, you know not not uh, designed as such but coaches were around now there are many of uh, such good coaches who come trained through the cricket board coaching program and uh, they're around and uh, yes Trishen uh, unfortunately uh, left uh, to other shows and now we've got Ranish. Ranish and Trishen indeed uh, I think uh, did a good job in uh, bringing the Benedict team cricket up and Ranish is continuing with it. We have a good team this season. Well I watched a game uh, just a couple of days ago St. Joseph's got 316 but then St. Benedict's, not to be outdone, they fought back firmly. They got 269 or something in the 50-over game. Yes, uh, I think the lads are beginning to believe in themselves and uh, they're enjoying their cricket. Uh, so they feel that they're a 300-run team. So that's, that's good news. And uh, I think they're coming uh, through well. Yes, St. Benedict's cricket a couple of seasons ago was really down, but definitely it has come up. Produce some good players. My station are representing Sri Lanka. That's something good for St. Benedict's. And that's the end of the over. St. Benedict's. Uh, Do you want to know how you can get the SEMA qualification six. faster? Join SEMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program. A self paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter.
Some repair has been pulled up to play because uh, repair has to be done on the stump mic. Since you did ask me about cricket then and now, uh, cricket seems to have improved and certain divisions like fielding has had a... And the at the same time, the overrate has to be. They seem to be taking longer over and over, uh, bowling and over than during our time. Well, don't you think like, a lot of physical conditions have been developed uh, during the last couple of years? Uh, you know, taking a look at the stages, the early stages which you played, and now. And you are a consultant of uh, St. Bernard's Cricket. You have fielding coach, batting coach, bowling coach, so many type of coaches there. Whereas in our days, we had only just one coach. I think the big difference is now cricket is a profession. Uh, once you enter the international arena, it's considered a, a very, very lucrative uh, profession. So when you are a professional, you use all the tools and, and the systems that are in place. There is extra knowledge uh, I, I, that goes in. There are centers of excellence which impart new techniques. The equipment has got better. And I think at school level too, uh, they are gearing to step up to the international standard. So all those services seem to have filtered down, which is a good thing. Yeah, but still, don't you think that the school cricket level in the 1970s were much higher than uh, what is today? Well, in some aspects, yes. If you take uh, uh, the top five batsmen uh, at that time, uh, in most schools, they could walk into the, the, the... or put their hand up to be selected for national honours. Uh, but right at the bottom of the batting, uh, 9, 10 and Jack were not that good. Uh, but the bowling also, I, I feel that there was much more control in the bowling then. But now there is a heavy accent on pace. And uh, uh, the early style of moving the ball around in the air and off the scene and making big spinning and looping seems to have gone out of fashion, particularly because of the shortened over games that are being played, where restriction is the order of the day and not looking to uh, entice and get wickets. So 42 overs, it's 146 for 6. Western College should remember 65 overs since the first session. And that is the end of the 42nd over. It's, it's 143 for 6. It's correction there. It's 147 for 6. Wicket seems to have eased up and it's playing fair. And I feel that it will keep getting better. The game Mobile, goes better. protect wholeheartedly. However, the fourth innings, uh, my, my prediction is. Yeah, the wicket seems to have eased up from the initial stages, which was expected, and uh, runs could be easier to make. But I also feel in the fourth innings, the ball will start to turn a bit more. So which would be interesting to see uh, tomorrow, second session onwards. So St. Benedict's batting second, they must be wanting to put up a good score because they will have to bat again on the fourth innings.
It's officially played towards cover point and gets a single. It's a good bit of running between Bickerts. Well, during lunch break, I think the Benedictine boys would have been uh, pretty happy with uh, Wesley 110 out for six wickets. But still, now, since lunch, these two have played very well. Lina Sobasinga is on 26 and Irwin Pereira on 10. Yeah, they, they have consolidated, uh, seems to be comfortable against the bowling. Twenty pl uh, plus overs remaining, they should be looking to get at least another hundred or more. Well, that would be ideal uh, if they can get around two fifty. But Wesley College has just four wickets remaining. The bench must be wanting to get these four wickets as quickly as possible. Another wicket uh, would push them a little behind. Well, there are a lot of awards uh, to be given after the game. Like fan of the match that uh, the bicycle you saw was to be presented uh, to the man of the match in this game. There you see once again. This bicycle will be given to the man of the match in this game. Quite apart from uh, uh, the game and the, the, the play itself, uh, there was something wonderful between the two schools that I noticed at lunch. Uh, it was great to see Wesley team players and Benedictine team players mixing and sitting at lunch. That's it's I think what is all school cricket is all about. To mix up well, even your opponents and that's the end of that over. It's 43 gone, it's 148 for 6. There you see some lovely pictures given by the drone for us. Kotena. Well, lad, can you remember that game at Kotena? We had four days of play, like. Exactly. That was great for cricket indeed. First day was completely washed out. Started the game on the second day. Then, third day being Sunday, was taken a rest day. And came back again on Monday and completed the game. That was definitely wonderful. And that's uh, Wesley College total going on to 150. But our score here shows 149, 150 for six. Comes down the wicket and hits it firmly, straight over mid on. That's going into the boundary for six. That's a beautiful shot. Lovely hit. He walls down the wicket. It was in his own and played it. Lovely lofted shot for six. See the replay coming down the wicket and hitting it over mid on. Beautiful shot. Straight over the ropes. 
There you see the bicycles again, which is going to be given for the man of the match award. St. Benedict's College versus Wesley College. This game has started way back in 1896. The second uh, game played for the Cartman Cup, a beautiful trophy. The first was, as I said, the first was played last year at Cotena. Well, this big game, this is not a big match. This is not a big match, but uh, a big game. Uh, played on college grounds, and then you go for your 50 over game to the Sara Oval. What is the reason behind it, Lal? Any idea? I believe it's a uh, much better control given conditions of the pan the corona and so on to have some degree of spectators to enjoy cricket and they can be contained better uh, so I think that was probably the decision behind that that's the end of over number 44 it's 156 for 6 So, uh, 65 overs first innings. <laughs> 44 gone, 21 remaining. 156 for 6, Wesley College. Well, are you happy with the St. Benedict Steel's performance, Alan? Well, I take a lot of heart. The boys have come far from the initial stages they're beginning to believe in themselves and ability the bowling department could be a little better uh, but but they've come through a long way that's a full charge of poor delivery stroked away towards the final leg area it's gone into the boundary for four four boy signals so four more buys adds to the total. Takes the score on to 161. Well, St. Benedict's at lunch are doing pretty well. But the Wesleyites have fought back firmly after lunch. The spinners, the spinners seem to be a little found a little wanting on their line and length and and the Wesley batsmen have made capital use of that this time again coming down the wicket and driving firmly towards deep mid off gets a single a bit of misfielding there by the bowler himself Well, Wesley definitely will be happy if they can uh, come up to 250 or get something more than that. But the Bens might be a bit disappointed with the performance. They were at lunch. They had done pretty well. Got six valuable wickets outside uh, Wesley College. And then letting it go at this stage. 162 for six now. Well, I think uh, during your time, Ranjit Fernando was most probably, I think you started playing under Ranjit, isn't it? Uh, or after, soon after that? No, Ranjit was uh, senior to me. Uh, 
I started with Kumar Ramanath and captaining and uh, then right down so we've had uh, uh, great players even much before Ranjit we had uh, top players uh, I've heard of Lionel Fernando getting a double hundred and then going on to pick up 10 wickets in a game, which has gone into the Western. Yeah, such players like Lionel, Neville Kass, Jetty. So that's the end of 45. We'll come back to that line. It's 6 for 164. We were talking about Lionel Fernando, Kasi, Neville Kasi Chetty, correct? That's correct. So we had uh, Cyril Lerns, Sana Java, then a Quintus Pereira, Nihal Soisa, Neville, Neville Pereira. Goes with Ranjit, there was Sunil Fernando, Ranjit's brother. And they were great players. Of course, you must remember that cricket was not professional then. I think you missed Ranjan Gunatalaka. Ranjan did play in, with me at the same time. Uh, but I was talking about the seniors. Uh, Just definitely all those were great cricketers. Rajit Fernando, of course, a very household name. Played a lot of cricket for Sri Lanka. Lionel Fernando, Dr. Cyril Ernas, all of them played uh, before Sri Lanka attained test status. I recall the time that I was playing Wesley too did have great teams, great individual players. The Rajaratnam brothers, the Jagannathans. Yes, firstly, I produce a champion team under Amrish Rajaratnam. The Hama brothers. Of course, you had uh, Captain Navin De Silva captaining Sri Lanka under 19 team to England. Yes, Naveen was talking to Eric Gowda with you in the morning. So that's the end of over number 47. It's, uh, but if she doesn't lay eggs, she'll have to go. Number 46, it's 167 for <laughs> 6. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Your pet can stay. <laughs> UHD quality video streaming on Sri Lanka's first, fastest and widest premium fiber network. Internet like a boss. boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. So as we come back, there's been a bit of a partnership uh, going, a 50 run partnership so far, 69 balls, taken 51 minutes, uh, joining me is also a Michael, Kennedy Michael, good afternoon.
Battle of the Michaels of sorts. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Michael. 167. A good uh, place to be, considering where Wesley was just before the break. Yeah, 117 for six. We have not been very happy, so but I think much better now. Chaturia, the bowler. Taken on the full, driven past that extra cover region. So, single to Wesley. Score moving on to 168. Good bit of uh, fielding there, but uh, still it would have been only one because there is a field on the boundary as well. Yep. Uh, we've seen the field behaving very well, the outfield, although there's lush greenery, uh, it's been rolled quite tight. And we've seen the ball travel at a at a good speed. Yeah, the outfield has been very good, nice green cover, but uh, the ball is travelling. So if you play your shots, get value for money. This is uh, Wesley Spinner is trying to keep it tight. Saturia. Chaturya bowling a little flat at that time, pushing it through the air. Driven back to the bowler. And that ends uh, over number 47, 168 for six. So the bends have let So, we'll come back. Spin from both ends. Spinners uh, will help to uh, quicken the over rate. But the bins have maintained a good over rate. I think they closed the uh, first session with 30. Well, that is what you need end of the day. You need to complete 95 overs. And I think uh, the ball did not uh, reach the outskirts beyond the boundary too, too many times. So that kept the pace of the overs going. What Wesley needs to do at the moment is, I would say, uh, maybe rotate the strike a bit, look for some singles. So Wesley perhaps must be taking this in little chance, uh, Michael. Must be looking at a score of 200 uh, initially and then will look to push further. And uh, on the other hand, the Benedictine skipper must now work his magic once again to break this partnership. Because right now, I think the Bens need a week or two to make a match out of it. And 48 gone, Wesley 168 for six. A stiff breeze uh, building up across the So the 
Shamat Is the bowler Okay Aim on that Nicely driven Second delivery Start to the extra uh, Long off uh, field So Chaturiya won one, 1 for 35 uh, In 12.2 overs They see that one played straight to the field. Pitch slightly short on that occasion. So the bend spinners have not been very consistent with where they have been placing the ball on. They see, like you said, spot on. Not bowling in one place, not creating uh, pressure for the Wesley batsman. So that has been a feature throughout the day, I believe. After doing all that hard work on the field, they have let those golden moments slip away and allowed the Wesleyites to build reasonable partnerships in between. And takes the inside edge. Gets a single there to end that over. So after 49 overs, Wesley 169 for 6. So, okay, interesting to see uh, Kennedy after this over according to the rules the fielding side can take a new ball do you think they'll go with it I have a feeling that may be the idea because they are getting one of their picks to warm up and uh, most probably they'll prime him to take the new ball. And again neatly turned away. Yeah, I think he's got two wickets as well before uh, the lunch break. So I think he travel, He has been the bowler that uh, troubled the Wesleyites the most. But you have to also be mindful that a uh, newer harder ball can go the distance as well and faster. Yeah, there are two set batsmen. The only thing uh, that will work in the favor of the bowler is uh, these batsmen may not be used to playing the new ball. And when you look at the field, you don't see them crowding the batsmen and you know trying to. It's just a case of finish this 50 overs and start again with the new ball. That's the feeling I get. I also felt that uh, in the post-lunch session, the Bens uh, let their grip off slightly. Uh, you're right, we should have seen a little more white kits around the batsman. Beautifully bowled, beats him, neck and crop. And after 50 overs, oh, there's oh, one seventy-one oh, for 6. Oh, oh, like there's going to be a water break.
ఎసట గన్నవాణి పలాంచి ఎట దానవాణి ఎంట నా బటేట గన్నవాణి వాణి హయ్య దనిన వాణి హయాన్ ఎంద హదన్న గన్నవాణి గేట్ పూట దానవాణి రలి నువటి నవ్వల గన్నవాణి వాణి హయ్య దనిన వాణి హయాన్ Yeah, so as you come back you can see a lovely drone shot from the grounds thanks to the man who handles the drones with some superb shots beautiful pictures of uh, Colombo Borel area one wonders how the metropolis has become so congested from our time Michael nice to see a bit of greenery around still yeah that's true So uh, looks like the new ball has been taken. Interesting to see the spinner operating with the new ball. Must have wanted a bit of a harder ball to get a bit of bounce. Yeah, it defeats my thinking also, Michael, because I thought the two quicks bowled quite well in the morning. And they did trouble the matchman. Well, if they are going to get the new ball with the spinner, I would like to see someone close in there just to, you know, keep the batsman in check. Get a bit of bounce, the defense off the bat pad, and then maybe pop up. Will be interesting how uh, he's going to push the ball through the air. Perhaps uh, they will adapt uh, to push the ball a little quicker to use the seam. You don't see anyone closing. Only slippers also taken out. Gone towards a deep square leg or a, you can call it a fine leg as well. Bit of changing of the field. Okay, so now the slipper is coming. Bit deep, so expected the ball to carry. 
the new ball strike straight away. So proves all of us wrong, Michael. That's the reason with the new ball, a left arm spinner will always get that ball to come in. You can't play for the turn. Playing for the turn to turn away. The so new ball has bought luck for St. Bendix. May have also confused the batsman. Just you see the replay, there we go. Yes, did play for the turn. So Pereira gone. Good tactic there, bringing the new ball with the left armor. Perhaps the batsman also was confused with the field setting there. Uh, would have wanted something uh, a little more attacking with the new ball. Pitch the ball the right. It's very deadly with the left armor bowling with the new ball. That doesn't get a lot of turn. The ball generally would deviate and you know come into a right hand. I believe if he controls the speed here at which he's bowling, the wind is also going to assist him. That's the stiff wind that is bowling, uh, sorry, flowing right across the playing field. Okay, so now man comes in on the offside, catching, that's much better. Let's see here. It should be there or whether he should come into the gully position with the ball might move away from the left hand. Eh? Let's see. So yes. Perhaps it's more psychological than tactical. Because putting that pressure on the newcomer to the crease. Showing look we have somebody in front of you. There you go again. There you go. It leaves the left hand. Brilliant uh, bit of uh, bowling there. Okay, now he got the message. I think he heard me. He's moving that fielder to the gully position. Can anybody? Can I take the credit for that? Being a good old Joe, I might allow you to take that credit. Thank you. Take a bow. It's a better field. What I would like to see is a l the bench getting a little more chirpy on the field right now. Well, you can be even more smarter. Bring in that short mid onto the off catching yes. and ask the batsman to, you know, play against the spin and mm -hmm. to play to the leg. That's the end of the first over after the new ball was taken. 51 gone, 171 for 7. some control to you know operate this drone as well I was just talking to Ricky in the morning saying uh, just imagine if we had to do this he said uh, we would crash it at the middle of the pitch for sure you would be tried for treason I suppose crashing into the prisons in front 
I don't think I would have got it off the ground first of all. Get ready. Yeah, I'm stri- still trying to figure out my mobile phone, mate. Okay, <laughs> so here we see the fast bowler from the other end. It's a very good run, close call. But he hit it into the ground, so ball popped up. There's enough time for him to get to the other end. This is exactly what. Would like to see that ball being pitched a touch shorter than where it was pitched, uh, Michael, because let the new ball do the talking. And you got the number nine facing now, Sunny to Amar Singh, Lina Super Singh getting off strike. See, so I'm sure both these bat can handle the bat. That is most of the schoolboys can bat. Nicely driven. Straight to the field again. Because uh, the scientific way of coaching is slowly but surely creeping into the school game as well. Uh, we see a lot of uh, techniques that have been used by advanced clubs now being followed by the leading schools. Well, I think when you have uh, full time coaches, you'll have to expect that. Kennedy, in those days it was. Uh, Coaches who do their job and then come in the afternoon or late evening. Yeah, m- even uh, as club cricketers, they had to do a job, and even their practices was based ar- in and around the jobs that they did. So cricket is totally a different game to what uh, we knew as schoolboys, Michael. So many videos there you can watch your opponents learn, watch your own mistakes. There's no matches to show live, no school matches to show live. And if you had to go and spy on your opponents, you had to make that trek all the way to their grounds. And hope you are loved in. And hope you are loved in. Is that a drop catch or did not carry? Well, the reaction of the fielder says it's a drop. Spilt catch. Uh, nice to see a replay of that. The land has been a touch expensive as well. There we go. Can have a look at that again. Yes, definitely straight into the hands and out. And there you see the reaction of the bowler. Nothing can be more frustrating than being let off in the slips when you are bending your back, especially after lunch. In this heat, around 2 o'clock. Not. So 52 overs gone, Westy 173 for 7. So lucky to be there at 7 wickets still, uh, Wesley. since that uh, fall of the wicket. So, Benz will now need to really move that pressure and start it in the right spots from both ends because they need to wrap this if they are to make a good uh, result out of this. A loud appeal there. Been outside the bat. Trying to play for the turn. Lucky not to get a touch. Here we can see that replay again. Are we back live? 
menit defensif. Seems like a, just a waiting game at the moment. Uh, the wide outs of the, that is given as a no ball. Okay, so that no ball is his knocked over the bales uh, while delivering the ball. It's a good sign for any bowler bowling close to the wicket. Was it his leg that knocked the wicket or was it the arm? I have a feeling it's the follow through arm that clipped the wicket. He does get close, very close to the stumps. Not sure whether it's even his leg, the back leg also could have. It allows him to bowl uh, wicket to wicket. Uh, Especially these days when the 50 over games are also going. That's nicely driven down to the long one boundary, but just for one run. So, Michael, if you were in the shoes of the batsman in the middle, what would you do right now? Well, definitely try to rotate the strike. Sanitu Amar Singh has faced 13 balls just for one run. I think he just got a single, uh, he's got one more run. That one takes the edge. So let off again. I don't think he got a hand onto it. It just flew. And 53 gone. 175 for 7. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. So we can uh, go back to see that uh, replay again of that uh, let me go the replay oh off the hand so that's uh, rather unfortunate for the bench two late offs in two successive overs you know, you, he put that uh, fielder there in the previous over for the left hand. And getting that left hand, you know, to play towards the leg, getting the edge, very unlucky. Mm. Those should be taken at this level. When you look at the replay, you feel that they were a touch too close to the wicket because the carry would have been just nice one and a half feet away. So in the meantime, Tilan has started his over. Also, maybe Kennedy, that uh, that shot that he played, he was trying to work it on the leg. There, you see, he was trying to, so maybe deceiving the field as well. Not expecting the ball to come his way. But at this juncture, one would expect you to catch everything that flies your way. You're supposed to expect the ball to come to you almost yeah. every delivery. Lucky not to be called a wide. It's wide, but I like the pace at which he's bowling. He's working up some good pace. But going back to that catch, it's also unfortunate that it got him in no man's land where they, you try to see whether you want to keep your fingers up, facing up, or fingers down, or to the side. So it was just about his shoulder, so perhaps that hesitation caused that catch. I don't know where he is, uh, would like to see where his hands were placed before the ball was bowled. So that's Draven handsomely on the offside for a single. But if his hands on his knees at that time, then it's hard to, you know, react quickly to the 
situation but, there. The hand position now has become a matter of personal preference, uh, Michael, because we see some of the international players keeping it very low, some uh, keeping it halfway. If your reflexes are good, wouldn't mind. But sometimes you just need to keep it in a position where you yeah. know you can move both ways. Yeah. In the end, I think it it boils down to your hand-eye coordination and the speed at which you react uh, because the modern game does not dictate uh, standards or stereotypes it's cut away on the back foot So, so the whether you want an authentic before, urban or awful sensation, the best seven. way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes. And even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see our range at the Cycletech showrooms. Bikes with attitude from Cycletech. A jam holdings entity. Right, so here we are. Basically, a bit of recovery after lunch. They now reach 179 for seven in the 55th over. Super Singh on 34. Spare 59 deliveries. Amar Singh is on four. The new man in. So play will go on till three o'clock in the afternoon when tea is taken. So we've got uh, further 35 minutes of playing time before tea. So Lionel Super Singo came in before lunch, steady the ship for Wesley. Good use of the feet, driven down the ground towards long off. Only a single. Well done all round. Feel that long off attacking the ball. Again driven down the grounds. Out towards long on, that's four. Beat the fielder. Quick outfield at Campbell Park. Lovely shot stepping out to the left arm spinner, taking it uh, on the bounce and hitting through the line. Yes, he got the placement right as well to beat that fielder who's positioned at long on, but uh, standing. Uh, Rather square is the fielder, not in a conventional uh, long on position. So the innings will last uh, 65 overs. So we've got uh, 10 overs coming up after this uh, over is completed. That's when Wesley's innings will close. The lower order batsmen seem to be uh, more confident with the spinners rather than the fast bowlers. So 55 overs completed, Wesley 184 for 7. Tayan Lankayano, Sudan Kave, G. I. Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kam Yavanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Mata, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patan Kate to Sidukar Rabbi, Kala Gunikaha, Desh Gunikatuant, Manalis Uru to the Akari to Nishpatane Kirin, Palanchi Sa Plate, Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kelapina Akari to Merata the Nishpatane Kirin Rabana, Usas Matakwe, Nishpatan Kriavaliaksatu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Uba Samaki, Shakti Vishwa Sevenuin, Nipatavama Capacity.
Edged. Caught in the slips this time. Earlier catches were dropped. Two catches were dropped. And uh, Wesley lose another wicket. The eighth wicket falls. Good low catch taken this time. Brilliant catch. Brilliant catch. Good anticipation. And the Benedictines needed that wicket. Oshane De Souza. We took the catch. There's a replay coming up. There we are. One-handed. Excellent catch. So Wesley down to the tail at the moment. Could they bat the full 65 overs? We'll have to wait and see. So Lionel Superstin goes to 35, face 62 balls. Good hand from him. The second new ball has helped to bring a break, uh, two breakthroughs for the, uh, the Cotena side. Ravindu Sigeda, the new man, walks in, joins uh, Sanitu Amar Singh, who's on eight. And Tilan, three for 32. Dilan Tabru, 3 for 32 is figures, 7.1 overs. Singara will have the strike, another left hand in the middle. Again, the played edge to first slip, couldn't hang on to that. Straightforward chance going a begging. So important to take those catches. Nicely bowled on a length. We'll take a look at that replay. There's the edge coming up. Straightforward catch uh, to uh, the slip. Got his hands to it. Couldn't hang on. Sad, these are the catches you want to gobble up. Tabru is shattered. Again, playing a miss outside the line of off stump. It's a good spell from. Uh, Dilan Tabru, 3 for 33. His figures slightly tainted because the catchers dropped off his bowling. I would like to see another slip in as well. Lower order batsman, uh, new ball. Chances of getting an edge are higher. And that one, the dot ball. So Wesley had that recovery after lunch. They went to lunch at 117 for six after 32.5 overs. And after that recovery, they lost those uh, two wickets after lunch. So Benedicts have done well to pick up those wickets. If you missed out the first part of the action, the news from Campbell Park is that uh, St. Benedict's won the toss, invited Wesley to bat first, and Wesley lost their skipper. Dias went uh, pretty early, Shanil Dias, who's uh, considered the best batsman in the Wesley side, but didn't make much of an impression today. Made just three runs. The Benz bowled well. Ends the over, 56 completed, Wesley 185 for 8.
So nine overs left in the Wesley innings. Can they play out the full nine overs or will they be bowled out? That's the equation. 65 overs for the first innings for both sides. The Wesleyites would ideally like, like uh, may another 30 40 runs on the board, hopefully by the completion of 65 overs. Uh, down to the tail, more or less, Wesley. That's one of the problems they have. Run making not so easy. Perhaps uh, the strategy be, should be to pick up those singles, rotate the strike, keep the scoreboard moving. One thing, one thing I saw with the, the partnership after lunch, they batted very sensibly, they understood what their limitations were, uh, played out the fast bowler safely and took their chances against the spinners. Mm. Nice attack the way down towards fine leg. Only for a single. It's interesting that uh, the new ball was taken. Spinners are in operation as well with the quick bowler. I thought it was needed at the time. Uh, the Wesleyites were batting quite easily. The, the new ball always plays a few tricks. Yes, sensible from uh, the bench captain. He wanted wicket the end of the over. 57 completed. Wesley 186 for it. There's nothing like Crystalline Series Automotive Window Film from 3M to help keep you cool and comfortable in your car. And thanks to nanotechnology, it's almost invisible. But it doesn't just help keep the heat out. It also helps protect you from harmful UV rays. No matter what shade you choose. That's the magic of Crystalline. Visit our website for more information. Beaten outside the off stump once again. Tabru keeping a good line and length, making the batsman play. Miss out at the line of off stump. Tabru uh, really troubling the batsman. He's bowled extremely well. 3 for 33 from his 8.1 overs. Unfortunate, a couple of catches dropped off his bowling in the slip corner. As nice tall, uh, quick bowler. As usual, the tail end is very fidgety outside the off stump. Shoulders, arms this time is uh, Sigera. Yes, and Benedix won the toss this morning. Electro field first. Good decision. Looking at the track itself, it had a bit of grass and a bit of moisture as well on the track. So they thought that early wickets will come in. They picked up an early wicket of the uh, Wesley captain, but thereafter it was uh, pretty tough going for the bowlers. The Wesley batsman settled in. But then uh, St. Benedict's came in their own just before lunch. They picked up two crucial wickets. Actually, I thought it was a good toss to lose. Uh, because uh, although, uh, yes, there was a bit of moisture on the track, uh, it would have lasted only for the first hour. And you, we saw that first hour bringing uh, two wickets. Yeah, thereafter, it just uh, the wicket just baked itself and uh, played really true. Yes, the basic track, sir. At Campbell Park, always known to be in good batting wickets. 
but uh, I think the pitch was boarded two days ago. Big shout, but certainly missing the stumps. We've seen the umpiring has been quite good, in fact. The decisions that have been made. So I think uh, all in all, good on the umpires as well. They have done very well so far. Yeah, that one's too high. No chance of getting LBW for that. Bowler and uh, Slip Warden were, were confident. I'd like to see someone under the lid at forward short leg. Perhaps uh, Tabro is tiring out. Seen uh, so many deliveries outside the line of off stump as well. Another over is completed. 58 completed. Wesley 186 point. Nice driven down the grounds. Long off, will cut that off. And the batsman across for one. So, when the 59th over, the six overs left half of this one is completed in the Wesley first innings. And so will St. Benedict's have 65 overs in their first innings. The second innings, there's no restrictions. Eight wickets down and just six overs to go in the first innings. Benz would like to keep the Wesleyans down to under 200, which is not impossible. Oh, yes, not impossible. Totally possible, in fact. But I think one of the things that the Wesley batsmen are not doing is looking for those opportunities to pick up those singles. You've got to pick up those singles, rotate the strike. Because we're down now towards uh, the last two wickets in the best leadings. You need to get some runs on the board. Yes, prob probably we might see a message come out to the boys to make use of these opportunities. That was in the air for a long time. Oh, comedy of errors. Batsman was ball watching. Instead not looking at his partner, but then they came back for the second run. Sanity prevails. Three fielders converged on that. It was in the air for a while, but dropped in no man's land. So those two runs takes the total of 189 for eight. The last ball, the 59th over coming up. Nicely worked away. Down towards deep mid bigger. That will end the over as well. 59 completed and uh, Wesley will move on to 190 for 8. <laughs>
So Thabru will continue. Ah. Wonder if Thabru has bowled one over too many at the moment. Seemed to have tied out at the end of the last Toby bowled. He's bowling outside the line of off stump. That's when I'm going for cut shots. But those are fancy shots that they were playing. Yes, so again, no stroke offered through to the keeper. It's a hot, humid afternoon down at Campbell Park. So it's going to take its toll on the players themselves, and particularly if you're a quick bowler. It's not easy. Conditions are difficult at the moment. Down the leg side, wicket keeper got a glove to it. Was it a by? Yes, a by call. Yes, Tabru seems to be tiring a bit. I would love to see such incoming from this end just to keep the pace going. But with just what five overs to go for the first innings to end, the Bens wouldn't mind keeping the Wesleyites uh, in check. Good run. That's well judged. You got to take those singles. The non-striker particularly has to be on top of this game. One thing I've noticed since morning is that the fielder seemed to be a wee bit too deep. And whenever the, the ball was dropped in front of the batsman, there, there was always the opportunity for a single. I think the Benz captain himself must have been in two minds. Very quick outfield. So you have the field uh, in. You could always consider the boundary. Harmless outside the line of off stump. So 192 for 8 uh, Wesley in the 60th over. One ball left in the 60th. So once this uh, over is completed, five overs left in the Wesley first innings. So 30 balls will be available. Can they get a runner ball? Well, that will be the equation they'll be looking for. Maybe 225, 230. That'll be a very decent score, in fact. Again, good single. That's a very good running indeed. And overthrows. That's the bonus you get when you take those quick singles. The overthrows will come in. So they got uh, from one, they got two. You're very sloppy by the bins. Ends the over. 60 completed. Wesley 194 for it. Well struck. Look for two. Yes, they're coming back for the second. That's good running into the wickets. You need to convert those ones into twos. Chance of overthrow, but they change their mind. You need to convert those singles into twos. Yes, uh, the, the Wesleyites seem to be wanting to take a few chances against the spinners. Yes, you've got to use your feet. Get to the pitch of the ball. We saw a few sixers being hit as well. So Amar Singh has been there for quite some time. He's faced 30 deliveries for his 12 runs. Change the field. 
swap of places. Again, single being taken. Could be a leg by a bit for the umpire's call. Off the bat. So basically, we'll take every single run they can make now. The message must have come out loud and clear. You've got to get a move on, pick up those singles, make the ones into twos. There we are. You put the pressure on the fielder, you always pick up that single. Because the fielder himself has to keep his eyes on the ball, first of all, collect it cleanly before looking at the batsman. It's the cover fielder just looking up before get, getting the ball into his hands. Nicely played down the ground for a single once again. The Westgates look comfortable against the spin. No terrors at all. Absolutely no terrors on the track. The ball is not turning. Sometimes you play for the turn and you get bowled with a straight ball. We saw that happen to one of the batsmen after lunch. To break that uh, good partnership that was building up. And now it's 199 for 8. There we are. They're going for the single. And they make it. Direct hit but had it. Wesley reached 200 for the loss of 8 pickets. At the end of the 61st over. Singles are needed, runs are needed, and you've got to take these chances. Right there we are. The last four overs of the best leadings coming up. Taking some three sides of singles as well. And looking at uh, how Wesley got their 200 runs for eight wickets. Faced 247 balls. 157 minutes of batting. 18 boundaries and four sixers in the innings. Straightforward catch at square leg. Little flick from uh, Sigera. One of the easiest catches to take. And Wesley lose their ninth wicket with the departure of uh, Sigera. 200 for 9. And it will be the last pair and we are in the 62nd over of the innings. Nithabru getting a well-deserved wicket there after a few drop catches in the slips. Yes, a very soft dismissal. It was a nothing shot in fact. And went straight to hand that short leg. So Sigira walks back. He tried to get those uh, little quick singles going. He made 9 of 24 deliveries. 5 singles in the innings. So now the last pair in the middle for Wesley at 200 for 9. St. Benedict today. Yeah, I think both uh, PCC and Sachin uh, put out their, put their hearts out on the field. But also left hand batsman. There we are, single being taken straight towards backward point, will run. Easily home was Amar Singer. 
Yeah, ideally, the Benedictines should have been on their feet. They are number 11 in. Obviously, looking to get off strike. Yes, Amar Singh is the senior partner. He's on 14. He's been there for quite some time, so he'll want the strike in these last few overs. And there's the Wesley scoreboard 201 for the loss of 9 wickets. No. Amar Singh looking to attack, looking to walk down the track, take the uh, quick bowler on. With number, mm. with number 11 in, uh, there's always a chance of a run out now. And the Benz should be on the watch. Yes, the last pair will look for quick singles, no doubt about that. Well fielded of his own bowling. Take it on the bounce. So we're in the 62nd over. Two balls left in 62nd. The last pair of Wesley in the middle. 65 overs is the maximum for the team batting first or second. Big heave, doesn't make contact, and there we are, wicket keeper throws the bowler, over, over throws. Looking for two was uh, Minan as well, no Minan. Settled for a single, so it's just a buy, in fact, that has been taken. You've got to be careful at this stage, not to allow those extra runs to be taken. A yeah, little oh. lack of communication on the Ben's side, knowing very well that the batsman was looking for a single, and knowing very well that the throw would come in. Midoff and Midon should have been more vigilant. Down the leg side, well kept. Taken uh, down the leg side, end of the over, 62 completed. Wesley, 202 for 9. <laughs> Okay, I'll let them see Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank. Our interest is in you. Spin again. Trying to play across the line. Beaten outside the line of off stump. Few anxious bends appealing. No touch on that. Ball not short enough to pull. How was that? Again trying to cut. Too close to the body. I think Amra Singer is premeditating his shots. That's finished away. That's nicely played. Beats the field in the boundary for four. Good shot down the ground. Walking out to the bowler and hitting it cleanly. Good use of the feet as well. Anything over the ball is said. Let me see it again. There's no chance for a field to cut it off. Big single again. Calling his uh, number 11 partner. Overthrows. Well, that's been the bane for the Benz today. The overthrows. So Amara Singha picks up a couple of runs there. Takes the Wesley total to 208 for the loss of 9 wickets. Now, technically, T should be taken at 3 o'clock. About two minutes away from three, but since it's 65 overs to be completed, we are in the 63rd. Maybe T will take an if Wesley are all out or after 65. We'll check with the match referee. Nala Devaraj as to what the conditions are. Right, so confirmation from our match referee that uh, until the innings is over or 65 overs completed, that's when T will be taken. 
and uh, 63 overs have been technically taken at the moment and basically at 208 for nine Right over number 64, starting up. Again, appeal for LBW, but that was certainly down the leg side. Sakisha Minan on strike, he's on one. Amara Singer wants a strike, he's on 20 or 42. He's the senior partner. Minan came in at number 11. There's a single bit taken. That's good running. Again, straight to the fielder. Little fumble at backward point. Allowed the batsman to complete that single quite comfortably. Brings Amara Singer on strike once again. And basically on the 209 for 9. Nicely played there by uh, Minon. And Amaro Singh was halfway down as the bowler was hitting his mark. Again, hit away. That's a lovely shot. That's bisecting two fielders. Long off and uh, sweep a cover into the boundary for four. Lovely shot of extra cover. Amara Singer seems to be taking on the responsibility of getting Wesley the decent score they need. Shielding number 11 in the process. I think the Benedicts have made a mistake in continuing with Tabru. He must be a really tired man at the moment. You're very correct. I would love to see such income from this end. Or they could have gone to one of the spinners. Mm. Yeah, so many bowling options. I He's did. bowled well, in fact, uh, Tabru. Bowled extremely well. But then an over or two over the limit, sometimes uh, he could go for runs. Again, a shout for LBW, but he was walking down the track, and that was down the leg side. So, leg by call by the head umpire. One more to the total. Wesley on the 213 for nine. Two balls left in the 64th, so there's eight balls left in this innings. If Wesley survived the eight balls, or can they be bowled out? Let's wait and see. And T will be taken at the end of 65 overs, or if Wesley are bowled out inside 65. 20 minute break for T. But Wesley will be pretty pleased with the way things have gone this afternoon. Playing a miss outside the line of off stump. Saki Shaminan, who's on two, the number 11 batsman. Playing as a bowler. And then uh, in modern day cricket, the bowlers also must bat. In the good old days, bowlers never went to the nets to bat. <laughs> After number seven or eight, they refused to bat. They said the batting must be done by batsmen. We are bowlers. But today, in the modern game, it's all changed. Shoulders, arms. That ends the over as well. So 64 completed. Wesley 214 for nine. Right, the uh, last over coming up. 
Six balls left in the innings. So spin once again. As Amar Singh on strike. And what will Amar Singh be doing? Using his feet, hits it hard into his pad. He'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, that's the last thing he wanted to do. Definitely will look for the boundary. Driven firmly on the onside this time. Will they look for two? Minan wants two, but sent back by Amara Singha. Quite rightly so. Return comes quickly back to the bowler. Just a single. Very sensible batting. Although number 11 is on strike uh, right now, every every run counts. The field closing in. Sweeper cover being moved to an extra po cover position. Looking to cut. Doesn't make contact. Amara Singha was down the track looking for the single. So a dot ball. We've got four balls left in the innings. Again, doesn't make contact. Amara Singha again down the track looking for one. <laughs> well, he's keep talking to his uh, partner. Binan saying, look, just knock it out and uh, pick up a single. This time it is. Going through a single. Non-strikers and throw was not a good one. Minan completes the single, so one more the total as well. So the last ball coming up. What will Amar Singha be doing with the last ball? Goes for a big one. Hits it on the onside. That's going towards the boundary. Fielder gives up the chase, is it? No, he picks it up just inside. They get two. Will they look for three? And they'll settle for two. Amar Singha is done and dusted at the moment. And that's the end of the Wesley innings. Uh, 65 overs have been completed. In the end, uh, Wesley have done well to reach this total. Because uh, at one time, it didn't look that they'll get to 200. But they battered the full 65 overs to their credit, losing nine wickets. So 200 and, uh, 218 for nine is the Wesley total. 218 for nine after 65 overs. Whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation, the best way and, to experience uh, it be tea time is at the moment Coyote and because, uh, bike. Tea will be we taken now is uh, 5 minutes past 3 o'clock. 20 minutes models is the breaks for bikes tea and for a change over time as well. The end of the road. As the Benz walk and back to the pavilion. A little bit disappointed bikes, because they did well after about lunch. Aerodynamically Lost the plot a bit after lunch. The nice part is coming in. And then they picked up two quick wickets. But in the end... The jam uh, buildings last two wickets for Wesley. Diana Kayano, Sudan Kavi, G. I. Pai Punish Pathari, not Puru Kamiyavanathan, Atavan. 218 for 9. I think they'll take it, 218 for 9. Yes, uh, it, it is a decent score after being 117 for 6. And, uh, like you said, uh, we probably didn't expect them to reach 200. Right, we'll uh, take a look at the highlights of this uh, Wesley innings. There we are. Coming up, uh, that's a big heave on the onside. In the yard, then good use of the feet again. Lofted beautifully over the bowler's head. And off the back foot, uh, playing to the gap. Two fielders after it, but the outfield is so quick. Gets the boundary. Another good hit again. In the air for a long time and clears that boundary quite comfortably. Down the leg side, beats the batsman, beats the wicket keeper. Looking for a couple of runs again. And this time again, uh, plays. Misses board and there we are. That's a catch being dropped. A couple of catches are dropped in the slip region. And uh, it goes for four again. And this one, that's an excellent catch taken. Excellent catch. A 100 catch being taken. Again, dropped and uh, worked nicely on the onside, but straight to the fielder at uh, square leg. And another wicket falls. But in the meantime, Amara Singh are going great guns. Some good hits. Clears the fielders as well, got the boundaries going as uh, certainly the uh, Wesley batsman took a full advantage of some poor bowling and fielding by St. Benedict's in the latter part of that innings. Right to take a look at what's happening around and we've got this little drone operating as well. Uh, and uh, we're going for a short break and we'll back in a few moments at Campbell Park.
Garment Cup 2022. Good evening and welcome back to Wesley College Grounds here in Campbell Park for the second uh, encounter of the Cartman Cup uh, Trophy Tournament uh, to a game. And uh, I have with me a very prestigious player for Wesley College, 1985 captain of the champion team, who has flown all the way from Australia to be with us today, Mr. Ganesh Mailwaganam. Good, good evening, Ganesh. Good evening, Polly. Good evening to your listeners. Uh, it's nice to be back uh, after a very long time watching this uh, traditional encounter between St. Benedict's and Wesley. Um, as a kid, um, I played the game on this venue. A lot of memories and uh, good to be back uh, sitting behind the commentary box and of course commentating with my good mate Paulinus. Ganesh, yes, you were talking about your time at Wesley College. Uh, yes, you were the 1985 captain. Of course, you, must, you really did have a, a champion team in 1985. Can you take us through that 1985 season? Yeah, um, it, it's, it's a wonderful team actually. We have been together for many, many years from the under 13 onwards. We have been playing with each other and we knew each other's game very well and we were very good mates and it's a team sports and uh, we sort of stuck together and uh, we never have any stars or any individual performance. It's a team effort which really took us. Of course, we had some brilliant performance. We had a very good bowling attack, um, especially Mahendra Disanaika who was really dangerous and one standout in that particular year against Nalanda where Roshan Mahanam and Asaka Gursing was representing and we got them out for 60s and 70s in both innings. So that was a standout, but we beat Trinity in that year and uh, overall uh, it was a very good year which won the overall champion team in 1985. There you are, there you see a beautiful view of the Campbell Park here taken from the drone pictures. Beautifully decorated ground for this big game. And uh, just to update you with the scores, uh, Western College was put into bat this morning after St. Benedict's won the toss. They made 218 for 9 in their 65 overs. Now St. Benedict's College in reply, start, just started their reply, chasing 218 runs in the first inning. Well, yes, Ganesh Mailwaganam is with me, Gana. Well, you had a career with in UAE too, where you, well, 1996, uh, Sri Lanka is very famous for that World Cup, and you played for UAE with another stalwart of Lanka Lions, uh, Johan Samrasekara. How was your performance in the World Cup 1996? Yeah, it was a very good experience, Polly. In fact, uh, I would have preferred to play, me and Johan would have preferred to play for Sri Lanka, but unfortunately, circumstances really uh, changed everything. So me and Johan um, went to Dubai uh, to pursue our banking careers, but we had got the opportunity play in the World Cup uh, and uh, it, it was a very good experience of course we were amateurs in the tournament and uh, we didn't sort of um, didn't perform uh, to our potential we had few issues but uh, overall um, personally uh, it was a, a very good experience for me and Johan and, and uh, w one of the highlights was uh, scoring 26 against South Africa against the pace record Donald Pollock and a few other guys uh, which was great Yes, certainly, UAE did perform well. They won a game against uh, uh, Holland. Holland. Holland, that's correct. Yes, yes. they won a game against Holland, and um, yes, yeah, so we, we, we were we were not bad. I mean, we we did sort of get out for 50s or 60s. We we really crossed 170 and 200 in a couple of occasions. So, uh, and uh, you you got to remember, we played against some of the great fast bowlers. The 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 the, um, uh, the game had uh, uh, Pakistan had Wasim Akram, Waka Yunus, and all those guys. So it, it, it was a very good experience for us. Yes. Yes, the open batting for UAE, Ganesh Pail Wagenam, the captain of Wesley College, 1985. Yes, Ganesh, champion team in 1985. What was the most memorable game? You said Nalanda, right? Yes, Nalanda was a memorable game, but I would say uh, even Trinity College, uh, where we played them at Campbell Park, uh, uh, Trinity just had uh, uh, had a very good team. Uh, guys like Dena Madena, NLK Ratnaika all went on to represent uh, Sri Lanka under 19. Um, uh, we, we sort of really played well in that game. I can remember the first day, Trinity battled first and uh, got out for 170, and we were. 100 for no loss on the first day and we put up a good score on the second day, declared. That's beautifully played towards the mid-wicket boundary that takes St. Benedict's off the mark. 
सू चुप प्रशांत सुहास सो सेंट बेनेडिक्स थ्री फॉर वन आई एम सॉरी थ्री फॉर नो लॉस वेर इन द फर्स्ट ओवर इस गणेश गो हेड विद योर यस सो सेकंड डे वी पुट Trinity into bat and uh, we got them out very cheaply and we were able to get the runs and we we were home by T so that was another good performance by that 85 team and um, we we always played positive cricket in that year uh, we gave some very sporting declaration i can remember we were playing st joseph in the same venue and we gave st joseph to 130 of course you could remember those days a campbell park was not So that's the end of the first over. Saint Benedict's one, two for no loss. Oi kaurud ganna vane, abhi kaurud ganna vane, abe marathi hadna vane, vane hai ya dene na vane, kyaan. So Ganesh, uh, you started about your career so right through the Wesley College, and uh, was probably during your young days you would have had some heroes at the uh, Wesley College. Yes, definitely. I mean, the, as a child, as a child, um, I, I can remember watching the guys of Dilrushan, the always uh, Shami Rajendra, Navin De Silva. Uh, as a school boy, as a school boy, I used to come and sit behind the, uh, the side screen. to do the same thing for college and i was fortunate enough to represent westy for three consecutive years uh, in the first eleven team which was a great experience so your star career at uae all which uh, took you to international honors uh, representing uae in uh, the world cup 1996 world cup where sri lanka became champions how did how did you think about your performance in uae Uh, yes Polly I thought um, when I went to UAE I I was 21 and of course uh, in cricket uh, that, that that's your in your prime I mean 21 22 23 is your prime and um, and that's an appeal for God behind and is given out so St Benedict's lose their first wicket just with three runs on the board St Benedict's in reply to Wesley of 218 for 9 In 65 overs, have lost their first wicket now. That's a wicket of Pasan Suhas, captain of Saint Benedict's, walking back. While well, we talk about the game, also a bit Ganesh out to 218. Wesley got. Uh, you, you think you're happy with it? I think so, Polly, because uh, I, I had a look at the wicket this morning. And uh, there was a bit of grass, and uh, no doubt, same way he won the game, won the toss, and put West into bat. Uh, I, I wasn't surprised at all. A lot, lot of people think that when you win the toss, you uh, first try to bat first. But on that wicket, they did the right decision of putting West into bat. Uh, there's a bit of movement in the pitch, bit of grass. Uh, the pacement will. Really trouble the batsman. Uh, you saw the uh, tall uh, right-hand fast bowler really trouble the Westy batter. So Westy got few fast bowlers in their armory. So it's it's really going to trouble Ben's uh, over to come. Yes, uh, during the toss show we heard uh, Faris Maru for telling us that uh, the first hour or two will be very important. So of course no doubt St Benedict's captain won the toss and put Wesley into bat because a little bit of grass on the wicket and the moisture did help the bowlers and uh, St Benedict's want to take advantage of that that's correct i mean um, moro for strike right, the first 2 hours will uh, crucial uh, uh, of course it's going to do a lot of uh, 
damage um, uh, to the batters uh, out there. But then again, we cut like this. Uh, it used to. It's going to help uh, right throughout the day. Um, so really you, ca you can see a breeze bring across, uh, which is going to add more value to the fast bowlers with the new balls going to move around. And um, uh, definitely the, the first hour is going to be crucial for Benz. If they can hold on, um, they, they should be out of danger. But uh, the way the Wesley uh, pace attack is operating, uh, there are going to be some interesting times. So it's Owen Pereira operating from the college end. He'll be bowling to Sajan. Stroked away towards the Squalic area, gets a single. Well, Gani Shafti going to Australia, now you're living in Sydney. And uh, you started your coaching uh, career there, isn't it? That's correct, Polly. Um, uh, of course, I'm a, I'm a banker uh, by <laughs> profession. Um, I'm a senior banker at uh, Australian New Zealand Bank. Uh, of course, cricket is my passion. So I started helping my friends kick cricket initially. And then, of course, uh, it got bigger and I run a, uh, I, I won't say it's a big coaching academy. It's a coaching academy with about uh, 50 students. Um, and I, I got a lot of help, a lot of Sri Lankan um, cricketers who have come there to study, uh, come and um, uh, work with me and uh, that's that helps them to uh, um, uh, sort of really uh, give give them some pocket money. Beautifully played. Uh, pass mid off. That's going into the boundary. That's four more. Four to the top. Bendix team total. First boundary for St. Bendix. Takes the score to nine. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a lovely shot. I mean, uh, the, the way to play on this week, you've got to be positive. Um, I know the ball is going to do a lot, uh, but if you are positive, uh, you can always overcome those um, initial nerves. Uh, I think uh, the Benz, St. Benedict's batters uh, got that positive attitude, and uh, if they go on like this, uh, it's going to be an interesting game. Well, Ganesha, why are you a recognized coach in Australia? What do you advise your young players here in Sri Lanka and in your camp too? Of oh, course, th there's a simple message, Polly. When you go for a game, um, it, it just th three things that you got to remember. Uh, one is uh, you, you shouldn't panic. Another thing is you sh must believe in yourself. And the third thing is never give up. So these are the very important things. So if, you, if you add up these three, uh, you can ne give, never go wrong. So that's uh, the end of the second over. St. Benedict's nine for one. There's nothing like Crystalline Series Automotive Window Film from 3M to help keep you cool and comfortable in your car. And thanks to nanotechnology, it's almost invisible. But it doesn't just help keep the heat out. It also helps protect you from harmful UV rays. No matter what shade you choose. That's the magic of Crystalline. Visit our website for more information. So St. Bendix batted for two overs, getting nine for one, and replied 218 for nine, set by Wesley in their first innings. Remember, this game is 65 overs in the first innings, and you can take the second new ball after 50 overs. Don't you think, uh, Ganesh, that is something you know, exciting in a, a result-oriented uh, rule that has come into play? Absolutely. I really like that. I mean... Waiting for waiting for longer than that, uh, it sort of kills uh, the game a bit. Uh, taking a new ball after 50 hours, a new concept, and I really like it. Yeah, that's mainly act actually the Josephians and the Peter I started it some time back. Oh, it's all right. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, takes the edge, flies past the gala fielder. That's go into the boundary again. Go more to the Benedictine total, takes him on to 13. Sajan moves on to five. Would like to have an additional slip fielder, isn't it, Ganesh? Um, probably. Um, I think um, uh, they have uh, put in a third man there, um, uh, which is uh, I'm not sure whether it's the right thing or not. Uh, I thought uh, we will, as you said, we will have an additional slip fielder and try and get a wicket early. Oh, okay, so he's moving back. And getting additional sleep fielder, that's, that's a good uh, good uh, move. Uh, let's see what's going to happen in the next few balls. There is a bit of movement still. 
of the wicket as you said the pace bowlers got to try to work on that that's a good delivery a shortish delivery pushed the batsman back a lot of noise in the middle Wesley it's uh, trying to create additional pressure on the Benedictine batsman Yeah, Paul, I had the opportunity to speak to the boys this morning. Uh, in fact, uh, Vestry Principal Avishak Gunavadhan invited me uh, this morning at 7 o'clock to have a chat to the boys. And um, I briefly watched them on Wednesday when they beat St. Anne's. Um, it's a happy bunch. I mean, it looked positive. The body language was right. And uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves, enjoying the company of each other. Uh, and uh, I'm quite excited to see this team um, uh, do well um, in the next couple of games, including this. That one again short, but this time stroked over the slips. That goes into the boundary. I thought they tried to cut it, got the top edge, and went over the slips into the boundary for four. Yeah, I think um, the opening ball is trying too hard. I mean, um, in this type of because you don't want the ball short. Uh, you don't want to scare the best man. You try to keep the ball up, the ball will do the rest. I think uh, he's trying a bit too hard. Try and digging in. Uh, BC is going to help. When he, when, he, when, he, when he got the new ball in hand, when he ball short, uh, that's going to go away uh, for force. Well, they're having two slips a gully and a no ball call by the umpire. Two slips a gully. Got to try to get the batsman to drive the ball and get the edge. That's what he has to look at, but that's no ball. He's overstepping there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you got the new ball and you got a very good slip cord, um, it's, it's very important for you to just pitch that ball up. I mean, middle and off, middle and off, get the ball away to get that edge. Uh, I think if you can do that, uh, uh, you're going to get some success from this wicket. Sarujan Shambhaganathan is a batsman. He's on nine. Chamath Gomez is the bowler. It's bowling from the Parala end. The Wesleyites uh, attacking. Our field of two slips a gully. There is a cover point, a mid off, a mid on, square leg, there is a fine leg. It's a good bit of bowling again. A lot of aggression shown by this uh, bowler, Chamath Gomez. Even while batting, he was trying to attack every delivery, isn't it, uh, Ganesh? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right, Polly. Um. So, end of the third over. St. Benedict's 18 for 1. And the Hadanaganavani gate to what the Danavani Rally Novati Navalaganavani. Yeah, Ganesh, we were talking about Chamath Gomez uh, being aggressive and he wanted to say something. Yeah, um, I, I watched him briefly on the Wednesday when they played uh, St. Anne's and um, he got to control his nerves. When he get hit for a boundary, he tried to do something stupid. Um, I mean, um, um, he, he, I mean, you, you got you got, you got to um, uh, consider the best man there. If he played a good shot, you got to sort of give the credit to the best man. You don't get upset about it. So, as he saw in the previous over, he was trying to be too aggressive and try to make some errors. It's wide outside these terms. That's when Kojita, Kojita trying to swing at it, misses it. Well, I think the, the Wesleyan bowler should be attacking the stumps more, trying to take the edge. As I said, they take the outswing away. We have two slips of Kali. Well, the gully has been pushed back now. 
I'm not sure field standing up is the right, uh, so best, uh, we could keep a standing up is the right thing to do anyway. Uh, there must be a strategy behind it, but you're right, you can get the ball at the stops. Played away this time over mid off. It's gone one bounce into the boundary. Four more to the score and four to Kojita. Takes and penalty score on to 22. And Kojita moves on to 10. Some positive cricket, uh, Polly. Um, the replay on that. There's some positive cricket there. I really like the way he's batting now. Uh, really not uh, giving the bowler to uh, uh, take over the and uh, the game. Uh, he's really uh, attacking the ball, which is a good sign for a batter. This time, nicely pushed away on the offside. Yes. Got a boundary in the previous delivery. That's the way to go. Yes. Slightest variation. Good comeback from the bowler. Change the pace a bit took the best one in two minds and um, yeah so it, it's a great delivery uh, from the bowler that's again this time hit it officially over extra cover that's gone into the boundary for more takes the score on to 26 and Kojita moves on to 14 like a couple of attacking strokes, uh, Ganesh. Very good, very, very good player. Uh, 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 I remember the my days, and I used to be wet like this. I never really gave the bowler to settle down. I think this batsman is doing the same thing, uh, uh, really going after him, uh, which is which is a great to watch. Um, uh, you, you are taking control of the game uh, rather than the bowler, uh, and I'd be interested to see how, how well he's going in the next couple of overs, and I'm sure. Is going to cause some damage to the Vesti team. It's also nicely driven this time to the extra cover area. A bit of misfielding there. The batsman get two. An additional run. Bit of panic creeping in, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think uh, captain said uh, four overs and Benedict's College one for 28. <laughs> So it's uh, yes. Gomez to continue from the Borella end. The two Benedictine batsmen trying to attack the bowling, pushing the pressure back on the Wesleyites. This is what uh, the Wesley didn't do well um, in their innings. They really didn't look for runs. Of course, they lost wickets earlier on. But uh, the batsmen really didn't look for those quick singles. There were plenty of singles around the park, but they, ne they really didn't attack the fielders. So, but the Bens are doing the opposite. They are really looking for those quick singles and those big hits, uh, uh, which is a reflection of, of positive cricket. And you can sc see that from the score, which is 28 for one in this seventh over. Yeah, Wesley started off badly. They were 117 for six at uh, lunch, but they came back strongly after lunch to finish up at 218 for the loss of nine wickets and that's bounced over the wicket keeper's head too that's going towards the boundary for more four wide call well, i think chamat gomas will have to control himself try yeah. to be too aggressive yeah that, that's a problem so chamat is having at the moment i think uh, uh shahil the captain should rethink his strategy again Probably, uh, Wesley got a very good uh, on, spin attack. On, uh, on, bring one spin up from one end, on, try to control and slow down the score. Uh, otherwise, uh, they are going to leak a lot of runs. Uh, 
uh, through the fast bowlers. So it's 32 on the board. Uh, St. Benedict's off to a flying start. That's outside the all stop. Well pitched up, but wide signal. Yeah, definitely he's not a happy man. He's really upset and he's, he's panicking. This is something that I told this boy this morning, never panic. And he's panicking, he's not getting the ball on that spot, which he needs to do. Uh, I think a uh, captain should uh, tap on his shoulder, say, Matt, take a break and you will come back and probably introduce a spinner from that end. But uh, you can it, but the thing is, you know, the first 10 overs, there's a rule in, in school cricket, first 10 overs, you've got to be having pace bowlers, so a lot of uh, overs to be needed to be bowled by the two paces, so... Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that, Tolly. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, this is good. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's the two hours ago. Of course, looking at the last ball, that was a brilliant ball, which really caught the batsman off guard. Uh, he managed to stop that ball without hitting the wicket. Uh, that's again nicely put away. Pass cover point coming towards the boundary. Good bit of fielding there. So gets two more to the event in total. The score moves on to 35. Very good running between the wickets. I really like the way these two batters are batting. They are running well. They are looking for singles. They are putting away those bad balls for boundaries, which is very, very positive batting. Hats off to Benz. Um, these two guys are really looking good, which is not a good sign for Wesley. That's nice to play again, but this time he didn't get hold of it properly. Ball goes down towards the mid on area. Field well fielded, no run. Chamat Gobas got to control himself. Ball a good line in length. Runs are leaking otherwise. We're in the fifth over, 37 runs gone. That's a wild swing uh, this time. Goes over the cow point area into the boundary for four. Four more runs to the Benedictine total takes him on to 41. And Kojita moves on to 22. I mean, looks like Benz have got a really good strategy. They have come out here to really topple the fast bowlers of Wesley. I mean, the way they are batting, even the last hit, Polly, he was just swinging at it. Got the kick cage and went for the third man boundary. I mean, the I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but I think they are not worried to take the risk. This time again, this time he played it nicely. Wide of the slip position, that's gone into the boundary, four more. So the Benedictine is really off the mark tonight. They're really on the attack. So end of over number five, it's 45 for one. St. Bendix have got off to a flyer, Ganesh. They're 45 for one after just five overs. That's a rate of about nine per over. I think, Paul, it's, it's a seventh over, isn't it? I can, I can see the scoreboard. Is it seven Wait. overs? But the ask score shows. The scoreboard says seven overs. I think the uh, scoreboard needs to be corrected. Um, it's only five overs, but the scoreboard reflects seven overs. So anyway, I think the Benz are batting really well. I mean, they have come out with the strategy, and they're really upsetting the Wesley uh, strat uh, plan and strategies. So this is good batting, and it's really good 
for the bench at the I moment. Think Ganesh, uh, 70 overs, the scoreboard is showing 70 overs, that is the 70 overs for the day. Oh, right. The 65 okay. plus 5. Yeah. So, because you've got to play 95 overs for the day. Oh, okay, so 20 overs so to go. 25 overs remaining for today. Yeah. President Benedict scores on like this. They'll put up a good score before they close the play. Yeah, I think uh, to get a resource uh, the way the bins are batting, um, if they can put up about 150 at close of play, we have a game in hand tomorrow. That's uh, right. Could be a possible chance, but of course wide of him. But a better effort would have done it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not an easy catch, but um, uh, there's a good old saying that catches win matches, these type of half chances to be taken. If you want to really um, uh, get through the bench uh, lineup. Oh, that's again widely swung this time to a deep mid on. There is a fielder getting underneath it, and that's the first wicket to fall. That's the end of Kul. Hojita is out for 30. Yeah, I think I think uh, that's the way he batted. I mean, he, he, he got some reward out of the way he batted. He got some boundaries, and he went for another big one. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, he didn't hit that that well uh, he was caught at the deep um, but I think he had done a good job um, he would have wished to remain in the crease for a few more hours but that's the way the game is going um, um, and uh, we got an interesting game on hand uh, it's 44 for 2 yeah the way he was batting Ganesh I think uh, he cannot hit every ball he was trying to hit every ball that came his way but of course he done some kind of damage to the Wesley attack camp uh, uh, as I said to these boys this morning uh, guys never panic right I mean I think uh, this particular wicket have helped them a lot uh, boosted their morale and um, hopefully if they get another one um, they'll be back in the game Shendi Soiza is the new batsman, vice captain of St. Benedict's. There's a slight stoppage in the game. I think the bowler dropped the ball during his run up and um, sort of it was signaled. Uh, Dead ball, and he's going to come. Oh, okay. Looks like he's having some trouble, uh, Polly. Looks like he's uh, pulled a muscle or a hamstring, walking out. So, I'd like to see who's going to continue with the bowling. ஐயாவனாதரு Delivery is bold for the server. Two more deliveries he got to ball to complete the server. That's a good delivery. I like his pace. I think uh, he doesn't have, uh, he's not as quick as the previous two guys. Uh, he's sort of bowling that length which is really going to 
control the run flow. Um, hopefully uh, he can get through a few overs from this end. Down the leg side. So that's the end of that over. And Ganesh, uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, hopefully you'll be back again in the box uh, today as well as tomorrow. And uh, we'll be taken over by now Rick Gauta and Lal Vikramatunga will be joining us in the box. Thanks, Polly. Really enjoyed that. Thank you. Do you want to know how you can get the SEMA qualification faster? Join SEMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing right, so the SEMA professional qualification so at an affordable price and at double the speed. On the best gates as well. They did that uh, quite effectively. And uh, raced away very quickly to uh, 44 for the loss of two wickets. And joining us on our commentary, well, we've got another very, very special personality. Lal Vikramatunga, good afternoon and welcome, Lal. Good afternoon, Eric. Click nicely down towards uh, the fine leg region. That's a pick up one. So St. Benedict's move along nicely to uh, 45 for the loss of two wickets. Sarujan is on 10. Ashen Disoiza is on one. The new man in. Gomez is for 30 of 3.1 overs. Lal, your thoughts on the game so far? Well, Wesley did well to get over 200 after losing a couple of wickets towards the tail end. Another one down the leg side. Good take from the wicket keeper. Athletic take, the diving to his right. And of course, uh, St. Benedict's lost their captain, Pasan Suhas, earlier on. Of course, Kojita, he's known to hit the ball. Uh, that's the way he plays so uh, that was his quick fire innings which pushed the total to 44 when he was out caught at long on yes a quick fire 30 is what he made it's always useful to have that uh, quick start at the beginning of any innings Puts the pressure on the fielding side and that's what exactly they did because uh, Sri Lanka or uh, Wesley's fielding was in tatters. Ground fielding was poor. Misfielding allowed the batsman to come back for the second run. Boundaries were being scored. And that's what really does the psyche of any fielding side. Well, when a batsman stands and belts the ball, uh, the fielders are apprehensive. Yes, after a quick start, perhaps sanity has prevailed at the moment. Matsman playing the bowling on his merits, number three and four in the middle. If you're just joining our live telecast of all the action from Campbell Park in this uh, game between uh, Wesley and St. Benedict's. The news is that uh, St. Benedict's won the toss this morning, invited Wesley to bat first, and they made 218 for nine in 65 overs. Nicely played. Good drive straight to mid off. No chance of a run. Ball traveling very quickly. Fast outfield here at Campbell Park. Yes, when St. Benedict's won the toss lull this morning and invited Wesley to bat, I'm pretty sure they were looking to dismiss them for under 150. Well, the skies were overcast. Uh, there was a, uh, the, the wicket looked green, but slightly, slightly damp on top. And the intention was to to try and get early wickets and push Wesley behind. 
Right, so now the over completed. So seven completed and St. Benedict's are 45 for two. Eighth over about to get underway. So basically attacking at the moment, two slips in a gully, the backward point, along with the extra cover in the mid-off. On the onside, they got the fine leg, the mid wicket and mid-on. Regulation field at the moment. Sensing that uh, perhaps these batsmen are not going after the bowling as uh, they saw in the first few overs. When the captain himself was uh, on fire. In the air. Out caught. Good catch. Excellent catch. Running back. Kept his eyes on the ball. And the end uh, took it quite comfortably. Ashen De Souza departs for one. And St. Benedict's are now 45 for the loss of three wickets. That was a very good catch, Eric, uh, running behind. Look at that. Commitment. Kept his eyes on the ball. Took it one-handed in the end. Not a big wicket for Wesley College. It certainly is, Eric. Uh, Ashen Soisa is known uh, to be one of their front-line batsmen who has uh, scored. Lots of expectation on him, but uh, that was a brilliant catch. Uh, he tried to push it over the mid-off, but it was a lovely catch running backwards. He picked it up on its way down, far ahead of his body, running behind. Brilliant catch. Yes, fielding efforts such as that uh, can turn a match on its head, more or less. Uh, school cricket, I have seen, uh, Eric, in the recent past, the fielding has improved tremendously. Mm. They do stop uh, lots of runs on the field, and they seem to take catches which come in the air quite, quite often than not. So Chanel Samaratunga, the new man in, playing as an all-rounder, left-handed batsman as well. Lovely shot, lovely shot. Picks the gap as well, running down the hill towards the boundary. Two fielders after it, will they get there? Well, they wouldn't. Can't prevent that boundary being scored. Good attempt in the end. This is a quick outfield at Campbell Park. And anything past the fielder, well, certainly is going to run down the hill now here near the pavilion. The effort was good, but just couldn't get there in time. The boundary will ease the pressure as well, St. Benedict's. Wide call. First wide we have seen actually in this match. Second wide, in fact. Takes uh, St. Benedict's on to 50 for the loss of three wickets. 50 for three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Short his arms this time. So the 50 has come up of 46 balls, 44 minutes of batting. Lost three wickets with nine boundaries in the inning so far. Again, he shows his arms outside the line of off stump. Bowlers must make the batsman play. End of the over. Eight completed. Semiradix 50 for three. Person Benedicts will have to settle in uh, Koi kaurud ganna vane, api kaurud ganna vane Ape ma rati hadna vane Kutu me seta ganna vane, palanchi at a dana vane In the block hole, nice dug out Do some Benedicts back deep the batting runs down to number seven eight. And the Hadanagandavani gate to what a Danavani, Valley Nuati, Napalaganavani, Haya, we go to Danavani, up we go to Danavani, right to one, eh, higher than in a Vani, most of the body, higher than in a Vani, Haya, one is a galvanized Vani butter, Haya, we go to Danavani, a pair a day, Hadanavani. Modern cricket ball change. Number one to eleven must learn to bat. In the good old days, bowlers did say, "Look, it was left to uh, batsmen to score runs, bowlers to take wickets." So 50 for 3, we are in uh, over number 9. And we were talking about uh, in the good old days, batsmen number 9, 10, and 11 didn't even uh, bat in the nets. But in modern cricket, you got to bat up to number 11. Yes, uh, I, I, th I think with the advent of the limited overs cricket, uh, batting deep is is the norm now. Uh, some of the bowlers are required to bat at uh, number eight, nine, ten. Yes, they need to bat and score runs as well. Good running. Realizing a big gap on the onside that mid wicket area was left vacant. So easy single. This is what Wesley didn't do so well when they were batting, taking those singles, picking the gaps and looking for singles. So Benedict's on the other hand, looking for every opportunity you can take a run. Yes, why not? Yeah, after the initial blitz of Kojita, I think the Benedictine batsman would do well to settle in. Yes, we're talking about 65 overs aside in the first innings. That's a lot of overs. Yes, Eric, if you look at 50 over games, they score around 250 to and above that. Mm. So 65 is 15 plus. So you're talking of another 45, 55 runs or more. So we're talking of close to 300 or 300 plus. Good ball. Brings the batsman forward, beaten outside the line of off stump. Chamat Gomez made a quick fire 30 when Wesley were batting. And now with the ball, none for 31 from his uh, 4.3 overs, but uh, he was taken to task by the Benz captain who hit the ball around the park. He made a quick fire 30. Uh, that was uh, Pasan Suas. It was Kojita who got the runs, uh, uh, Eric. Uh. 
Here's the initial onslaught from Juan uh, Passasa. Put Wesley on the back foot. They didn't really know what was happening. The fielding, the ground fielding let them down as well. So when you have that onslaught, it puts a lot of pressure on the fielding side. Yes, having said that at the same time, you got to consolidate after that. Mm. Nice to bed. Well struck. That's running to the boundary. There's nobody going to stop that because it's running quickly to the boundary for four. Huge gap on the off side between backward point and the mid off. There's no fielder in that extra cover region. Easy picking for the batsman. The moment uh, the ball passes anything on the field, the outfield is so fast. It's lightning fast and it'll reach the boundary. Today's good batsman, uh, Eric, if you give them width on either side they will milk you for runs uh, and that particular ball was short outside the off stump Sarujan went on his back foot and punched it through extra cover for four Tayanla Kayano Sudankave GI Pai Panishpatani Puro Kami Avanatar Atavanavita Vivita Avashatavan Mata Vivita Parasangin Pulun Vanishpatan Kate to Sidukaran Rabai Kala Gunikaha Desh Gunikatuanta Manalis Urutudan Akari to Nishpatane Kerena Palanchi Sa Plate Pari Bukika Avashatavan to Kelepina Akari to Merata the Nishpatane Keran Rabana Usas Matapi Nishpatan Kriavaliaksatu Pramukatama Ayatane Tayan Lanka Uba Samaki Shakti Vishwa Sevenuin Nipakavama Capacity that's a lovely drone shot of uh, Campbell Park and the adjacent areas around uh, in uh, Borella. Looking at all the uh, buildings that are coming up around these areas. Well played. Half stopped at mid off. There's a deep mid off as well. Who we backed up and uh, tidied up. Rick, the ground looks beautiful. It has a carnival atmosphere mm. with flags and buntings flying. Well played. There's no doubt that's going to reach the boundary pretty quickly. Can't understand why that extra guard position has been left vacant. Well, I, I, I think uh, they've been covering for straighter hits and left the gap on the outside the off uh, on the off through extra cover but now they've got a deep cover yes sweeper in place at the moment but still so many gaps on the off side between that backward point and uh, there's a mid off and a deep mid off on the off side Because anything that passes that uh, inner field is going to run to the boundary very quickly. Very, very fast outfield at Campbell Park. It's always been fast. Lal, have you played on these grounds? Well, I have uh, played uh, some club matches. But uh, not, not school games against Wesley. It, it used to be lightning fast even before. They didn't have this lush green greenery now on on the outfield as uh, we see it now before. But yet the, un, un, the the soil is hard, so once the ball passes the fielder, it quickly runs to the boundary. Oh, lovely, lovely, absolutely out of this of the textbook. Runs quickly to the long one boundary for four. So Samaratunga moves on to nine. And we look at that replay. Look at that. Picture perfect. Full face the bat. In the air for a while, but very safe indeed. Also, another plus point down here at Campbell Park, uh, Lal, is that uh, if there's rain, the water disperses very, very quickly. But in the meantime, 10 overs completed.
Saint Benedict 63 for 3. urban or off-road sensation. The best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes and even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see So change the bowling coming up as well for Wesley College. So Mendix at the moment 63 for 3 after 10 overs. He got further 55 overs in these innings. And uh, Sarujan is on 18 of 29. Shanil Samarathunga is on 9 of 8. Anudit Vikrama Singer will be in operation. Nice to play it. That two is running towards the boundary. Field after it. Gets it just inside. He's a couple of runs uh, been scored by Sarujan. So surprising that the offside between the backward point and uh, that mid off, there's a big gap, just the sweeper cover on the boundary. Plenty of opportunities for batsmen to score the ones and the twos. They also have two slips and a wideish gully, more or less. <laughs> Trying to entice the batsman to switch outside the off stump, leaving that gap open. Yes, I find it a bit strange that uh, that big gap is uh, there on the offside. The batsmen know that they're very comfortable playing anything on the offside, even if it's in the yard for a while. They'll be very safe. I mean, the ball has got to be absolutely spot on. He can't be giving any width to the batsman. Pulled away on the onside. That is also racing towards the boundary. Sliding stop just inside. Cover up, cover up. Couple of more runs taken. Nimesh Soiza and the full game was uh, Sakish Minan, the number 11 batsman for Wesley. We're talking about this uh, St. Benedict's uh, Wesley game that we've seen now over these last two years. There was a spell when St. Benedict's and Wesley did not play together. That's correct, Eric. Uh, over the years, uh, both schools had their own traditional games, mm. which amounted to not more than eight or nine games at most. And there wasn't room in the calendar. Quite true because the third term was either two or three games the maximum, eight in the first term. And didn't allow these uh, schools to really get going to play games. But it dates but back from 18 something, you know. That's correct, but it's always better late than never. Of course. <laughs> totally agree with you. Bang on target this time, giving nothing away. 
End of the over, 11 completed. Similar are 67 for 3, and uh, we will see the drinks coming. <laughs> Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity. Jaya apne petu mai na bandi jaave sahay sadhana. Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank. Our interest is in you. Be jaya apne petu mai na bandi jaave sahay sadhana. Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank. Our interest is in you.
in to the offside and a single. If you go back to last year, Sharjan was the man who sets table uh, the game at a crucial point for St. Benedict's. So definitely a man who can do it. I think he batted quite long, saving that match. Definitely. So, well, basically, 12 overs gone. 68 for 3. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. Do you want to know how you can get the SIMA qualification faster? Join SIMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning. Oh, you bet so. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, definitely bats left-handed. He's a left-hander. We could keep it. Was the youngest player for St. Benedict's last year in the first yeah, 17. Yeah, 14 years or something like that. So, yes. boy. There's a loud appeal there. But the ball would have been sliding down the leg. Was off the pad also. They got it towards short fine for a single. That boy has a lot of years to go. Obviously, won't like to see him for too long, but uh, you never know. They saw him a lot last year, and I think he's in for a long innings here. Definitely not a side for the Wesley I to see, but a man Benedict's can the Benedictines can rely on. Shanil also giving good support. 11 of just 10 runs and a pretty healthy uh, run rate as well just 12 overs and 72 just losing a tad bit of wickets I think they threw at least two wickets were thrown away basically by the Bendik Times going for shots so Ravindu Sigera you see double bowling change from both ends spinners coming on the Benedictines seem to be somewhat on the go since the time uh, they started batting. And now you see these batsmen settling in a little bit and, you know, pushing for the singles rather than the boundaries. And I think they have been uh, the luckier team getting a better than India, but on the bounce to the field for just a single. But they're getting the best of this pitch. It was a bit damp in the morning. They won the toss and asked uh, Wesley to take first lease. Now it has dried up, no terrors in the pitch, just stick out there and runs will come. Sharu doing the usual thing he does well, just nudging it to all parts of the ground, getting a single. And that's the end of over number 13 of this innings. St. Bendix 73 for 2. 74 for 2. Uh, the fire 74 for 3. I'm sorry.
called in the 14th over. Wesley seem to be going with the two off spinners at the moment. Nice to fly to the slowish delivery. And Sharu just uh, plays it quietly to the point fielder, to the covers fielder. Two left handers will definitely want an off spinner to be bowling. Yeah, that, I think that's the main reason that the two offies are in operation at the moment. I, I basically don't agree with that theory. Because if you have your best spinner, who is a left arm spinner, he should be able to bowl at any best. I know it's a theory that everyone would like to go with. But if you have Rangan here up in your team and you have two left handers, are you telling me he's not going to bowl? Till the left handers out? No way. True enough, but I myself as a cricketer and I was an off spinner. And I love bowling at the left handers. Definitely. Rather than the right handers. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's much more easier to bowl to a left hander. Get that ball spinning out and get it caught on the slips. Just the dream of an off spinner. But you take a best one like Brian Lara. I'm sure you ask Murli whether he'd like to bowl to him or a right hand, and he'll I, eyes closed, he'll choose a, a right hand, uh, then bowl into Lara. Because you know, some, some players are just on their day, they're impossible. True, true. And true. same way, I would say a bowler should, the main thing he should be doing is bowling out there. So the overs are finishing pretty fast 14 gone, 75. For three. Tayan Lankayano, Sudan Kavi, GI Pai Punish Patani, Puro Kami Avanatar, Atavanavita, Vivita Avashatavan Mata, Vivita Parasangin, Pulun Vanish Patan Katu to Sidukaran Rabai, Kala Gunikaha, Desh Gunikata Pianta, Manalis or to the Akari to Nish Patane Kirina, Palanchi Sah Plate. Paribukika Avashatavan to Kelepina Akarita, Merata the Nishpatan Ekarulabana, Usas Matapi, Nishpatan Kriavaliaksatu, Pramukatama Ayatane, Tayan Lanka, Ubersamaki, Shakti Vishwasi Venuin, Nipatama Capital City. Sharu is on strike. So Sigera is the bowler. Into Sharujan. And hear a lot of this uh, name Sharu, Sharu, Sharu for the next couple of years. A school favorite as well, so definitely. Going in the footsteps of uh, Sangakkar, a wicket keeper batsman, batting at number three. Well, we hear the problems Sri Lanka have with their number three spot in the team right now. Definitely a man the selector should be having a look on. Slight delay. Umpire has been. Oh, Lamai, come on, Lamai. So all good now. Sigirine. Oh, oh. Taking his time. 52 balls, but I'm sure that's that's the main idea. The main target must be the Charu bats right throughout and the other support. <laughs> nicely turned away. The vacant uh, final leg region. This one come back for two. This is exactly what they need. And I like what uh, Shanil Samarathunga has been doing on the other end. He has scored 12 of 13. So he's taking a lot of pressure off Sharu, keeping the scoreboard moving. Definitely, and I do think this partnership will be crucial for St. Benedict's Sharu as well. Sorry, Sharu has moved to 31 at the moment. Ah, 
that's the end of the 15th over of this innings and the 80th for the day 77 for 3 And it's Linal Super Singh bowling once again. Good start to the over. He is also quite uh, he hefty bu heftily built, like the brother. Very alike. Can Both of spinners as well. Can he also bat the same way? Interesting <laughs> shot. That's a six. Charu having fun here. Pocket size guy but packs a punch. Can hit it a long way. Well that was Chanel Samaratung, is it? Yeah. Is that for Chanel? Nice a little too full. In that was asking to be hit. And that's what he did. Dead straight. A very, very safe shot. All they can do is stand and watch. Beautifully placed again. That one into the boundary again. This time along the ground. There's 10 runs coming in, two deliveries. Previous ball being a little too full. You know, Super Singh changing his line once again. And yet again, Cheryl takes the better of him. This time going a bit too short. And paying the price for that. There was a deep extra cover, but uh, just managed to beat that fielder. So now a bit under pressure, field changing around. So while it's a spread field now, so no pressure on the batsman. Played there. That's more of the length in our Super Singh who will be looking to bowl. Definitely. Pulling it back. Good comeback after those two deliveries. Two dot balls. Sennel quickly moving on to 22 of uh, just 18 deliveries kutu mel sata ganna vaane palanchi ata dana vaane antana bate ta ganna vaane vaani haiya denena vaane kayan Ravindra Sigero back into the attack. A dot ball to start things off. Defended the delivery but didn't know where the ball landed. Lucky he didn't spin on and go and hit the stumps. Sigera bowling a little bit tighter line, fastish, flattish. 
not giving any flight. Happy to just play it out. The runs have been coming. No hurry at all. This is the problem I see with uh, the Wesley bowlers. They bowl three dot balls and then they go and give one loose ball down the leg side. You know, not being very consistent. <laughs> it's it's easy for the batsman, you know, they just they know that they're gonna get a loose ball. And it's gonna, you know, put the pressure away. I think they need to bowl a few dot balls, a few maiden overs and make the batsman do something. There you go, this boy, Shanil Samaratungi is just enjoying his knockout there. Definitely seems to be waiting for the right ball and capitalizing on that, respecting the ball for the good balls. And whenever it's in his arc, in fact, he seems to be putting it away comfortably. Yeah, and that's, I think that's what the two batsmen have decided now. Sharu just, you know, nudges it here and then gets a single, puts Shanil on to strike and then Shanil takes it off from there. Well, just two deliveries, five runs in the over. That's more than enough. Board, come on. That's the end of the over. At the end of 17 overs, it's 92 for 3 for St. Benedict's. Vani, higher than in a Vani. Kayan! To me, set a gun of Vani, Palanchi at a dan of Vani, and an abate at a gun of Vani. Vani, higher than in a Vani. Kayan! To me, set a gun of Vani, Palanchi at a dan of Vani, and an abate at a gun of Vani. Vani, higher than in a Vani. Kayan! To me, set a So there's two spinners continuing. Charu just happy to you know play it out, knowing that there might be a loose ball coming. So last two three overs, this is what we saw. The first two deliveries were just played down, and then things started happening. Let's see whether this over also will be the same. Hopefully not for the Wesleyites. That's better. That's much more better from Super Singer. Three dot balls. Uh, create some pressure because the batsman just wants the runs to come. You know, you just create those pressure, make them do something different. There you go, shortish. Two or three dot balls, and then they give the run. Like to see a made no win bold. The batsman getting some help from the bowler. Get his shoelace tied there. Interesting thing, like I said, 18th over been bold of the series. Not one made no been bold state, even by the fast bowlers. You see, that's where pressure is released, even from a new batsman. Is that where you think Wesley might have lost the game well, or the session in fact? Yeah, exactly because uh, when, when we were betting we saw a lot of dot balls, a lot of made overs. But here you see they have still not bowled one made over for the 18 overs that have been bowled. That's a pretty decent over, just one run coming off it. So after 18, St. Bendix 93 for 3. Whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation, the best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike.
We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes. And even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see our range at the Cycletech showrooms. Bikes with attitude from Cycletech, a jam holdings entity. Whether you want an authentic urban or off-road sensation, the best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. Bikes with attitude to take you beyond the end of the road and in any terrain. Heritage bikes. And even bikes aerodynamically engineered. Come and see our range at the Cycletech showrooms. Bikes with attitude from Cycletech. So the men's uh, taking good lease of uh, what was uh, offered to them. So they moved on steadily to 94 for the loss of three wickets. Good partnership building uh, from 45 for three. Chanel, who is on strike, is on uh, 25 and uh, giving him good support on the other side is Sarujan. Both have batted beautifully. Uh, Ganesh, what do you think uh, will be going in the Wesley captain's minds now? I think a uh, few things uh, he must be thinking now. Or what's my next strategy is? Uh, that is a good hit. Yeah, that's uh, that's another wicket for Wesley. Um, it was a very good hit, but uh, didn't have the power to cross the line. Uh, a very good catch in the deep uh, by the fielder. So Ben Sell lost another wicket. So uh, Sigira strikes as uh, Chanel went for the toik over mid on. Wesley badly needed that wicket uh, because these two batsmen were really settling in and pushing the score without any issues. and. Um, that's a good break for Wesley. I think uh, uh, Shahin must be a happy man. Uh, but I was thinking to your question earlier, what was he thinking? It's not a bad strategy to bring in a, a left armor uh, because I know when the two left-handers, when the two left-handers are there, uh, it's always good to bowl uh, two offices. But uh, it's always good to change something different. Uh, and Wesley got two good left armors. And I, I, I think they did their job uh, pretty well. They kept the Ben pair of Chanil and uh, Sarujan quite in check, although they had made that almost 50 run partnership. Uh, well, wickets do win matches. And uh, I think crucially, uh, Wesley has uh, got that wicket uh, right at that. Yeah, that is a good fortnight partnership. So. Uh, it really helped uh, Benz to bounce back. Uh, I think now uh, Wesley got a uh, few more overs to bowl and uh, it's going to be an interesting finish for these two days uh, last session. So Johan, a third year colorsman now joins Sarujan at the center. So as the rules stipulate uh, Ganesh, we got uh, 95 overs to complete for the day. Uh, Wesley played out 65, they allotted 65 overs and so 30 overs uh, was what uh, the Benz had to uh, negotiate today. Yep. So they're almost into their 19th over. And 94, I think from a score point of view they might be uh, quite pleased because I think at the end of the day they would like to cross that halfway mark. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, uh, they'd be happy if they can get to 150 by close-up play without losing a wicket. Uh, uh, they'll be very happy going into the day too. Uh, it's very interesting um, as Wesley got a breakthrough, uh, uh, they'll be attacking a bit more. Uh, or Shahil must be 
uh, got some strategy behind him and probably he might bring in those one of those left arm spinners uh, to apply some more pressure but uh, uh, all credit to Chahil he kept the pressure going throughout this session I think it paid well in the end absolutely I mean he's, he's, he's a very good captain he's a very good player playing for the fifth year uh, obviously he got a lot of experience so uh, it's a cool-headed young man um, I, I had a lot of conversation with him before this game I think he had done an excellent job so Wesley looking to consolidate uh, their status having uh, had four wickets uh, of the bins and the wins, of course, would now look into this last session of play uh, to end the day on a high, just like how they ended the morning session. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's good to uh, end the day without losing any wickets, and uh, when you get to uh, about even 1.30, they'll be happy. Ganesh, you've been playing a lot of cricket on this uh, uh, pitch. Of course, I don't think you had the turf during your time, is it? No, we didn't have a turf. We had a matting wicket at the ground was more smaller than this. Um, now looking at this uh, from the commentary box, uh, the, the ground looks fantastic. I mean, I've never seen Campbell Park more greener than this ever. My only co complaint at this moment, uh, Ganesh, is the wall that has spoiled the view because it used to be a lovely open ground when we played back in the 80s. Absolutely, yes. You, you, you lost that charm a bit, isn't it? And people come and park it, their car and watch does. the game from the car and uh, people watch from the bicycle. Yeah, we lost that charm a bit, but of course, things have changed a lot. Uh, we've got to have uh, uh, that huge ball uh, to provide some protection for the boys who are playing in the game. And uh, all credit to the Wesley management. Uh, they've developed this ground. They've got, have you got four pitches now? Uh, That's right, four pitches. And... Um, uh, there's a lot of effort went into this, a uh, lot of old boys got behind the management and the principal and um, thanks to the current principal, Amishka, uh, he had done an excellent job uh, controlling everything and uh, bringing this encounter back on track and uh, it's a, what, what a fantastic event uh, to get both schools together and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, myself coming all the way from Sydney uh, to be part of this event. I don't think the cricketers have let you down, have they, Ganesh? No, not at all, not at all. I mean, uh, it's something, it's, 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 it's turned out to be a very, very good game. I mean, both teams are giving their best. I hope uh, we will have some good positive cricket tomorrow. Sigera coming to bowl the 20th over again from the college end. And he'll be bowling to Sarujan. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, th there are some, um, Wesley, looks like Wesley has screwed in the, tightened the screws a bit uh, after that wicket and um, uh, it's going to be interesting um, how it's going to be in the next couple of week, uh, overs. And uh, also interestingly, uh, the player right in front of the batsman, his shadow is falling onto the uh, playing area, so that must be giving uh, young uh, Subha Singh Narada a good good area to focus yeah, on. That's right, that's right. Uh, going going back to the uh, uh, the playing field, uh, although I played on matting on this ground, but I had the opportunity to play on this turf wicket as an old boy, uh, as part of the uh, 100 years uh, Wesley Royal uh, played uh, two old boys games and uh, um, that's a very good shot uh, pushed along the ground to mid on or oh sorry extra cover that was single for Benz and Benz moved to 95 for the loss of four wickets in the 19th over. Uh, Sarojan ticking along very nicely at 34 and uh, so is who joined him because of the wicket of Chanel uh, still to score. So, Linal Sumas Singer for the last time on the 20th over. And that's well bowled and played defensively forward by Johan. So, Benz at the end of the 20th over, uh, 95 for 4.
Do you want to know how you can get the SEMA qualification faster? Join SEMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program, a self-paced digital learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter learning and faster success. Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing the SEMA professional qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. Do you want to know how you can get the SEMA qualification faster? Join SEMA through the CGMA Finance Leadership Program. So that's cut, cut dangerously. It was a half chance. Um, they always say catches in matches. Uh, um, uh, but uh, I wouldn't call it a chance, uh, just a half chance. Doubt whether it actually carried yeah, that's right, to a catchable distance, but, uh, well, they're living dangerously, I would say. Yeah. Definitely the runs have dried down a bit after that wicket. Um, it's a very good deal where he just pushed to the cover without any runs. It's nice to see the Wesley spinners bowling a touch slower than what the Benz did. The slow bowlers. That's correct. That's correct. I think uh, Wesley, Wesley got a home advantage. They, the boys know how to play on the speakers. They know the speaker very well than Benz. Uh, so I think they're, they're bowling really well. A uh, bit of flight just over the eye line. Really getting the best one to think twice. Segura has a lovely flowing action, good follow through. He's hitting the right areas in the deck. So, all in all, Wesley can rely on their spin attack. Absolutely, Wesley got a very good spin. I mean, there are two another left handers are there. Um, I have seen them bowling before. Uh, they're pretty good. So, uh, Wesley, Wesley doesn't need to panic. Uh, just keep, keep attacking, and uh, I'm sure. Uh, they will have some success. Shot pulled away towards mid wicket and beats the fielder there. So four runs, well, well deserved four runs and uh, Johan goes off the mark with four there. Yes, end of the 20. First over, same are 100 for four. So that's the 100 coming up for the Benz. Uh, in good, in good uh, time as well, 20 overs, they're going at a rate of about a five. Five, that's correct, yeah. It's a pretty good run rate. Um, and the Benz are really looking good in terms of run rate. So no big demons seen in the pitch so far, Ganesh, and I think tomorrow we're going to see a very similar pitch play out. Day two? Absolutely, it has turned out to a betting paradise. I mean, um, there's nothing much happening on the wicket. Um. So, viewers, if you're wondering what that uh, bicycle that has been shown on and off is, that's the bicycle that has been given to the man of the match of this. Uh, Cartman Trophy encounter between Wesley and St. Benedict's as Linal bowls. And that's the bicycle that we were talking of. So the man of the match will walk by courtesy of Cycle Tech. Tickled away on the leg side. Sarujan goes for one, they scamper back for the second. So good running late in the evening. The Benz got there, 100 in 127 balls in 100 minutes, 14 boundaries in that, plus one six. That's a pretty good going for Benz, quite attacking, Barry. They also did pay the price of losing more wickets in getting to the 100. That's correct. So Linal dropping it at a good length, Saru very watchfully uh, playing that down the wicket so 102 
the 21st over. I really like the way Sarjan is batting. Uh, looks really a solid, good defense, very good technique, putting the bad ball away. And uh, He's in good vein as well because he's just uh, following this inning uh, from his exploits with the Joes last week. He had 100 in the 50 over game. All oh, right. So he's in good, good form. Yeah, pr pr looking at the last shot, I mean, it's not a bad ball, just on the leg stump, tucked away down the leg side for two very good, valuable runs for Ben. So, I mean, uh, Sargent is looking really, really good. I mean, uh, if, he, if he keeps on batting like this, it's, it's happy days for Benz. So, hopefully, he stays till the end and uh, Benz can look at getting uh, to that 150 mark. I'm sure the Benz camp is relying on Sarujan. Uh, I think this is his third year, if I'm not mistaken, but he's got a few more years to go. So, lots of hopes uh, pinned on Sarujan uh, and his future with the Benedictine camp. Yes, uh, looking at him, he looks a very good batter to me. Uh, steady, uh, got patience, putting that bad ball away. Um, lo looks a very good asset for uh, Benz. And he's very well organized at the crease. He doesn't do too many things. He's very well organized. And one would just like to touch more of those pickup shots to come into his game. Yep. As he matures, I'm sure he's going to get them. Absolutely, yes. Uh, the, the more he plays, he will become become a better player. As you said, he can play a couple of years. So it's interesting to see um, what next few years is going to uh, give Benz. Uh, and Benz is definitely going to get more out of Sarujan in the next couple of years. Uh, lot, like I said, lots of hopes uh, pinned on him. Yep. Uh, and uh, we've seen the Benedictine camp now uh, building around his long stay. Uh, he's, he's been the pivotal figure in the last few years. Yeah, there's a change in the bowling. Um, it's a left arm uh, coming. Yeah, Shamil Ali Nage, uh, operating from the all sense end. Bit of a short tucked away down the leg side for a single. They're coming for the second. That'll be quick. Yes, they made it. So that's two valuable runs for Benz. They moved to 106 for four in the 22nd or 23rd. These two uh, batsmen uh, seem to be running the twos quite well. Very nimble in their uh, footwork as well as in the running. I'm very impressed with their running. They're taking those two uh, runs when there's a two. Not taking much risk. That's a good delivery. It's a very good delivery. Beat the bat. Unfortunately, didn't get the edge. Depends on what camp you are, Ganesh. <laughs> I would say, fortunately, being an old Ben. Well, it's interesting. Definitely, there's some very good cricket played out here. Um, again, a very good delivery and um, beat the bat. He got bite and bounce there at that time. That's right. I don't know. It must have hit something on the pitch. Uh, it uh, caught Besson by surprise, and even the wicket keeper couldn't catch it clearly. Another good delivery from Samuel. Similar, Leon again. Bowling is first over. So he will come for the last time in this over from the All Saints end. It's interesting to see how, how we call these two ends. One is the All Saints end, other one we we'll call it the Kosh Garden end. I would rather call it the College end. Yeah, that would be more appropriate. appropriate uh, yes. Yep. Looks like another bowling change uh, from the college end. Yeah. 
Sakish Minon um, starting from the college end for the first time. He's replacing Lina Subasinga. So the Wesley skipper showing some intent. We've seen some very quick changes going around. Absolutely, that's you, you needed in this type of situation because we are coming close to the end of the day, and um, he's trying all his tricks to get another wicket. He'd be very happy to get another wicket, and it's good for Wesley as well. But uh, Ben seems to be holding on really well. There's an edge runs to on the third man, and Ben's get a single. So single to Sarujan takes him to 40. Uh, latching on to your earlier comment of uh, the last few overs being bowled, I almost it also must be said that the Ben's uh, the batsmen have been on the field almost all day, having fielded the morning session. So oh yeah, Mr. Uh, all credit to the Ben's uh, uh, batsmen for focusing and staying focused, although they have stayed in the field for the whole of the day. Absolutely, that shows uh, the fitness level of the boys. I mean, they looked a very fit side to me. They fielded uh, really well in that hot sun um, and coming out here and batting for the second, I mean, the second innings, uh, uh, first innings of the innings, and uh, they looked a uh, very fit side and they're batting really well. Looks like Shakish is causing some problems. Um, there are edges, there are nicks, and that's, that's, that's not a good sign for Benz. Um, Perhaps it's the height at which he's delivering, because uh, we saw two taller bowlers operating earlier. That's right. And that's right. Uh, was we just coming under the uh, white lines there? I have seen Sarkish bowling. I watched him um, a couple of days ago. He's a very good bowler, uh, very intelligent bowler. Uh, thinks, thinks very hard about his bowling and varies a lot. Um, I think um, I, I, if he keeps going like this, he's going to cause some damage. So Wesley uh, have a armory of left armors, don't they? That's correct. That's correct. They got plenty of left handers uh, in their side. I mean, they bet up to number ten, and uh, even they got a uh, bowler. So there are. We did, we did see the batting depth uh, because, having been uh, six down, they really held forth to take them past the 200. That's correct. They bet up to number 10, so uh, that which was is good to see in a side. And end of the 24th over, Wesley uh, Benz 108 for four. Of we see how it's going to turn up. Uh, Ben's uh, kicking away, 108 for four. The sun's uh, gone behind uh, the shadows. That's correct. There are some overcast conditions. And there are some sun clouds moving in. What is the bad light rule um, in the local competition? Do the umpires got a meter with them? They check the light and then if it's That's not, right. Yes. And they offer it to the batsman. Yes. Okay. So the premise they follow is uh, player safety first. Yes. So the umpires do make that call. Yeah. But I think uh, we do not see an early closure here. There's plenty of light for Yeah, cricket. plenty of light, that's right, yes. They can driven handsomely but cannot beat the infield. So the score remains at 108 for four. We are into the 25th over, uh, bowled by Semila Lienike. So as he comes in, left arm over the wicket. Knocked around on the leg side. They want to go for that single. Well fielded in the end. So, somewhat of a decent uh, controlled over by Samila. Yeah, it looks like he's bowling well. I mean, the last couple of balls were really good. Um, he's trying to put some pressure on the batsman. I know there's six overs to go, and Benz would like to put some runs on the board. 
but um, uh, seems to be having some difficulty. Of course, there are a few things coming, going through uh, the best of mind. Uh, uh, first of all, you must, they must think him to remain not out. As close a play, they don't want to lose a wicket. At the same time, they'd be happy to put some runs on the board. Against a fantastic delivery from Semila. That's the end of the over. So it's 208 for 4 in the 25th over. That's amazing over. So that's that's uh, a pretty good over. That's handy because the end of the day. Sure. <laughs> Mobile. And I Protect wholeheartedly. Is the highest scorer so far in the men's side. He's, he's 40 not out in 79 balls. It's a good going for him. So lots of uh, expectation from on his shoulders now. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. He should remain not out as close as play today and the carry on uh, come tomorrow. Wasn't a great delivery. Lucky he hit the fielder's leg. Sakesh uh, continuing his second over from the college end. Flighted on a good length. Nothing much the batsman could do rather than just play it out onto the offside. Another good delivery. It's a better contrast to the batters who batted early on in the innings. They were attacking the ball, and which really helped Benz to put up a very good start. Uh, but uh, after losing those couple of weeks, uh, Sarojan has taken the responsibility and batted really well and remains on 40. And um, as I said earlier, it looks like a very good batter. And uh, Benz will be looking forward for Sarojan to continue tomorrow he's shown this trait throughout his career uh, Ganesh because he, he's come out as an accumulator of runs and uh, he's made it a habit now to compile those runs up no doubt about it looks a very good cricketer to me so on the back foot cut away that's a single there for Benz so the score will move on to 109 and we got a delivery to bowl from the college end by Sakish. So after that flurry of runs, I'm sure the Wesley uh, team will be quite happy to see the Benz uh, at 109 because they did get to a brilliant start. Yes, that's correct. Uh, that's correct. I mean, I'm sure the Wesley will be happy. Uh, I've taken those four wickets uh, and uh, another five overs to go. At the end of the 26th over, the Benz are 109 for 4. Welcoming all of you with warmth and care. Commercial Bank, our interest is in you couple of games uh, during my previous session uh, but something I something I remembered um, after that session uh, the game against St. Joseph's um, we, we gave a sporting declaration and uh, uh, the St. Joseph's school was captained by the current HNB chairman Jonathan Ellis and uh, Johnny was captain St. Joseph's I was captain in Basley and uh, we gave a very sporting declaration uh, to score 130 runs and uh, 130 runs to get in one hour and 20 mandatory overs and on a smaller ground and uh, St. Joseph was cruising well and uh, Jonathan Alves was really going well and uh, they were at one stage another good delivery from uh, Semila so we got uh, some uh, lift uh, that we see off the pitch. Uh. There, there are a bit of bounce uh, in a couple of deliveries. Uh, Interesting to see what's happening there. I don't see any cracks on the first day, uh, but uh, definitely, Whoa. definitely the uh, Semile is bowling well. He's creating some problems for the batters. 
and he's increased his pace uh, uh, at, at which he was bowling. Yes, he's bowling a bit quicker. Quicker. So you see well. that's I, I don't mind him uh, throwing the one or two balls up just to get over the high line uh, uh, to really confuse the best one. Yeah, that was a better delivery. Tried it. Yes, yeah, as I said earlier, St. Joseph's was cruising well. Uh, they were 94 four at that stage, one stage, and then they lost half of because they ended up 110 for seven or eight uh, bad life stop play. So this would have been like 85? 85, yes. That's the year we won the best team. Okay. Yes, I do remember the names that you mentioned because I, I played the previous year. That's correct, uh, yes. Uh, so you would have played with Jonathan as well. Jonathan uh, as well. Jonathan Alas, yes. yes, that's correct, yes. They did have a fantastic side. They did have a fantastic yes. side that year, yes. Okay. Mohan Ratnaik and a couple Kandapa. of others. Kandapa, they saw all those people. Yeah, pretty good over from uh, Semila. Uh, looks like just one run off the over, 109 for four in 27 overs. 27 overs. Sharujan remains not out on 41. And Johan de Sosa on seven. Johan is playing a very good supporting role. Uh, he has faced 22 deliveries for his seven runs, but uh, he's playing a very responsible innings, really supporting Sarojan. End of the day, Benz doesn't want to lose a wicket from here. I'm sure they want to keep these two batters intact when they close shutters for the day. That's right. Uh, but uh, having earlier on uh, spoken about Johan, I don't think he seemed rattled when he got onto the center after that long partnership. So his steady approach has also calmed the nerves of. Uh, yeah, that's right. That, that, that's uh, that's uh, signs of a quality player, isn't it? Uh, he, he he knows what his responsibilities are, and he's really playing a very good supporting role for Benz. We want to wait down the extra cover, bit of off. Nasty bounce for the extra cover fielder. Hit him on the chest and um, it's allowed uh, Bates to take another single which moves the score to 110 for 4 in the 27.2 overs. But Johan seems to be a naturally attacking player and uh, he's shown that he would want to go for those shots. Oh, that's interesting. He seems to be playing a different role to his natural game, uh, which is a good sign of a player, um, playing according to the situation. Really, oh, that's a that's a loosener from um, beautifully turned on the leg side. Fielders giving chase, cannot stop it, and it's a welcome boundary for the Benz. Sarujan slowly moves up to 45. The score moves to 1-1-4 for the loss of four wickets. Definitely, that's a that's a welcome boundary for Benz. They would have really enjoyed that extra four runs, which is. Not a good ball at all. Full toss down the leg side. So that's, that says how well the Wesleyites have been operating. Operating in the last 10 yeah. or 15 overs. Yeah, I think uh, Shaki just lost a bit of direction there. The last two deliveries down the leg side, which allowed Benz to get a boundary and a single. Johan back on strike now. He's on eight. And Ben score 115 for four in the 27.4 overs. Good comeback uh, from Shaquille. Pretty good ball. No run there. So the shadows really creeping onto the field now. Uh, we can see, I think it's the trees, is it? Uh, the shadows of the tree that is covering uh, onto it's, the... It's the tree plus the church. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, that's a welcome because for Wesley. Uh, looks like a very good ball. Best one is not happy. Uh, hit him on the front foot. Quite far down the line. Um, it's interesting to see the replays. But uh, anyway, he was given out. He got to go. That's so the rule of the game? Rule of the game and that's what uh, school cricket is all about. That's correct. I mean, it's um, oh, that's a replay there. So uh, hits him on the back foot rather. It looks on the back foot. It looks a bit high to me, but 
Anyway, so umpires are the best people out in the middle. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Johan. Uh, LBW of Sakis for eight. Hung around for 27 deliveries, 23 dots, two singles, one, two, and he's back in the pavilion now. Give an LBW. Something Benz doesn't want at this stage of the game. Uh, it's uh, Wesley wanted a wicket. They got it. I think no um, side that is chasing a 200 plus runs uh, would want to happen at this stage. Absolutely. Just absolutely. Uh, two, two overs shy of the day's end. Yes, it's put pressure on the incoming batsman as well. I mean, Wesley will go all out to get those wickets. If I'm the captain, I will put a few fielders around the batter at this stage. Uh, nothing to do. Yes, we will see. No, doesn't look like anyway. Sergeant is on uh, strike, so oh no. Uh, yes, yeah, Sergeant is on strike, so I don't want to keep any fielders around Sergeant because he's batting brilliantly. Uh, probably he might try with a new batter. Sergeant looks a tired guy. Yeah, I won't blame him uh, after fielding for so many overs. Uh, as well. Yes, he batted for a couple of overs, uh, most of the overs on the bench ceilings. And um, yeah, he'll be a tired man. I'm home. He will sleep well tonight. Shortish. It's a pretty good delivery. Played quite well in the end uh, by Sarujan. One thing I like about Sarujan's uh, batting is how straight he brings his bat down. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's quite vital, especially when you're playing on turning tracks and on this people because uh, you've got to bring your bat down straight, otherwise you're in trouble. It's interesting to see bowling from the old sense end. There are a couple of balls popping up really causing trouble to the batters so we would be interested to see it tomorrow how the wicket is going to play at that end and it's happening uh, just somewhere near the good length area isn't it that's uh, correct that's correct there must be something there um, which is uh, perhaps causing a bit of a rough uh, that has been created that's right could be could be some um, foot marks then uh, um, it will see uh, tomorrow how it's going to play out. Yeah. Fairly dry, whitish uh, surface now emerging. The track seems to be fairly, fairly uh, dry and. Firm. Yeah, there, there are some. There was some grass in the morning, uh, sort of really worn out uh, during the day's play. That's end of the 29th over. Benz 115 for 5. Sergeant betting on 46. Whether you want an authentic urban and, uh, or off-road sensation, one, uh, the best way to experience it is on a Rally Coyote and Hero bike. We stock this a range of bikes for juniors, including BMX models and mountain bikes. So the Benz bikes uh, similarly placed to, to what uh, Wesley was. Five wickets down in any for 1 on 5. Heritage bikes. And, uh, and even almost bikes at the aerodynamically their engineered. Their That's right. And so basically we're looking uh, the for these two batters to play a long innings tomorrow. From and then we'll have a to jam see how entity. good a tail the Benz poses. Yes. Wesley showed us that they do bat deep and uh, one hopes that uh, the Benz will also show a similar resilience yes. in batting deep tomorrow. As we said earlier, the Shahil has got few fielders around the batter. Last over, the, yeah. That's, That's a, a big loud. shout, loud uh, shout. Looks like a good delivery. Hit him on the pad. So, oh. lots Wesley getting excited. You can see that excitement coming into play. I'm sure they, they are on the prowl to get that last wicket. The replay coming up. Uh, just have a closer look. Now going down the leg side. Well down the leg side. Well down the leg side. There's no way it's going to be up. Another big appeal. Another good ball. I thought it's a bit high. Quite uh, down the wicket. 
So let's hope the Wesleyites do not fall into any trouble for extensive appealing. Uh, that's quite loud and <laughs> excited. Do you get disciplined uh, for? Uh, they do. They do. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah. Mevan well negotiates that uh, uh, dual appeal quite well on the third That's ball. That's correct. So three more balls remaining. Yeah. Push away down to a uh, cover area. No run. So the Wesley captain Shaquille has done well to have Sakish uh, bowling right at the death here uh, and uh, he's striking the right uh, areas in the deck absolutely yes yeah another good delivery but uh, uh mevan disanaka seems to be got comfortable in those last two balls but all all credit to the wesley captain he's mounted tremendous pressure on the new batsman and it's a good sign to see maturity coming at school level in captain Celia. Ganesh. That's quality of a good player. I mean, it has come through experience. Obviously, Movin is, as I said earlier, very intelligent young man. Uh, definitely looking at the field, he's really applying the pressure. That's down the leg side. That's end of the day's play. So, Ben's closed the day with 5 for 1, 1 5, chasing a score of uh, 2 1 8. Uh, one eight, that's correct. Yes. Set by the Wesleyites and uh, Sarujan batting beautifully. Will come back tomorrow, and hopefully he'll finish what the Bens would like him to finish. Pretty good uh, day one uh, of this annual encounter between Saint Benedict and Wesley. I really enjoyed uh, uh, the day. Um, evenly placed both teams. Uh, Wesley got 218 uh, all out. 218 in all out uh, in the 65th over. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, right at the death of that inning. And uh, the Bens have motored on well, I would say, in the 30 overs. They have gone past the halfway mark. They're 115. And uh, we would like to see them coming out with all guns blazing, I suppose, in the morning. It's going to be interesting a day to two more tomorrow. Uh, Bens will be looking for the sergeant to carry on. and. Uh, get a big score and uh, put some runs on the board and uh, declare maybe uh, uh, just after lunch. Perhaps look at uh, the pre-lunch or lunch session in two segments. Look at 50 runs in the first hour or so and then move on to close the 218 before lunch. That's correct, yes. If they can do that, uh, uh, we got a very good game um, uh, on the day too. So overall, the weather gods have stayed good with us. We had brilliant sunshine. We had fantastic cross breeze that was going on uh, throughout the day. Fantastic day of cricket time in Newton. Uh, these are the highlights coming through now. Uh, that was, uh, there are some aggressive batting um, by the bench earlier on. So some uh, fancy batting as well earlier on. Yeah, it bends to their chances and uh, it really re rewarded them. Somewhat caught me by surprise when you need to bat 65 overs. So there again, that uppercut catching the four runs. They must have had a strategy uh, uh, how to approach his innings. Um, then again, look, look at the way they are batting, they are taking their chances. That was a very good catch by Shahil. Running backwards. Uh, then brilliant entry one on the offside again. That is a fantastic cut. So the Benz uh, were more aggressive and more uh, cavalier, I would say, in their approach today uh, to what we saw in the morning. Is that the way they normally play, or is that something they did it for uh, today's game? S see, this aggressiveness uh, goes r well into the history at Kotehena. They're naturally aggressive guys, but uh, I was surprised uh, with this approach of the Benz outfit today. Yeah, there are some highlights which uh, 
you can see on the screen at the moment. Um, that was the uh, last speaker. Uh, I know that's uh, Shakesh enjoying his moment. That that's correct. And that's the uh, that's, uh, end of the highlights. And uh, So these are the closing moments of the first day. Uh, which has been brought to you from uh, Campbell Park. It's been a pleasure uh, to be the co-host. So the batting uh, summary so far, Suahas uh, out for one, Kojita 30, Sarujan not out 46, Ashen De Zoysa, uh, out for one, Shenil 25, Johan Soisa, LBW for eight, and at uh, the wickets with Sarujan is the overnight batsman Mewan Disanayaka, not out on six. So extras eight, 30 overs, 115 in pursuit of 218. Short As shortly we will have um, uh, Eric interviewing uh, captains of the board team uh, and uh, uh, hopefully we will uh, find out what the two captains have to say at the end of the day play. Uh, these are the bowling uh, summary for Wesley. Uh, Chamat Gomez bowled five overs for 31 run, 35 runs for no wickets. Uh, Orvin Pereira 2.3 overs, 18 runs for two wickets. Uh, Orvin has to go away with a hamstring injury. Uh, Sunny to Amar Singer took over, ball 2.4 overs for 13 runs for one wicket. Uh, Anudit Vikram Singer ball just one over for four runs without any wickets. Lina Asuba Singer ball six overs for 21. Uh, Ravindu Sigera ball five overs for 16 runs for one wicket. Uh, Samuel Liana gave ball really well, uh, two runs, one wicket. And Shakis Minon bowled four overs for nine runs. So Linal, Ravindu, Sakish all maintaining an economy rate of around three or 3.5, which is good compared to the sevens and nines that we saw from the opening. That's correct. As, as I tell, Wesley, we've got a very good uh, spin attack. So I expect them to continue with the spin, come tomorrow morning and apply some pressure on uh, Ben's uh, batsman. But saying that Sargent is batting really well. So Ben's... Benz, Benz like to um, uh, see Sergeant continuing with the bat and uh, putting up a good score. So, uh, we see the dust. Uh, it's interesting to see that Vikan looks really worn out after the first day. So it's, it's going to take a lot of turns tomorrow. There are some. Do you parts. want to know? How you uh, can get the, the SEMA qualification faster? You can see on the screen Join the SEMA through the CGMA the Finance down, Leadership Program, for a, a self paced digital uh, learning and assessment platform designed to ensure smarter to learning and faster down success. Down Discover the power of opportunity with the fastest route to completing yeah, the SEMA professional the qualification at an affordable price and at double the speed. Here we are now. Do you want to know how you can... Seminar Dixon, Wesley College at Campbell Park. At the end of the first day, perhaps even Stevens, because uh, Wesley, in the 65 overs that they batted, they made 218 for 9. And after 30 overs, St. Benedict's in their first innings are on 115 for 5 at stumps on day 1. What is it? Right, here we are, end of the first day's play of this two-day encounter between uh, Wesley and St. Benedict's College being played for the Reverend James Cartman Memorial Trophy. And perhaps at the end of the first day, even Stevens of this game. Wesley were put into bat today by St. Benedict's and they made 218 for 9 in their 65 overs, the maximum allowed in the first inning, 65 overs. And at stumps on the first day, after 30 overs, St. Benedict's had reached 115 for 5. 
Right, we've got the two captains with us to talk about today's proceedings. And we have the uh, St. Bendix captain, Pasan uh, Suahas, who's with us, and also the Wesley captain, Sahil Dias, with us. We'll start with you, uh, Pasan. Pasan, end of the first day's play, how do you reckon that things have gone? Uh, yeah, uh, we bowled really well. Uh, and also, uh, some collapse are there in our batting lineup. Uh, but sure, definitely we will win the first innings. Right, so 115 for 5. Wesley made 218 for 9 in their 65 overs. Very confident that the next five batsmen can uh, overtake the Wesley total? Yeah, definitely. Very confident. Right. We'll come to you as well now, uh, Sahil. Sahil, Parliament Dawsa Dengi 218 for 9 in 65 overs willing. St. Benedict's 115 for 5, 30 overs. What is the state of the match? Ora Saturi at the Rama, Kandam Gidira Vidak is rang in Node, Heta Komari, Ikbanto, Lord Kandam, Konya Plan Karang in Edame. Right, come back to uh, Pasan Sahil once again, Pasan once again. The state of the wicket, you won the toss, you put Wesley into bat today. Were you disappointed you didn't pick up more wickets in that first hour play? No, uh, absolutely. We uh, we bowl really well and uh, put them under pressure in the first in, uh, first session. Then, uh, of course, uh, we put them uh, a low total. I think uh, 218 is a, uh, not a good total. I think. So 218, you don't think is a good total? You think it's just an average total, right? Coming back to you, Sail. Sail then 218 for 9 Gatta. Then hit an idea, 218 on the score. I have to 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 score. I have your thoughts on the wicket? Uh, uh, I think uh, tomorrow onwards it's turned a little bit better than uh, today. Uh, I think uh, we can win this uh, match. Now you said you can overtake Wesley's score of 218. What type of first inning score are you looking at? Uh, 200, 280. 280, so good lead. The hitter, the one I had bad Karandoni, restrictions now, other 65 overs. Hitter, Mukad the Denga may be a strategic hitter. Hitter planning the Nikbando, Lord Karana, or Lord Kala, Komar, who is Korea Gahan, La Igolon, the Natamahitang in Gahan. Ekatama plan, Nigga. The hitter spinners the ball Karandani? Go to Dura is finished lagging. Other fielding, ground fielding, etc. <laughs> Person, one final question. We're talking about the ground fielding. Today also we saw some Benedicts in that first session. Not the best in the ground fielding. And then a few catches missed. That certainly was where you, you put pressure on yourselves. Yeah, I think uh, we will get that chances. Uh, no, we will get that chances. Then we can... Uh, definitely put them 175 likes twice. Right, so there we are, the two captains, that is Sahil Das of Wesley College and Pasan Sohas from St. Bendix College. Uh, thank you so much to both of you for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow again, bright and early, 9.45 start tomorrow. And we talked to the captains and until tomorrow, we'll say goodbye from the grounds and hand you back to the commentary position. Yes, that was Eric Gowder. Uh, we're talking to the two captains down there. And with the final scores, uh, Wesley College batting first after being put in were 218 for 9 in their 65 overs. And in reply, St. Benedict's were 115 for 5. So that, with that, we'll join you tomorrow morning at 9.30 and we hand you back to the studio.
गारमेंट कप 2022 Garment Cup 2022 2022 The 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 Garment Cup 2022 